Yes, sir. How we feeling? How we feeling? Got to do the air horns, man. How are we feeling? Let's get it, man. How we doing? How's everybody feeling about draft season? Matter of fact, until Shay gets here, I can go ahead and move the Shay stuff out the way because that's where he's about to be. He's about to be on that little left side next to Brody and Aja above me. I'll add him back in later. But yes, sir, man. How are y'all feeling, man? Let's get it it is that time what's up everybody man yes sir let me see we got my boy xx p bro wolf first in here what's good we got henry lane we got justin yes sir we got my boy javon in here we got yoshi we got kenny meeks captain what's good welcome back james taylor ashley jones what's good what's good yeah, <laughs> Panthers fan was good. Maurice Cozy was good. Uptown Dre for show was good. Yes, sir. We got ABJ's Wise Strong and Safe was good. We got my boy Joseph, my boy Justin. We got Lawrence. We got Graded VHS Grievance. My mommy's in the chat. We got Tazop, Bari, James Panda. Let's get it, man. Cap 78. Boy, this chat is moving too fast. Uptown Dre was good. We got Mr. CB. We got Angel 3. We got S. Crawford. Uptown Dre. Didymus. We got Raymond. We got Jefferson. Caleb. We got my boy, Hey Scotty. My boy always donating everything. That's my dog right there. We got Teddy. We got Tasha. We got Colton. We got LaShawn. Yes, sir, man. We filling it up in here, man. Y'all are not playing. Y'all are coming in immediately. I appreciate it. What's good, TJ? What's good, Reginald? What's happening, Trey? What's good, Jonah? Jeremy was popping. Kamani was good. Brian was good. Carl was good. Rocky was happening. Sir was happening. Virginia Slim was good. We got number one Mando fan. My boy Uptown Dre just renewed on the rookie sponsorship. Gotta celebrate that for sure. What's good, Cliff? What's good, Tim? Yes, sir. What's good, Nathaniel Blanco? What's good? What's good, man? Let's get started, man. We are about to have some fun. I know we still have like 30 minutes until the draft. I wanted to go ahead and start it up. I wanted to originally do seven, but some things set me back. But now I'm good to go. I want to know how y'all feel about potentially doing a mock draft together real quick. Just a little quick one. Maybe we can run through a few. Um, Shay is of course pulling up. If y'all don't know, Shay is my Patriots fan friend, so it just makes too much sense. I mean, he, he's been on my channel more than anybody else already. That's my dog. And then the fact that we have the second overall pick and they have the third, it made too much sense. So he's gonna be here before this draft starts as well. I'm super excited, man. I Y'all can't tell me nothing. Y'all already know how I feel about all of the quarterbacks. I'm very happy with either of the top two between Drake May or Jaden Daniels. I'm leaning towards Jaden Daniels, but I'm very happy either way. I'm ready to go. Let's get it. Let's drive Keaton slow. <laughs> I can only hit the like button once. Sound the air horns. Yes, sir, man. Make sure y'all like up the stream as well. I'm going to need y'all to like up the stream as often, as quickly as y'all can. Also, encourage others to do it, man. Let's get it. Now, that would be crazy if we traded back and got Spencer Rattler. Might turn the live stream off immediately. Not even lying, man. Not even lying. So let's hope we go out there and do the right thing. What's good, everybody? We can go ahead and get a mock draft started if y'all want to, man. Let me go ahead and move Carlton dancing self up out the way so y'all can see what's good, everybody. Appreciate that, Tom. Ooh, my fault. Talking too fast. I got water for that, though. We got water today. You already know. We got uh, we got the wings on deck. Shouts out to my mom. We got the wings. We got the fries. I'm from Atlanta. You know the wings got to be lemon pepper. Like, what else could they be besides lemon pepper? My boy Timothy in here was good. Let them know. Hood them. Get them likes up. Might have to ignore the chat until the picks are announced. I want to experience in real time. I fully understand. Y'all know me, man. It gets to a certain point with the people that I follow on Twitter and my sources. I start knowing the picks like five picks ahead. I'm going to make sure I do not spoil those for y'all unless y'all literally like the majority of people ask for it. Other than that, I won't do it. Um, and I definitely will not spoil the commander's pick. Shouts out to my boy. Mike has bad knees. First of all, shouts out to you for the random and funny name. Got to do a big up for that. And also love your content. I'm all in on Daniels. Let's get it, man. Again, I love both quarterbacks. I feel like ultimately we won the draft as soon as we got the second overall pick. Outside of that, it's up to preference. My main thing is I have full confidence in 
Adam Peters, this front office, and this coaching staff that no matter which quarterback they take, they're going to do everything in their power to help that guy get closer to the ceiling than the floor. They're going to do everything that it takes to help that guy succeed. They're going to draft the right players around them. They're going to put the right scheme. Instead of trying to fit the quarterback into the scheme, they're going to fit the scheme around the quarterback to try to bring out his strengths, hide his weaknesses. Perfectly fine. I, I, I'm expecting to do that. We have so many proven quarterback developers. We got Cliff Kingsbury. We got Brian Johnson. We got Anthony Lynn. Tavita Pritchard. A lot of people even like him as well. We have some guys in this quarterback room. So even though I prefer Jaden Daniels slightly, I'm very happy with both. And whichever between those two we take, I'm very confident that either one of those guys are going to ball out. I feel like at a certain point, we're starting to nitpick these guys as we, got, as we got closer and closer to the draft. I feel like we can dominate, win Super Bowls with either of those quarterbacks. I truly believe that both Jaden Daniels and Drake May could have been quarterback ones, gone number one overall in a lot of other drafts. I'm that hype up on them. That's just me personally. My boy, Mr. CB, just became a rookie sponsor. Yes, sir. I got to bring Carlton to y'all screen to do his little jig again. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Shouts out. I saw somebody say that uh, Andre. Dre over there. Greetings from Mexico. That's what's up. Let's get it, man. We go. I still haven't yet to make it to Mexico yet. I definitely got to travel over there. I want to travel the entire world, though. We'll get there later, though. My boy Jack Miller with a big-time donation as well. Hey, Rico, chilling with co-worker at Duffy's, getting ready to watch the draft. Did you hear is down to D.C. and Maryland for the stadium? No, I completely missed that news. I've been straight draft. I've been straight player evaluations. I've been working on all kinds of things, background information, trying to get everything ready for this live stream. I completely missed that. If that's true, I feel like it's fairly obvious, but it's really interesting that it's being like announced if it was announced because I already did a video weeks ago talking about how the whole Virginia thing and how that failed with the Nationals and um in the uh in the Wizards how they were supposed to go to Virginia they had this whole plan and it fell through everybody's money is wasted everybody's time is wasted I pretty much said yeah Virginia is pretty much crossed out at that point that's almost nearly impossible to happen I talked about this weeks ago I feel like it's already down to DC or Maryland and I'm not gonna lie maryland's looking the most likely because dc has to overcome a lot of humps legally but we'll see you never know i also feel like the fact that the rfk site is a little bit smaller than what you could potentially have in maryland so that's another thing working against dc but of course i know a lot of people would love for it to be the dc but like i said i think it's down to those two as well i completely agree again shouts out to my boy jack miller for the donation what's good everybody i see my boy smokes them pulled up what's happening What's happening? Let's go, let's go. We could go ahead and start doing a quick little mock draft, man. And I feel like this is the best way to kind of get the feel of which I want at quarterback. We'll worry about a trade later. Oh, speaking of trade, I saw somebody saying to ask me in the chat, how do you feel about potentially trading up for tackle? Yes, please. Do whatever it takes to trade up to get a starting left tackle in this first round. I'm completely on board with that. Completely, 100%. Dream case scenario, we trade up and get my dog Amarius Mims. Olu Fashinu would be a great guy to trade up for as well, but I just feel like you would have to give up more value and trade up further to get him. I feel like Amarius Mims is the perfect amount of value where he'll go after Olu Fashanu, and he also has the higher ceiling. So Olu Fashinu is, of course, has a higher floor, more day one ready to go out there, proven to go start. I know that. But Amarius Mims has the higher ceiling, and you will not have to trade up as high to get him. So I feel like right now, best case scenario, we trade up for Amarius Mims, but I'm cool with Olu Fashinu, I'm cool with Tyler Guyton. I prefer to trade up for a tackle than to wait for one to come to 36. I like Jordan Morgan, but I prefer to be aggressive, trade up to get one of those other guys over just waiting back at 36. Shouts out my boy AJ for the dope donation as well and the compliment too my boy said appreciate all your hard work man i really appreciate that I'm trying to do the best that i can to try to read and reply to as many comments as possible but i did all right so let's go ahead and start this draft i want to know in the comment section how y'all feel about the number two overall pick Caleb Williams goes number one overall, of course. I want to know in the chat who y'all prefer for us to take a quarterback. You can also mention why. I'm at the county jail right now. Don't ask no questions. No TV. I'm relying on y'all. Smokes, come on, dog. What's going on, Smokes, man? What's happening with you? Free my dog, Smokes, that boy up the road during the draft, man. God, Lee, what happened to my boy? 
My boy smokes chain gang right now. What happened to kid? Yeah, <laughs> which you can, what you mean? Don't ask questions. Now nah, I got all the questions in the world. What happened to my boy? How are you even here? What's good? Angel with another donation as well. Checking in from Maryland. Loving your research commentary and blogs, bro. Draft night is finally here. Let's go. Yes, sir, man. I'm right with you. I'm super excited. Let's get it. And then my boy, Hey Scotty, is not playing with none of y'all. My dog, Hey Scotty, just gifted five random people with street scores memberships i didn't even know youtube had that feature yet i know that's a feature on twitch i didn't even know youtube had that so we gotta do a big shout out to hey scotty for setting that off right there so now greg coles abj's why strong is safe and justin coffee are all channel members because of hey scotty man that's big time man much love there that is crazy that's fire that's fire right there that's insane that's insane and what's good my boy graded with a donation per usual always with that man appreciate that much love in the second are we equally likely to grab a wide receiver as cornerback like would we take keon coleman or in his rack shot after going left tackle and quarterback honestly i would say wide receivers even more likely than corner the only reason i think corner the only reason corner is more likely is because this wide receiver group is so deep that you can get a really good corner in the third round and fourth round compared to corner where you may want to take one of the best ones in the second at worst early third so i feel like like strategy wise maybe you set it up to where you take receiver later because you can still get a really good one later than you can get a corner but i wouldn't be surprised i've heard reports strong reports from my boy ken johannison at burgundy burner that they seem to be very interested in wide receiver roman wilson from michigan be on the look out for him potentially going to the second round to us you know i'm a georgia bulldog fan like my boy Grady said you know i would love my dog kamari lassiter i feel like he's drastically underrated he's easily the best corner that we've had in the kirby smart era i'm surprised more people don't talk about him i'm, I'm very surprised people see him as like a third round guy I think he has first round talent and potential. We'll see where he lands. My boy Chris Hunter with a donation as well. What's good? We jumping right into it. Just touched down in Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, I heard it's pronounced not Louisville. It's like Louisville, Lou, Lou, something like that. I forgot. Somebody said the right way to pronounce it in a random video I saw. I forgot how to say it already. But on a vacay from Cali, looks like I'm right on time. Let's get it, man. Yes, sir. Right on time with it, man. We still got 20 minutes until this draft starts. I'm fully expecting for some dumb reason for the Bears to eat up the whole clock like they already don't know who they want at quarterback. I would not be surprised if they ate up the entire clock. Again, appreciate the donation, Chris Hunter. Let's get it. All right, so I'm seeing, I looked in the chat. I feel like I saw more Jaden Daniels than anybody else. I actually don't think I saw a single Drake May. Oh, I see a Jake May from AJ, but it looks like he's outnumbered. So we're going to go ahead and pick Jaden Daniels but we could make a trade you know what I'm saying let me show you the trade that I made myself like the trade I put together it man it was so smooth it was so man I killed it so I told the I called up the Steelers like hey man you really don't want that 20th overall pick that bad do you you know what I'm saying and they and they responded like you know what you're right send me a package I told them okay let me do you something I'm gonna send you a 40 I'm gonna send you a uh, uh I think I tried a hundred and next year's round two. And they like that. Let's go. We're back up in there. So now we have the 20th pick and the second overall pick. We have the second pick, and then you just add a zero to it. We pick again. I'm going to go ahead and take Jaden Daniels here because that seems to be what got the most votes. We're going to let this run through. I don't know what's taking so long to calculate it. Maybe they hated the pick. What's good, everybody? My boy Yoshi with a donation as well. If we do trade up, I wouldn't be mad at Amarius Mims. We finally here. What's good, dog? Let's get it. You know that's what I want to do. You know I'm super down for a trade up like I just did. I didn't even wait to ask the chat if we should trade up. I just went ahead and did it myself. And guess who's right there for us? Not only do you have Chop Robinson available and JC Latham, a lot of great receivers here. Tyler Garden, um, Guyton. I'm taking Amarius Mims. I don't care. This is my best case scenario. Jaden Daniels, Amarius Mims out of the first round. My best case scenario by far. I'd be happy with Drake May. I'd also be happy with Tyler Garden. But my favorite two players to walk out of the first round with right now is Jaden Daniels and Amarius Mims. Those are my guys. And also, I wanted to shout out Yoshi again for that donation. All right, so now we're here 36th overall. 
Let me know how y'all feeling. When I just did my recent mock draft a couple of days ago, Xavier Leggett was here, Peyton Wilson wasn't. I'm definitely leaning towards Peyton Wilson. But just to, uh, just to show y'all real quick, we got A.D. Mitchell, Peyton Wilson, Keon Coleman, Brandon Frisk. We got a few guys here, man. If you want to double up on tackle to go ahead and replace Andrew Wiley this year as well, we get two new starting tackles. There's Jordan Morgan right there. You have Kamari Lasseter. My boy, I'm telling you, he's a first-round talent. It's ridiculous. Um, I love Junior Colson. He's available. That's my guy, too. Javon Bullard. How are y'all feeling? Do y'all think we go Jordan Morgan? Make sure we have two really good tackles to protect Jaden Daniels, and then we can worry about other positions after that. Is that what we're feeling? I'm seeing some A.D. Mitchell. You know I'm a big A.D. Mitchell fan. I'm biased, though. He was a Georgia Bulldog until he transferred to Texas for his final season. He's one of the very few people that I'm actually not mad at for transferring. I actually, if anything, felt like it was a great opportunity for both him and Lab McConkey to shine. Lab McConkey was able to be our number one receiver. He was able to be Texas's number one receiver. And his family's back at Texas. Like, he has a kid there. Like, it just made too much sense. It's not like Jermaine Burton where he transferred and talked trash leaving. Or Bear Alexander, when he went to USC and was talking trash when he left, A.D. Mitchell has always been loved. So even though he played for Texas last year, he's still a Georgia Bulldog, no matter what you tell me. So I love A.D. Mitchell. If you're, if you're ever wondering, love him. My boy graded with another Super Chat. My boy said, if anyone has ever been curious about Super Chats, it's super easy. And it's draft night. Why not? ACC to all. And everybody enjoy the draft. I agree. And yes, sir, I really appreciate the donation. Okay, I see my boy Shae calling. In. Hold on, let me mute my mic and then I'm gonna get. So let me, let me wait. Let me let me uh get into the live stream so I can see y'all too. Hold up, hold up. That's right, Drake. May third, baby. May third. May third. Well, I honestly, it does. It does. I I I like both. I feel like Drake May has more potential, but Jaden Daniels is more of a sure thing. Okay, but, um, okay. It's just like, from seeing reports, it seems like the commanders, and I'm sure you know that commanders are locked in on Jaden Daniels. At least, yeah. at least that's what that's what it uh, says. I say it, it's hard way, to says, believe it. Says you're muted, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I finally, I yeah. finally got it. Yeah, I okay. that was my fault. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, also, before we go, move, before we move on. First of all, the Eagles just signed AJ Brown to a three year extension, and also my boy Dominique just donated to the Cash App. So I want to make sure I shout you out for donating to the Cash App. I gotta make sure I shout out the Cash App donators. Because y'all don't get love on screen. So I got to make sure I go out my way to do that. Appreciate that. Much love right there. My fault, Shady. What was you saying? 
Uh, I mean, no, I was just saying like, oh, yeah, that's that's good on the Eagles for getting that. But that also means Devontae Smith. Hey, they can't pay them all. Right. So, like, you know, he's going he's going to become a Patriot. You are here about ah, Higgins. here we go. Trade request. Here got we go. Move second round pick for them. Hey, hey, Cincinnati, what y'all want to do? There's a lot of receivers in this draft. Like y'all can give us T Higgins. We can pay them. Y'all can't. Hey, let's do it. <laughs> Y'all do have the most cap space. That's what's crazy. We have the second pick. Y'all have the third pick. Y'all have the number one most cap space. We have the second most cap space. It's actually really crazy, like, how close we are with everything right now. Yeah, and I know know our problem is because we had Bill Belichick and he didn't pay for anyone. So, like, (laughs) yeah, that's why we have so much cap space. I mean, it kept working. Every time y'all got a corner somewhere later in the draft, develop them into a pro bowler and let them leave, and then they would fail, and y'all would just keep doing it again. Can't argue yeah. against results. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> no, y'all hear that feedback. Oh, yeah, yeah, the TV, to, yeah, the TV is yeah. pretty loud. I'm trying I'm trying to mute it, but then I'm trying to my left, my remote just died. Okay, now it's working. All right, cool. <laughs> boy, got remote dying. Well, shouts out my boy Henry for the donation to the Super Chat. What's up, Rico? I really appreciate the work you put into your content. I would rather get a real tight end in the second or third round than another receiver. I can see that argument there. My only thing is, I feel like there's going to be a lot of good tight ends, and the run on tight ends won't start happening until, like, the third. I feel like it's Brock Bowers in the first, and the next tight end may not even go into the third. So you could probably take a really good receiver and then still get a good tight end later, just strategy-wise, but we'll see. But in the draft so is in 11 about, minutes. So how do you feel about Jatavion Sanders? You're speaking Jat- on tight ends. I, I like him. I just... I just feel like it's such a huge gap going from Brock to Jatavion. That's not even Georgia bias. I like him. I'm not sure if he's ever going to be a dual threat guy, but as a pass catcher, I think he'll be deadly. I would like to get him, but I wouldn't use a second round pick on him. I'll wait till our early third round pick to potentially get him on. That's just me personally. I don't love him enough to take him in the second. I would take another tackle, receiver, or a corner linebacker or something like that. The criticism with Brock Bowers right now is if he's going to be a dual threat guy. If he's going to be much more blocker. Yeah, Yeah, he's small. Yeah, he is small. I mean, I still can see him going crazy, but I understand why people are reserved. I still think he's probably going to end up going top 10, top 15. And whoever gets him, if they use him correctly, they're getting a future Hall of Famer. But I can see the reservation with him being so small. Also, ooh, I'm sorry. We got so many donations coming in. My boy Steven in the building, or Stefan, my fault if I pronounced it the wrong way. Rico, for all you do, I am at the draft in Detroit. Okay, yes, sir. Okay. That's what I'm talking right. about. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it on Twitter a lot of pictures. We're really deep out there too, especially because we have the second overall pick, and it's finally hope now that Dan Snyder's gone. But um, we have um, wearing Sean Taylor's original jersey ever, commenting and love it. Flew in this morning, packed. Jaden, please, I'm right with you. Appreciate the love, appreciate the donation, and let me get to my boy DeQuavius's donation. My boy, my fault for missing that. I am so sorry, my boy DeQuavius. A while ago, I'm tripping. Shouts out to you for the donation. My guy Rico, JD5 season, which tackle we getting? Mims, Guyton, the Olu. Of course, Mims has the highest ceiling, so that's who I prefer. I would love Olu as well, but I feel like you got to trade up higher to get him, which will take more trade value in return. I feel like Amarius Mims is perfect with the crazy ceiling that he has, even in spite of the games. He hasn't played a lot, but again, appreciate the donation right there. And then also before we move on, I have another cash app from my boy One to One. Big 20 ball to the chat said he he wants JD Jaden Daniels as well. Shouts out to the donation to the cap, cash app. Much love. I really appreciate y'all, man. Look, I love Jaden Daniels, but when you have the chance to get a Josh Allen slash Justin yeah. Herbert clone, you take it. You take it. So yeah, I, as a Patriots fan, I'm happy. As long as we keep the pick. If we trade it, because the because there are rumors that Patriots might trade the third pick. Boy, them Vikings, Vikings want it. Raiders them Vikings, want it. them Vikings hey, are serious. Vikings got got a lot of picks that they could trade us, but it has to be the eleventh. It has to be the twenty third. It has to be mm-hmm. the first round, and that's just the preliminary discussion. Yeah, that's where we start. It has to be more than that. That's, it has to be that's where we start. That. Yeah, I'm right. This with is you. this is a quarterback heavy draft class. We need a quarterback. We can't just. We can't just accept that he trade now. I completely agree. You got to overcharge him with the quarterbacks that are going to be available at, 30, at third overall. Yeah, how are we feeling about J.J. McCarthy, though? I'm not really 
I just can't trust a quarterback who who played in a system where they ran first, second, third, and fourth down. Like I can't I can't trust that. You know he had one game where he had one pass attempt, I believe. Something crazy. Yeah, exactly. Like, something crazy. Wasn't well, like Donovan Edwards and Blake Horan both like leading leading college and carries, like <laughs> something like that. I feel like J.J. McCarthy is fairly underrated, but do I want him at second overall? No. Do I think the Patriots should get him third overall? No. But I can see him going somewhere like the Vikings with the receivers they have, Kevin O'Connell as the offensive coordinator, and him balling out just because of the system that's around him, though. Yeah, here here I was thinking when he was getting piped up, um, like moved up draft boards, I just mm. thought, like, okay, it might might have been a smokescreen. Like, like they couldn't seriously put J.J. McCarthy in the likes of them. Like, J.J. McCarthy has a lot of natural talent. He's athletic. Apparently, he's shown a big arm in a, a combine, a bigger arm than what we arm. thought he had. Mm -hmm. But just still, the sample size is so small. And I feel like that's working to his benefit because we haven't seen that much. <laughs> yeah. Whereas we've seen a lot of Bo Nix. Bo Nix has been playing college for almost a decade. So because of that, <laughs> he's he's a second round pick because we've seen a lot of tape on him and a lot of tape to know, okay, he's probably not going to be it. But yeah, I, J.J. McCarthy, he's the mystery man. Just to add to Bo Nix, I think I saw somewhere Bo Nix has started the most games in college football history out of any player ever, at least he quarterbacks. Was, he was playing when Lamar Jackson was in college, right? <laughs> like, I believe it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Also, to go back to your point about if y'all were to trade back, I think if Drake May is available at three, it will more than likely be the Vikings. I think if if Jaden Jaden Daniels is available, of course, to the point that you were getting to, it would probably be the Raiders because of how much they love each other. Antonio Pierce and Jaden Daniels go way back to Arizona State together. And by the way, I see in this comment, Smokes, I don't recall that message. Like, I should sue you for defamation for that comment because I do not... I did not say anything <laughs> like that. I forgot I did not say, about that. I did not say anything like that. Now, the video evidence is somewhere. It's one of them Friday nah, straight. <laughs> nah. You're going to have to keep searching. No. No, no ditty on that one. You got to keep searching. Nah, that's a crazy city, Shade, dog. You got to chill out. Nah. You got to chill. chill out, man. That's wild. Um, but yeah, man, I'm super excited. I mean, we are now five minutes away. I mean, what's the over or under on the Bears using up their entire clock, even though everybody knows who Yo, they're going to they get? Bet, they better already announce a pick already. Like, <laughs> let's not waste time on Go this. All, like, the on. whole 10 minutes or 8 minutes, whatever time they're allotted, they, they about to they, use up the whole thing. They'll probably use that time to decide, like, okay, like what we want to do with the ninth pick of the draft. We're going to use this extra time for the first overall pick to decide what we're going to do with the ninth pick. They, they better just make this <laughs> that, that That's right. If I were the Bears, I mean, but then again, what would that help as the first overall yeah. pick? Which, what's the strategy? <laughs> nothing, nothing happened yet. I'm about to say, you don't even – yeah, they might as well just go ahead and put that pick in. They're just going to troll us. Maybe the NFL is telling them to wait so they can, you know, try to go as much stream time right. as possible, get as many commercials in. Are they reading that report that uh, they're scared to draft the prince of quarterbacks? Talking about because of his attitude and his confidence or whatever. Now remember that uh screenshot I showed you where Oh yeah. It was yeah. Like that <laughs> oh literally Prince, the artist. I forgot. Yeah, that was crazy. That was <laughs> I was thinking royalty because he's confident, he has an ego. Nah. nah. Yeah, you're talking Prince about the artist. the artist Prince. I forgot about that. Yeah, so the report was I I could even just pull it up and read it out. Um just give me one second. So the report says a former NFL scout says that. Caleb Williams scares a lot of teams. He scares the SHIT out of a lot of NFL teams. One GM told him it's like if Prince played quarterback. <laughs> Somebody, people are bored, bro. They just got to <laughs> click some views really? however you got to get them. We're bored, dog. Because really? we already know what the pick is going to be, so they got to find something to talk about. They're bored, dog. Ain't nobody worried about that. Bears are taking him. He only took one top 30 visit. It was only to the Bears. That was the only team he even bothered meeting with. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like, why, why waste my time going to the Commanders or Patriots? Why? Like, I'm going, <laughs> going to get pick number one. Yeah. Let's, let's get these semantics. You saw Keenan Allen already at the pro day, dapping him up. Like, let's get it. Come on, yeah. dog. Like, we, we're good, bro. You, Pack you it saw up. Caleb Williams pretending not to see him until, like, until like the very oh, last yeah, that was weird. around. That was weird. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Also, <laughs> let me go ahead and get to these other two donations. My boy, Mr. CB with the donation. I hope Chicago drafts Williams and doesn't blindside us and take JD. I'm going to be sick. Man, as That's attached, not happening. 
Yeah, his first of all, it's not happening, and it's attached as I am to Jaden Daniels, because I'm literally at a certain point, now I'm just assuming he's the pick. If it's not, it's going to be weird. Even if it's somebody as great as Caleb Williams, I would be excited, but it would be very weird. And then also my boy uh, Door Gunner. Oh, what were you about to say? Sorry. No, I was going to say, like, if for some strange reason the Bears do not select Caleb Williams and select Jaden Daniels, you guys would be ecstatic. Yeah, I am about to say, we'd like, be excited. Like, look, <laughs> I, I, I get everybody thinks he's probably going to be a bust just because – He's a prima donna, donna. He paints his fingernails, whatever. Like, have you watched this guy play? This is like this is like Aaron <laughs> Rodgers and Kyler Murray put together. This, literally, literally, you, you're not, and you're off not the field wise too. Like on the yes. field and <laughs> off the field. <laughs> yes, on and off. The literally, field. Exactly. Aaron Rodgers. And the thing is, you're saying like, oh, he's a prima donna. He's gonna be a bust. Newsflash: Every quarterback is a prima donna. Like, let's talk Most about Aaron Rodgers, Kyler Murray. Yeah, even Tom Brady is a prima donna. No, he just, super duper. Is, he's just very particular what gets out to the media, what doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yep. You have to be one to be a very good quarterback because you got to think you're the best person out there. Got to be That's narcissistic. Good quarterback. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm What's good, everybody pulling up? Let me shout out my boy Door Gunner for the donation. He said Bo Nix on the Stetson Bennett college plan. Daryl Green jersey retirement needs to be on opening day when the stadium is full. I completely agree with all of that. Shouts out to my boy Stetson Bennett for coming back too. I don't know what's going on mentally with him, but it seems like he's finally actually back. I saw the notification. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, something yesterday about he's back and he's ready to contribute and all of that type of stuff. But my boy Door Gunner, appreciate the donation again, man. Much love to that, man. Let me see. We technically got one minute and 49 seconds, but I'm pretty they sure the Bears... They said they're going to start on time. They said they're going to start on time, the NFL draft. They're not They're not delaying. So I guess because mm. what happened in previous years with Twitter being ahead of, ahead of TV, and I guess they're <laughs> trying to get on top of that, that's my guess. Okay. Well, just to let you know, I don't know if you saw the notification, but apparently Roger Goodell is recovering from back surgery, but he's still going to be good to go. Yeah, he was talking about that on the interview. He said it might have been from that, uh, what's that player that hugged him? Shelton. His last name is Shelton. Wait, so it came him. from a player hugging him too nah, hard? He, he, he was joking. He was joking about oh, that. Oh, I'm about to it say. May, it may have. <laughs> but you out bad, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that boy is stupid for going out like that if that's how it really went <laughs> and let me uh shout out my boy i see my boy cj the great with the big time donation is where as well appreciate that where if at all do you think we trade up to i think the Steelers at 20 is a really good spot for us because i think amarius mims will be there and also I can see the Steelers looking at Amarius Mims like, man, you're too raw. Tyler Garden, you may be a little too raw as well. And they may be willing to stack up on some second and third round picks and move out of that pick. And we may have to throw in our second round pick of next year. I think they take it. And I would love to trade up at that spot, 20th overall, where the Steelers are to get Amarius Mims. That's my personal opinion. Appreciate the donation again, my boy. So uh, me being a Patriots fan and all, what receiver do you think we should take with a second round pick? Get granted if we don't trade it for T. Higgins first. If we take a receiver. But we need True. One. Um, all right, so what do y'all have right now? Cause I'm trying to think of like what do you need a big we got receiver? Pop Douglas. He's a do you slot need a guy. slot guy? Like what do you need? Like what type of receiver you need? So our best receiver right now is Kendrick Bourne. And he's <laughs> decent, but yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah, the, yeah. the laugh basically says nowhere near a number one receiver. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have Pop Douglas. He he's shown some things as a rookie, but at the end of the day, he's five eight. He's a slot guy. We got uh, KJ Osborne. We just signed him. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I did get KJ Osborne. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying. I'm I'm trying to the see Vikings. like what else. I think that's about it. All right, so that's that that tells me everything guy. I need to know. I think y'all need to go AD Mitchell for sure. I think if, I don't know where these he, character he's still concerns. There in the second round. If he's yeah, there in a second. but there's for some reason some character concerns coming out lately, and, and this happens hey, we'll every draft that, season. That makes him fall. That I'm about to say it, comes, it happens every draft season. I think ideally, and I don't want y'all to do this, but I think probably the best receiver that's going to be left at that point because I think Lad McConkey's just destined to go to the Chiefs. Everything oh, yeah. the Chiefs yeah. wanted in Caradarius Tony, Lad McConkey's going to give you that and oh. more. Hey, so, we got we got we got Belichick. Belichick is gone now. We we're not getting Lab McConkey anymore. If Belichick <laughs> was here, best believe Lab Belichick would trade back out that third pick 
to guarantee to get Lava <laughs> Cox in the first round if Belichick was here. Because he definitely fits the Belichick system of wide receivers. We know that. We but, know I that. mean, at the same time, yeah, he is white. But he just remember, this man runs a 4-3 something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's about that. Yeah, don't don't let the skin fool you now. He's more Christian McCaffrey than anything. He's about yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I literally think he's more, uh, what's his name, Cruz from the Giants, uh, Victor Cruz. I think that's literally my comp for him. Oh, yeah. But, again, with him being a, a really good white route runner, if Bill Belichick was there, yeah, it's a guarantee. Like, it would, oh, yeah, no question. It, it would have been over we with. We would trade down <laughs> out that third pick just to get him. Like, <laughs> Belichick loves that guy. But, but uh, yeah. Ty Jones says something. I hope he ain't. I hope he ain't lying. He says that. The Patriots are working on a trade for Brandon Ayuk. We better. We better. We hey, got man, y'all get Brandon Ayuk. We'll take T. Higgins. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh. hey, we, we, I prefer Ayuk over Higgins anyway. So, look. We, I do, we, too, we, but we, I think he's going to cost more. But I do, too, though. I like Brandon. Hey, I mean, we, you we know, Jaden. We got all the money in the world. Doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, we do. We right behind y'all. But, you know, Jaden Daniels and Brandon Ayuk uh, were teammates at Arizona State together. It just makes too much sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, man. Jada Dale's been in college forever. Oh my! How long has Ayuk been in the league? <laughs> I swear, Ayuk's been in the league for like four years now. Like, oh my goodness! <laughs> hey, man, chill out, chill out, chill out. Yo, my quarterback. It's like, you know, you know, like like when we were in high school, right? Like you see, like these kids that you could have sworn been in high school forever, like, and you ask, like, yo, haven't you graduated yet? Why are you still hanging with us? <laughs> that's Jaden Daniels. That's Bo Nix. That's Michael Penix. Like, why are you still here? Hey, watch out pronouncing that e like that, bro. Just say Penix, bro. We just. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. Just, just chill, say chill. Michael Penix, Penix, dog. Penix. Penix. Yeah, just Michael Penix, bro. Hey, Get the e's there. Hey, hey. MPJ, yeah, isn't he a junior? MPJ, yeah, like Michael Porter Jr. <laughs> MPJ, that's all I want to yeah, say. Yeah, just yeah, MPJ, we good, we good. Yeah, cause yeah, remember I forgot who was it? Desmond on ESPN that literally said big, and then it sounded like that word energy. He said it multiple Wait, times too. You gotta look Wait, it up. Who? I think it's the okay. Desmond guy from ESPN, the college guy. I forgot his his whole name. Y'all the guy that was a corner. Too I think. hard on TV. Yeah, Desmond to Howard. To relate to the young people oh of course that's man that's what i'm saying trying too hard midlife crisis over here he How literally kept Desmond saying Howard? it too he kept literally chanting it like uh, big it's like ha, ha, this is what the cool big, kids say this, yeah this, literally this, this is what the young kids say let, let, let me say <laughs> it like this it will give him a little chuckle <laughs> what's good my boy lyric is in the chat he said i'm scared bro i am too i'm not gonna lie i'm very nervous right now i'm eating away the nervousness right now i'm not gonna lie What's good? Speaking of eating, like right, right before uh, Bears take forever for their for their obvious pick. Of course, go to JD Summerhill Grill, Jamaican food, amazing. JD and Summerhill, it, like, is it literally yeah. in Summerhill, like Southeast Atlanta? It's in downtown, which is yeah. So it's kind of weird. Like it's by Georgia State Stadium. I was like, oh okay. I about you trying to send me to Summerhill? You, I mean, I was like, what oh, did no, I do to oh, you? No, no, no. Oh, what did no, I do no, to no. you? I ain't leaning you wrong. I ain't leaning you wrong. I'm leaning to the promised land of food. I ain't leaning you wrong. But uh, yeah, uh, if you want to make him food, that that's it. That's it. Oh god. And and it's a deli, and the deli is like it looks like a New York deli. So like I asked the dude, like, yo, this reminds me of a New York deli, and he said, like, yeah, he's from New York. So I was like, oh, cool, oh okay, St. John. So like, yeah, like you, that's you real. That's right. I'm about yeah. to check it out. Definitely text gotcha. me that because I'm gonna forget in ten minutes. Oh, we'll we'll do. We'll <laughs> yeah, do. I just I just ate that before the stream. That's why I was a little late. Oh, you good? You good? I got some I got some wings right now, some fries. I'm chilling, you know. I'm just snacking on it a little bit, taking my time. My boy, Mister CB, with another donation. He said, regardless of what happens in the draft tonight, we gotta start winning. At 48, watching the Commanders has raised my blood pressure. We all deserve better, man. I'm right with you, man. We've been through it, man. It's our time. It's our time. My Georgia Bulldogs, it was finally our time, even though we felt like we were cursed. I feel like the commanders are destined for the same thing. So I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to be a fan it's, of two it's, good it's football been a, teams. It's been a long time since the Patriots have been relevant, too. So What do you mean? What? <laughs> it's, been, it's been, like, how long? Like, I say about six years. That's no, been a long time. Three, That's four. That's crazy. Hey, man. That's crazy. That's, That's crazy. That's still a long time to be. That's still <laughs> crazy. a long time. Okay. Hey. Unlike like you and the Commanders fans in the chat, I'm not used to mediocrity. So All right, here we go. Forgive me for 
yeah, just just forgive me for not being used to this because this this is this is unf unfamiliar territory for me. No, okay. for you guys, it's very familiar. No, okay, okay, it's, it's unfamiliar territory. <laughs> so Drake Bay. Hopefully he takes us to the promised land. Hopefully he is not Mac Jones. I remember us doing this very this very stream when Mac Jones got drafted. And you remember how uneasy I felt when we drafted him. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We I, already knew. I didn't, we all I didn't knew. like it. I didn't like it. Then his rookie year came. He played well, got me a little confidence, but then, you know, we, we know what happened after that. So like just please, Drake May. We he needs to be the answer. Okay. It's been a long time since Brady. It's been a long time since Brady. I still feel like neither of us can miss because I feel like the majority of the battle is after you get the guy, just do whatever it takes to get that guy close to the ceiling. And I feel like both of these guys have the elite ceiling. So I'm happy either yeah. way. I'm leaning Jaden Daniels. And also it's just, I mean, it's a mix of I just prefer him, but it's also a mix of I'm starting to grow emotionally attached to him because they keep saying it's going to be him for the past few weeks. So. I'm excited. Oh, before we move on, that's my cousin Lyric in the chat. My dog said hey, up, still, Lyric? he said he still wants Drake May, not going to lie. So he's leaning Drake May. Appreciate the donation hey, from my cousin right there. Gotta, Much love. All you got to do is just get a hoodie or a blue or red Patriots jersey, okay. and you can support Drake May as well, Lyric. Okay, there we go. We got you. We got you. <laughs> okay. What's that Manette do? Detroit. Oh, yeah. They're they're in Detroit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you remember, but when we were about to take Ben Johnson from him, he threatened and said, "I will make a diss track towards you, Ben Johnson, if you leave." And that's why Ben Johnson stayed. That, I mean, that I don't know, reason? but I don't know if that's the reason. But literally before the whole Ben Johnson thing failed, when it still looked like he was going to be our head coach, Eminem, like in an interview, said, "I'm gonna make a diss track towards him if he leaves." And then shortly oh, afterwards, oh, that man Eminem is just going to say a cat with a hat with a red hat. And I pat pat. He's just going to say that, like the whole whole <laughs> verse. Like Eminem nowadays is just like he'll just say like a bunch of a bunch of words without saying anything. Like, oh yeah, I'll never forgive him from the awfully hot coffee pot. Probably not. <laughs> I'll never forgive him. I'll never forgive him for that, dog. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? Something about when you rap in the booth. Not even an at or oof. <laughs> I'll never forgive him, dog. I'll never forgive him and him for that, man. <laughs> that boy be tripping. Yeah, I don't know what Ben Johnson was even worried about. <laughs> he was worried about hearing so, too many big words at the same oh, time. Hutchinson kind of clean. You see that? Oh, yeah, that boy, got, yeah, that boy, that boy suited up. That boy suited up. Uh, hold on. Let me go ahead and thank some of the don donors as well. My boy Joe Castles is always pulling up. We ready down here in Texas. Uh, I suck at trying to do a Texas accent, but I know down is D-I-N-E, the way they pronounce it. My boy Joe Castles over there with the big time donation. I appreciate that. Also, my boy Eric Hill with the donation. May is Eli Sport Edition. <laughs> Interesting point. Appreciate the donation there as well. Shouts out to both of y'all. And my boy Graded with another donation as well. So honestly, if Olu slipped to 36, but then you learn he murdered a fisherman by accident in a street fight, no one else knows. Pick or pass. Sounds like pick to me. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. And then shouts out my boy Works Mario Williams. That never happened. Yeah, I, yeah, I, tree in a forest fall. Nobody around in here did it actually make a noise. Whatever. My boy Mario in the cash app donated a big 10 ball to the, to the chat, man. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all are going crazy. Let's get this pick in so we can get to the commanders, man. Let's Yo, get it. Like, I, I, be before we get to that pick, I see this comment with Bob. He's saying Keith Lee told me Atlanta food ain't that fire. That's because Keith Lee went to the commercial spot. He went to the tourist spot no local actually goes to. And you know what? Keep him there. I don't want him to, yeah, good. to go to the spots good. I know. I loved I his I, review. I don't want him to flood all the people. Yeah. yeah I love his review. Honey place. No one goes. No one actually from Atlanta actually goes there. I was happy you went there. Like, I'm yeah, don't, super don't go to happy. My spots. I'm right with you. I got a couple of spots that's like. Hey, man, please leave that alone. Don't flood that, man. Got a few of there were, them. There was some other popular food guy. He was He's like some muscular guy. I guess he makes funny videos, whatever, with restaurants. He went to one of my food spots. After that, that restaurant closed the next day because they literally could not handle all the customers. So they had to regroup. <laughs> I, I, I can't have that happen. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm glad Keith Lee goes to the commercial spots. Don't go to the spots we actually go to. 
It'll also help, you know, stop people from moving here and causing more traffic. Please, please. Thank you, Keith Lee. Appreciate that. Good looks. <laughs> Good looks. Okay, my boy Roger Goodell off the recovered back. Mm -hmm, my boy ready. Yo, Panthers. I, I I feel so. I still think Bryce Young is gonna be good, but Panthers, man, what a horrible trade. Terrible. What a because because even if he's gonna be good, you still got the better pep quarterback prospect in Caleb Williams right now. Mm hmm. Just looking crazy, looking real bad. And Caleb Williams is is going to go to arguably the best possible situation could go to for a rookie quarterback. Like this team is already borderline playoff bound. With him, they are playoff bound. Oh yeah, man. DJ Moore, and you got Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen. Um, Joe Mixon. Did they go? Oh yeah, that, they were the ones that got DeAndre. Where did Joe Mixon they, go to they, the Texans? Texans. Yeah, okay, Texans. so yeah, they got DeAndre. Yeah, that's insane. And the ninth pick oh, yeah. to go get Te somebody Texans else. This is a Pro Bowl team essentially right now. Oh Texans yeah, they're are insane. All pro team. They're insane. I hope we're follow the we follow their blueprint. Second overall pick, take the franchise quarterback, win your division, go to the playoffs next offseason, hey, well, build a Super Bowl contender. To add to that, they also had the next pick and they took a generational pass rusher. So that that helped as well. Okay, bet, bet, bet. And I see my boy Ivory said, Oh no, bad luck in the building. Need to save the stream because the Patriots fan is in the house. <laughs> oh no, the, the stream is saved. Cause because unlike everybody else here, you actually have a champion in the building. So the stream <laughs> okay. is saved. You got gold in here. Look you what y'all did. Look you what y'all did. You got diamonds. You got a winner in the building. So the stream is saved. Thank you very much. Uh, that boy Caleb Williams smiling. We already know it's over with. What time do you have right now until the pick in the stream that you're watching? 7.30. Dang, you way yeah, you clean ahead of me. I don't know where you watching it at. I'm chilling though. I'm good. I you know, I don't hey, care. I got great Wi-Fi. I got great Wi-Fi. I'm at eight, I'm at 758 just now. Oh my goodness. And that's my <laughs> earlier stream. My other stream just got the 805. <laughs> I got but two. Best of them believe, Rico, they are still milking it. They're just showing Caleb Williams highlights. I mean, we all know he's gonna get picked, but like Chicago, what are you even waiting on? Like just Get the pick over with already. They're making me mad. I ain't going to lie. Because I'm too nervous for this, dog. My stomach feels crazy. They got to chill out. They got to chill out, man. Got to chill out. I'm sick of it. Whoo wee. They got hurry up, man. Cut. Hey, yo, Bears. You all, bro, y'all have had months to pick, bro. Go ahead. What are we milking? Y'all not even, NFL Network isn't even doing any real coverage. They just showing the draft room, Caleb Williams chilling. It's not even like they're doing any, like, analysis. ESPN is at least doing analysis. These guys just chilling. Up, oh, Caleb Williams oh, answering the phone. Okay, Here I'm we go. ESPN. Okay. What is? What's going on, man? What's taking so long? Yo, Caleb Williams on the phone. Why, why do they have, uh, like, why do they have, like, a 3D character on the screen now? What is this? <laughs> you this ahead of me, so I got to see. I got to wait. <laughs> I gotta wait. It's, all, about. It's, it's right. It's right around the six twenty mark. Six twenty. And they just had like some guy walking to a board. Like he looked like a Sims character walking to a board. <laughs> and yes, just to let y'all know, I am nervous. Not they, me. Very nervous right now. Can we hurry up? What is taking so long? I'm about to get a headache. They making me so mad. <laughs> Let's go, man. Man, why can't this guy just get a lineup? Like, it's it's kind of like a tape of <laughs> something. Bro, you got to look like you, all you do is breathe football. Live and breathe football. No time for haircuts, Caleb Williams. I mean, said. but we, we clearly know he does it. <laughs> Did this guy <laughs> stop, like, training to, to fly to Tokyo with his girlfriend or something? Was that a real report? I think so, I but no time for haircuts still. Still no time for haircuts. We doing other stuff, man. You know how NIL money go crazy? Like, I know I know he's not technically a cosplayer anymore, but who just flies to Tokyo as a draft prospect? Hey, man. No NIL money go crazy. Carson Beck, my dog Carson Beck got a Lambo, man. I gave up on even trying to question that Brand, stuff, man. Brandon, Brandon, you probably would still have a Lambo before NIL because you know, you know they're going to get money regardless. But yeah, yeah. At true. least now they don't have to hide it. Yep, yep. All right, let's see how this I mean, goes, could, man. I'm so scared. 
we could say this now since NIL is here. Like, remember, like, like one of the top players in uh, St. John's, Angela Harrison, for example, he had an apartment in Manhattan to himself. Like, <laughs> that's ridiculous, man. That boy Caleb Williams is living in a I, penthouse. I, I would think I'm incriminating him now, since like, what what can they do about it? Yeah, so <laughs> but, I like, mean, they yeah. they even gave Reggie Bush Bush's Heisman back. No, yes, everybody's good. Yes. We all good to go. Why did it take them so long though? They should have gave it back to him years ago. Man, should have definitely should have been did that. They was tripping. Definitely tripping. So 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 now all of a sudden they remembered who won the national championship that year? Yeah, they just gonna like give it 04, back. 04, 05. Yeah, they just, <laughs> suddenly the, the history books doesn't have white out on that page anymore. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly vacant didn't win the national championship. There was an actual <laughs> team that won back then. <laughs> suddenly, not just N slash A error. <laughs> Let's get it, man. Come on, Bears. Hurry up. Go ahead and pick Caleb Williams so we can move on, man. I'm trying to get this pick going, man. Stop playing with me, bro. Y'all making me nervous. Go ahead and get a move on, man. What y'all oh doing? Pick is... Pick... <coughs> oh, my bad. But pick has been in for, like, <laughs> since the season ended. Yeah, I am about to say since That's what I'm saying. December. Pick is in, pick is yeah. in December, bro. <laughs> Come on, dog. Come on, man. Hurry up, man. My stomach feels crazy. Can we please hurry up? I'm scared, dog. Let's congratulate for something we already knew what we were going to do since the season ended. Congratulations, fellas. We've done a good job. We made the right pick, even though the <laughs> pick was extremely obvious. Yeah, like, I was like, what, anybody could have What are you guys that stepping thing? up for? Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not Hey, going Joseph, by. what's up? What's up? I'm not even hungry anymore, dog. Can we please hurry up and make this pick so I can be hungry again, man? Yeah, people pointing out his pink phone too. People pointing out the pink phone. Okay, we're on, apparently on the clock. I mean, he's Prince if he was a quarterback, right? So yeah, hey. that's what people keep saying <laughs> Prince if he's a quarterback is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember Prince whooping up on uh, Charlie Murphy and them. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> this is what I was talking to my sister on. Prince actually has a deep voice, but I heard about that. Yeah. Have a singing voice. Even Michael Jackson, they have deep voices, and they, and they sound. I don't want to use the word "sound like a black person," but like not like to bring race into it. It's just like you know, like how like you can just tell mm -hmm. what race someone is by their voice. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, like he has like that type of voice, but yeah. we don't know that because in media, media obligations, and for singing, he uses a singing voice. And I didn't know he could actually do that. I've heard that before. I think they said uh, Michael Jackson had somewhat of a deep voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said that too. Michael Jackson as well. Yeah. Apparently, you can look that up on YouTube. I'm, I'm going to look it up after the stream. Okay. Caleb Williams looks pumped up. I'm scared, yes. dog. I'm not going to lie. I'm very scared and nervous. Be lying to you if I said it. My appetite is completely gone, dog. Go ahead and tell us what the pick is, man. Oh, my God. A report that the Vikings trade up to number two. Hey, chill out, man. Chill <laughs> out. Chill out. This stream will crash all of a sudden. Oh, what? no. My Wi-Fi. Oh, no. I'm out of here, dog. I ain't going to lie. Let me get on Twitter because Twitter might still be ahead. So let me get on Twitter. Oh, my Lord. I'm so scared, dog. Starting to get a headache. My stomach is inside out. Can I, you go I, ahead? I, I don't want to do it for the third pick, dog. I just want to do it for the second Oh, pick. okay. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. Man, hurry up and put so this So the report is in. true. Patriots are working on a potential trade for Brandon Ayu. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm seeing people in the chat say, too, that the pick is in. My boy graded with a ten, with a $1 donation just for the love of the sport, man. Appreciate that. It says like. Oh, yes, sir. Let them know, too. I really appreciate that. Letting everybody to like. My boy Caps with another donation as well. Here's a JD5 for my boy Rico to go. I appreciate that, man. Let's get it, man. The pick is apparently in. We are oh right my here. God. Commander selected JJ McCarthy. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you going to make so many people mad, dog. Come on, man. What's going on? What's going on, man? I'm scared to even look at my phone because I'm pretty sure my phone is ahead. I'm very sure well, my phone JGA is ahead. NBA football hasn't updated it yet, and I feel like they're the fastest, so. I'm so scared, bro. Go ahead, man. 
Go ahead, man. Go ahead and get this out the way, man. Let's go ahead and keep it pushing, man. I am scared. I am scared. I'm seeing a lot of people saying who they want in the chat. We'll see what it actually ends up being. Caleb Williams screaming like that didn't even look real. Like, it looked fake. I don't know. I like him as a quarterback, but I don't know. I didn't like the way that looked. My did, boy, did you Mike. Hear it? I, I was on mute. It did oh, look yeah, fake. I'm on mute, too. It's really low. Okay. I, it's, like, really not mute, but really low for me. Also, shouts out to my boy, Mike. Donation to the cash app, a big 20 ball to the cash app. Appreciate that big time. Much love to my boy Mike all the way in the cash app. Shouts out to everybody that's donating to the cash app too. Because again, y'all don't get any love on the screen. So I got to make sure I go out my way to give y'all love myself. I appreciate that, man. Yo, all they right. are really on it. Like, I can't see any any leaks right now. Adam Peters hasn't been playing, bro. Nobody's known what we're doing until it's been done. That's why I'm so nervous. I felt like if this were any other GM and head coach pairing that we had, we would already know who we were as the pick. Now, I, I, with Adam Peters, the way he's been doing things, I have no idea. I am scared. I am you know scared. That, you know that gif or that video with Lil Yachty that they do where he's, like, in the crowd dancing? Oh, yeah, where he's going out. Everybody been doing, like, AI yeah, in it. They, yeah. They did, they did that with Adam Peters just now. Oh, Lord, bro. Oh, Lord. What's going on? What's going on, man? I'm scared, bro. Hurry up. What is taking so long? They saying the commander's pick got leaked. Then, wh then where is it? What do you mean it got leaked? Where? What does that I'm even trying mean? To find it. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find <laughs> it. <laughs> trying to find it. You looking for it can't find it. I'm nervous sitting back here trying to avoid it. What is going on? Oh, uh, yeah, oh, no, I'm super oh nervous. Oh, my God. I am I super nervous. Stop, bro. Chill out, man. Let's go ahead. No, I'm you. serious. They traded for the pick. <laughs> He's trolling. No, I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> Say super trolling. Can't do that to us. Let's go ahead, man. Come on. Go ahead. And, yo, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and make the selection. Stop hyping up this Caleb Williams interview, bro. Go ahead and move on, bro. We good. He said easy, Rico. Easy. <laughs> Let me just sit. I may just need to sit back and chill, man, and just ignore it, bro. Come on. It's already 824, and the second pick hasn't even, has even uh, gone yet. It's it is already on? 824. It's been 24 minutes already. What is going on, man? I thought they were speeding this up. <laughs> Not at all. They're going to milk it. They're going to milk it for sure. I don't know why the clock is going down. Also, let me go ahead and shout out my boy Grizzly Papa Bear McLaren for the rookie sponsor. I really, really appreciate that. First of all, y'all donating and becoming sponsors is distracting me from all of the chaos that's going on with the Commanders right now. So I really appreciate it. Shouts out my boy Graded for another donation. Drake May looks like he wears bow shoes. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I really appreciate that, man. That's Let's get it. Watch, though, by Jaden Daniels. Okay, Jaden Daniels looking clean. You looking my clean. Boy, my boy, man. My boy. Come on, man. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Pick is in. What we doing? I'm scared. I'm seeing some stuff on Twitter, but I don't know if it's real. I don't know if it's real. You're see, we're seeing more than I have. I'm seeing a lot on Twitter right now. I'm okay, seeing the I, pick is I, in. I, I see it now. I I'm scared. Now. I don't know if this is real or not. I, I don't know. I already know who got picked, but I'll, 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 I'll let you get surprised. Okay, bet. I'm scared. I'm scared. Now let me exit Twitter because I don't want to see what happens to the Patriots. <laughs> Yeah, I, see, now I'm going to be on Twitter for that. I'm not going to say nothing to react, but I think we can assume if we take one quarterback, y'all yep. are going to take the other. I'm We're just assuming. Take the other. Yeah, Number I'm just assuming. It's a perfect spot. It's a perfect yeah. spot. My boy Spaghetti in the Garage with a I, I don't even know what that sentence means. Appreciate the donation to the chat, man, and also letting everybody know to like up the stream. I really appreciate that donation right there. Again, y'all are keeping me distracted from everything that's going on with this pick. I am so scared right now. What is going on? Is the pick in or not? Let me know when you see it on your TV, because I'm assuming everybody I mean, else in the chat is with the you. The comments are already saying it. So they like, already say, is it true? Yeah. Is it true? Yeah. Okay, I think it's true. I think it's true. Yes, sir. Oh, wrong person. Oh, wrong person to react with. Yes, sir. I think it's true. I think it's true. <laughs> yes, sir. Is it true, man? Are we for real in there? Let me know if we are for real in there. Is it really him? Is it really him? Is it time to go crazy? Is it time to go crazy? 
Yes, sir. I'm seeing the notifications everywhere. There's no way to hide it anymore. I'm seeing ESPN. I'm seeing Nikki Javala. I'm seeing Ben Standig. I'm seeing Matthew Perez, John Com. The pick is in. We got my boy, Jaden Daniels. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. I love the fit, too, man. I love yeah, the fit clean. for my boy. Yes, that, sir. That my boy clean. Nice. That watch is nice. My boy clean. My boy clean. I don't know if you saw the red carpet at first, but him and Cam Newton were, you know, swag talking back and forth, talking about their jewelry and everything. I loved it, man. Let's get it. Yes, sir. New era. New era of Washington. Let's get it. Yes, sir. It's kind, of, it's kind of bittersweet for me, you know, because like I was so set on us having Jada Daniels because it seemed like Drake May was locked at number two. Until, oh like, yeah, a while last, ago. Last yeah, two weeks. Yep. And now, yeah. So like, I really wanted Jada Daniels, but hey, y'all got a good one. Y'all got a good one, but I think we're going to get a good one as well. Whoo! Now it is time to trade up for a tackle. If you're Commanders fans, let's get it. Yes, sir. We got our quarterback, y'all. Hey, hey y'all can have that second round pick. We just need Terry McLaurin. We'll, we'll take it. <laughs> nah, man. We need to trade up back to like 20th overall. Get nah, my dog, Amarius Mills. This is a pretty deep tackle class. Like, hey, y'all can get a good tackle. Uh, you can get Tyler Guyton or something at, at I like second Guyton. round. No, yeah, I don't think he's going to make it to the second round. I think Jordan Morgan may be available there, but... Yeah, y'all can get Jordan Morgan, you know? Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, we'll just give you that clean, smooth second round pick. We'll get Terry McCorn. We'll no, it. no, never. Never. <laughs> never. My boy... Much Oh, my fault. I muted my mic. Appreciate my boy Grady VHS becoming a member, rookie sponsor for four months. Really, really appreciate that, man. And also, my boy Preston in the Cash App just donated a 20 ball to the chat. I really appreciate that. Shouts out my boy Mike for the dub. Shouts out my boy Preston for the dub in the Cash Apps. Both of them. Really appreciate y'all. We got our guy, man. My video is up. Don't don't even ask questions as to how I already have a video reaction for Jaden Daniels. I have a twin out there. He's doing the video right now. Don't worry. I have a body double. Don't worry about it. Go so, check that out. Hypothetically, if the commanders made a swerve and took Drake May, would you ha you had that video ready too, right? Yes, sir. You know how I okay. do that. You gotta have both of them locked and loaded, man. Okay, okay. They weren't gonna catch me lacking. <laughs> Locked and loaded. But that Jada Daniels one is definitely longer. My Jada Daniels video is 34 minutes. My Drake May one is 20. Like, I love them both, but there's just a different level with Jaden Daniels, dog. I'm so happy we got our guy. My boy Lyric hey. said this man got shadow clones. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. It's a it's a family secret. You know. You know it's a family secret. Hey, Taylor Hale is saying, who's my pick for the Patriots? I mean, Drake May. Like I said, Justin Herbert slash Josh Allen clone. In the division where we have Josh Allen, we got to have a Josh Allen 2.0. Yeah, you so got to like, counter, right. fight, fight fire with fire. Exactly. Fight fire with and fire. You know what? We got your Kobe Brissett. I am fine with Drake May, like especially for him. He's not as polished as Shaden Daniels or Caleb Williams, but he has just as much potential, if not more. I'm fine with him for sitting the year, learning the playbook. We Chicago got your Kobe Brissett. Brissett. Yep. Let, yep. Let's suck for another year, get another top draft pick. Drake May could come in either half of, like second half of the season or year two. Do you I need a left tackle? You need a left tackle? Yeah, we yeah, we do. We got Awanu, but he's more of a right guard, right tackle than a left tackle. So yeah, we need we need that. Be on the yeah. lookout for LSU's left tackle next year. He's gonna be great too. Cam That's his last name is Campbell, right? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know what you're talking about. Be on like, the lookout yeah, for like, him. That might be the guy y'all want. Shouts out my boy Graded with another donation, letting everybody know to like up the stream. If you like the pick, if you're excited, make sure you like up the stream and make sure you stick around because we have seen reports all over the place that the commanders are being very aggressive about trading back up into the first round for a tackle. So we are more than likely not done in this first round. I've seen reports from different people. I've seen Jordan Reed. I've seen Daniel Jeremiah. I've seen somebody else this morning say it so make sure you stay tuned to the live stream because we are not done first of all we're analyzing every pick anyway for every team because a lot of these guys i keep track of since high school recruits i've been watching them since high school college and everything like that so i already know what's going on with that but then on top of that even commanders specifically we are probably
probably not done yet. And also, I want to shout out my boy, Two Lit Keys, for the donation to JD5 for JD5. Let's go, Rico. Much love from Virginia Beach. Yes, sir, That's man. I boy. really appreciate that, man. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. And You're my boy, Shay. Let's go. I was about to say, I was, just about to, I was about to go ahead and hand you the rock. So you can go Let's ahead and go. talk about your guy, man. Yeah, well, oh, wait, it's the pick. They said pick is in. They said pick is in. I know what? I'm not even going to go through Twitter. I'm just going to see the comments. Y'all y'all tell me what it is. But, like, look, like, I'm just glad we ain't trading it because that's just been a Belichick thing to do is to always trade down. So now we know we're finally in a new regime where we have the pick. And we actually select the person with the pick, and we don't trade <laughs> down. Remember when we drafted Cole Strange? Guess who we could have drafted instead? Tell me. Trent McDuffie. Ah, oh, yeah. We let the Chiefs get him. Yep. So we drafted Cole Strange, and because we needed a quarterback a corner, because we didn't get a corner that year, we had to draft Christian Gonzalez. But then again, since we got drafted, well, actually, y'all could have got Christian Gonzalez, too. Y'all just chose the manual for Yeah, but, Rivera. Rivera yeah, stood yeah. himself, yeah. But we had to get Christian Gonzalez the next year because we needed a cornerback. But Drake May is officially a New England Patriot. I feel it. I he feel it. The, regime. the pick is in. You see, yo, this got. Oh, he, he's gonna be a top draft pick. You see the shoes he got on? <laughs> yeah, got I on. saw it earlier when he again. Cam got, Newton had the red carpet, so everybody was walking up to him explaining their swag. I see the you shoes. See that Jordan hoodie. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> this foot guy, he's it. <laughs> he's he's going to be a star. You just got to see from the fit alone. Sometimes you just got to analyze like how they look, their poise, no ditty, their uh, okay. charisma, um, just what they're dressing, their outfit, the way they shake someone's hand, and you can know that guy is going to be a future Hall of Famer. I see all of that with Drake May. And first of all, I'm seeing a lot of people say that this is going to be 2012 again, how we took the RG3 and then the team behind us took the Andrew Luck type of guy. I don't think it's going to be like that at all. I feel like both of them are going to ball out. I don't think Drake May is going to retire early because his offensive line beat him up. And I don't think Jaden Daniels is going to get hurt like RG3. And if anything, I feel like Jaden Daniels is a way better passer than RG3 ever was as far as reading defenses, oh, yeah, going through definitely. his progressions, being accurate, deep ball accuracy. So I'm not worried about it at all. Also, I, my mom um, said in the chat that cash app that you're holding for me is yours. Happy draft day. So there was some money I was supposed to send to her. She said, keep it for the Jaden Daniels pick. I really appreciate that, mommy. Matter of fact, I'm going to do the air horns for that as well, per usual. Yes, sir, man. What was you saying? Well, the, the one weakness that Jaden Daniels has in common with Ro Roger Griff Robert Griffin, I would say Roger Griffin, RG3 is that they both throw their body into reckless abandon. Mm -hmm, like yep. they're like, so he has no he has no regard for his body at all. So are you worried about that with Jaden Daniels? Not really, because first of all, he's shown that he can slide. RG3 literally couldn't slide. I remember vividly every time he would try to slide, he would like hit it, the back of his head on the field. Like he literally just couldn't. Jaden Daniels can slide. I just think he was doing a little too much hero ball and was just trying to, you know, the LSU defense was giving up 28 points per game last season. He knew yep, going into true. every game, I, I got to do something. It's got to be me. We got to score at least 30 points to even have a chance to win the game. That's so, what he's going to have to do with Washington. <laughs> with, with the Washington defense as well? Nah, you ain't seen what we did in free agency, man. It ain't going to be that bad. It ain't going to be that. I'm ready okay. this year. We ready this year. Oh, let me also, we got a few Cash App donations as well. My boy, Hey Scotty, per usual, with a big dub to the Cash App. Yes, sir. Tell Trish, need to give up that number five. Appreciate that. My boy, Hey Scotty over there. And then my boy, George, also gave a big donation to the Cash App as well. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all are going no. stupid today, man. Much love to y'all, man. Patriots really have been spoiled with quarterbacks, haven't we? They're, they showed the, the last five drafted quarterbacks from the Patriots in the first round. We had Jim Plunkett. Okay. We had uh, Tony Easton, Drew Bledsoe, Mac Jones, and, and now Drake. Yeah, and, we, yeah, but yeah. I mean, way better than our and, history. And not to even mention Tom Brady, we got six rounds. I mean, we have, yeah, I mean, we ain't, we yeah. have been real. We had been spoiled with really great quarterbacks. Like, Mac Jones is like, the rare time we actually had a bad franchise quarterback. <laughs> that, that's crazy. I'm about to say, I hope you enjoy it. But, I, hey, I used to be like, man, I wish I knew how that felt. But my Georgia Bulldogs are showing me Not at all. Sometime. 
my Georgia Bulldogs are showing me that, yeah, you, you know, what it feels like to be great. I hope my commanders can do that. I hope my commanders, because now I know I, I see it from your side of being the team that's always great for so long. I can see it from the Georgia Bulldogs. I hope my commanders can give me that feeling at the NFL level, too. It's quite, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. Go Hater. <laughs> it's quite nice going into every season assuming that you're going to be great. I really want the commanders to be that, and I really think they will be. I don't know if y'all know who the Cardinals already took, but I already see the pick right now. I didn't oh, even yeah, mean to. Let me get to. back on Twitter now. Let me get back on Twitter. It just popped up on my phone. I didn't even mean to see so, it. So is it a uh, MHJ? Let me see. Did I just get barked at? Is that Aja? What happened? Why are your eyebrows so foofy? What happened to your fur? Why are you bothering me? I'm having fun. Shiz, shiz, you said Jaden Daniels is Sam, Sam Howell 2.0. Why would you say that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. No, he might be talking about Drake May. I don't know. No, I, I think he's talking about Jaden Daniels. I mean, because, no you know, way. Washington Washington connection. He ain't talking about the UNC connection. No. Nah. <laughs> he got to be talking about Drake May. <laughs> got to be. Even though I don't agree either way. Hey, Gary Tucker, I was not born in that time. I'm, but one thing I know is Drew Bledsoe was better than who? Was it Rosenfeld that was a quarterback in Washington? Who was a quarterback in the mid-90s in, in Washington? I don't even remember. <laughs> For the Washington then Redskins, who was the quarterback? Drake May, North Carolina, you see. Gary Tucker says, um, what, dude, what? Shady. Jim Pluckett better than Sammy Bowe. Than Sam Jurgensen, than Joe Deisman. I mean, look, I wasn't born at that time. Like we don't, we don't. I, I wasn't saying he was better. I'm just saying he was still a decent. Like we haven't had bad quarterbacks. Yeah, shouts out to y'all, man. I want to know what that feels like. My boy Dave G. Comedy. Yeah, that's Rock. That's Rock was mid. Let, let's be honest. <laughs> my bad. My yeah, bad. Cut you off, but yeah, no, you that's Rock was mid. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the donation, my boy Dave G Comedy. Happy draft day, Rico, man. Happy draft day to y'all. We got our guy. Thanks for all the great year-round content. And hey, man, first of all, appreciate the donation. Appreciate the compliment and the support, but it does not stop. If anything, we're about to kick it up to another gear just off of how excited I am about having Jaden Daniels. Y'all don't understand how much I really wanted him. I'm super excited. Also, oh, Lord, shouts out to my boy, Dave G Comedy, for the donation. And then now my boy, Sean, just donated a 20 ball to the Cash App as well. Love your coverage, Rico. Let's go, Commanders. Let's get it, man. I really appreciate that big time, man. Much love to everyone. Everybody, shouts out to all of y'all donating. I really feel the love and love the support. We got our quarterback, man. Let's get it. It's a new era in Washington. We have our GM, our owner, our head coach, everything, and now our franchise quarterback. I can't wait. I'm super optimistic. I ain't going to lie. So DeWan Drake, if I'm pronouncing right, he says, uh, Pats was trash before Tom Brady and will be after. Nope, because we in the era of Drake Bay. We got Gerard Mayo as our head coach. We're going to get Brandon Ayuk as our number one receiver. And we got all the cap space in the world. It ain't going to happen. Oh, yeah. We're going to be good again. I never got a chance to ask you how you feel about Gerard Mayo. You like him? Oh, yeah. I, I love Gerard Mayo as a player. He was basically a leader on the field. Like, he was a coach on the field. So, if there was anybody to be the successor to, to Bill Belichick, yeah, Gerard Mayo would be one of the first players I would think of. I mean, obviously, it wasn't going to be Brady, of course. So, like, Gerard Mayo was going to be... One of the first players I think of. Like, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Okay. And I'm, I'm glad I'm glad they, they kept it in the house rather than getting someone who wasn't from, like, the Patriots or Belichick tree. So, you're seeing it as best-case scenario, like how the um, Texans hired, uh, what's his name, a head coach? Exactly. Tomiko and then, Ryan. then they got C.J. Stroud. You got your Drake made. That's, how you, that's the vision. Yeah, but then again, Texans also had another top five pick and got Will Anderson. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't have right. that luxury. You're right. <laughs> so it's not going to take us as quick as the Texans, but right. like the Texans, we have all the cap space in the world. So look, we can we can get more talent. Like we use that second round pick to get Brandon Ayuk. We'll be good. And, uh, and if you remember last season, we were winning games until that defense got hurt. So Christian Gonzalez is back. We got um, some more of our linemen and linebackers coming back from injury. I say our defense is going to be solid. And like I said, I don't need Drake May to even play immediately. If you want Jacoby Brissett to play immediately, I'm fine with that. 
Have them play immediately. I don't know if Brandon Ayuk will be happy, but hey, we'll pay him thirty plus million a year, whatever he wants. <laughs> to wait, so he to wait, to Drake May's that. ready. Yeah. yeah, just to wait, and then we'll be ready by next year. We'll get another top draft pick, and yeah, we'll be set. All right, so, um, so do you think he's gonna get the Pat Mahomes treatment where he starts after year one, or the Jordan Love treatment? How you think? Now, I wish he would get the Pat Mahomes treatment. Oh, no, he's not getting the Jordan, Jordan Love treatment. But I, I even wish he'll get a Pat Mahomes treatment. But I feel like Patriots fans in general are going to be very impatient. He's if the start Kobe Brissett starts season. to struggle, yeah, the, 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 the Patriots fans are going to chant for Drake May to start, like how they did for uh, Bailey Zappi when Mac Jones was struggling. Well, watch out because so, when we threw Jacoby Brissett out there, he started to win us games when we didn't want to win. He almost messed up the second overall pick. <laughs> That's the thing, like, Jacoby Brissett ain't, ain't even bad. So, like, we might even win games with him. Yeah. But, like, look, if, if, if that happens, I'm I'm perfectly fine with that. And I love Jacoby Brissett. Like, mm -hmm. I'm perfectly fine with it. Yes, sir. And just to let y'all know, I firmly believe that we're going to trade up for a tackle in this first round. So, I'm already live streaming the entire draft anyway. But as far as the commanders go, I truly believe – we're about to trade up at some point to get a tackle. It may not be anytime soon, but I think it's on the way. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. We didn't even talk about Marvin Harrison Jr. going to the Cardinals. And I, that was a great pick. I thought they they might have tra would have traded back, but I think that was the, the best decision for them to get. The bet, Honestly, he's the best player in this draft, Marvin Harrison Jr. I can see, I can see him definitely being an argument for the safest player in this draft for sure. Like the guy you know. Yeah. Of course, anybody you can say injuries. Outside of that, he's going to be the safest. You know for a fact he's going to be a pro bowler guy probably in this draft. For sure. For sure. Also, um, shouts out my boy Terrell for becoming a pro bowl sponsor. I got to add your name to the list of names at the end of all of the videos. I really appreciate that. Much love for that, man. And then also... I got to shout out my boy Antonio for a 10 ball to the cash. I appreciate that. YouTube channel donation. Much love, man. Y'all are going super stupid today. I really appreciate y'all. And then my boy JBB also sent me a big 10 ball to the chat. And he said he followed me on Twitter. I'm going to make sure I follow you back, man. Appreciate that cash app donation big time. Much love, man. Again, y'all are going crazy. I'm super excited. We got a franchise quarterback. And again, I truly believe somewhere maybe late teens, early 20s, I think we can see the commanders trading up for a tackle. We've already seen multiple reports coming from multiple reporters that the commanders are being very aggressive about trading up. Let me go find the exact tweet as a matter of fact. Who was it? Was it Ryan Fowler? I believe it was. How long? Was it who was it, man? I gotta find it now. Yeah, it was Ryan Fowler. He tweeted. First of all, we gotta stop and look at the Jaden Daniels picture. Come on now. Come on now. Stop playing with me. But um, where are we at? It says we're going to be aggressive. Let me move this over a little bit. We're going to be aggressive. A source in Washington said regarding a potential move back into the first round. The target remains an offensive tackle where a chance to select Oklahoma's offensive tackle Tyler Guyton would be a, quote, perfect world scenario. Of course, I prefer Marius Mims. And even going back to Marius Mims, um, uh, I, there, we had a top 30 visit with him. I didn't even know. Nobody knew we had a top 30 visit with Amarius Mims until Drake May said it in an interview that he had. So we had Amarius Mims come in for a top 30 visit. Shouts out to him for snitching on that because I'm assuming Adam Peters and company did not want that to get out because I think there has to be a reason it wasn't reported like all of the other information that was out there. Um, and and so, yeah, I'm hoping we trade up for either Amarius Mims or Tyler Guyton. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, man, let's get it. I'm super excited. That's the tweet. Let me figure out what's a good tab for y'all to look at. I guess we can have like a draft tracker right here for y'all to look at while the trade, the picks are going in. Now, uh, you saw the Jaden Daniels to Washington jersey. I sent you, Rico, a Drake May in a Patriots jersey. Oh, Lord. What am I about to see here? On Skype. I, saw, I showed it on Skype. I don't know if you could uh, access it. <laughs> so he wants me to be nervous again. My mom just texted me. Wait, wait, you sent it where? On Skype, cause uh, I, I oh, saw on laptop. Skype. Oh, I was looking like what? All right, now how do I see that? Oh, chat. 
Oh Lord, here you go. <laughs> here for everybody in the stream yes. to say it, to see yes. it too. <laughs> Doesn't he look great? Doesn't he look great at that 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 throwback jersey? It's gonna be winning a lot of games for us in the future. <laughs> Let's get it, man. I appreciate everybody that's donating to the chat. We got our quarterback, y'all. We got a matter of fact, let me go. I hear some little pro analysis. I'm going to read the pre-draft analysis on them. Let's see. They said Daniels is the only player in FBS um, history to, sorry, excuse me, to pass for 1,200 yards and rush for 3,000 yards. He gets the ball out quickly when he likes his pre-snap look. He gets through his progressions, giving time and flashes, great anticipation, throwing over the middle. His completion percentage has, has steadily improved over the past four seasons, and he's accurate on tape. Daniels also extends plays, and he's one of the most dangerous runners in the class regardless of position. He's quick, has good contact balance, and shows pull-away speed. Now, post-draft analysis, Matt Miller comps on Lamar Jackson. I don't agree with that, but it is what it is. I'll take it. Post-draft analysis, the Commanders had 21 interceptions last season and traded Sam Howell to Seattle in March, leaving a big hole at quarterback. Of course, we brought in Marcus Mariota as a backup. I don't know if you know about that, Shay, just to let you know. Marcus Mariota is our veteran oh, yeah, I backup. Know. I know. <laughs> um, but Daniels has the mobility, accuracy, and decision-making to thrive in an offensive coordinator Cliff Kingsbury's scheme. His ability outside of structure will place less stress on Washington's offensive line that allowed 65 sacks last season, tied for the second most in the NFL. And he'll fit well with the wide receivers Terry McLaurin and Jahan Dotson after being arguably the most accurate deep ball passer at FBS last season. And it's not arguably. He literally was the best and most accurate deep ball thrower in college football last year. Let's get it. And apparently, Joe Walt, Notre Dame, to uh san diego charges i thought yeah, that was the pick I, I oh you thought that was the pick i felt like that was the first real surprise for me because i thought they would probably either trade down or go malik it Neighbors. was it was trade down to joe alt for me but that's only because i've been listening to so much draft stuff and they literally have been saying okay they're going offensive line they're not going to take brock bowers they're not going to take a receiver because they really want to get offensive line jim harbaugh loves to run the ball and joe all is an elite offensive lineman so i thought Wait, it was on the trade back, running back for the chargers right now i need to draft them a first round in fantasy <laughs> <laughs> you right you right you right you super right on that I ain't gonna lie you are super right because it ain't austin eckler because he came to us yeah he's in the redskins i mean yeah. commanders now my bad you Amazing. good, you good. You good, you good. Also, my boy graded with another donation. Appreciate that. He said Drake May reminds me of the movie Funny Games. I don't know that movie. I don't know if you do, Shay. I'm lost on that one. Appreciate the donation, nah, my boy. Yeah. yeah, I'm not really a big movie watcher, so yeah, I'm lost on it. Oh, Gus Edwards, yeah, he's he's a first round pick. He's a first round pick. Yeah, gotta me. be. Oh, yeah. Power back two. Charges offense, pick. Justin Herbert. They they lost Keenan oh. Allen. Oh yeah, they're about to run the ball like they got crazy. both the Baltimore running backs. They got J.K. Dobbins as well. Oh yeah. Oh well, yeah. Well, J.K. Dobbins is like an injury waiting to happen, so I'm mm -hmm. just probably going to just select Gus Edwards. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Giants got the sixth pick. I don't think they're going quarterback because they already paying an arm and a leg for Daniel Jones. So I can't see them getting uh, JJ McCarthy here. This could be a trade down scenario for them as well, but apparently the pick is in. I oh, hope it was trade. I hope it was trade down because I don't want them it? to get Malik. You I do want not want them to get oh. Malik. Is it Malik? Well, bad news for you. It is Malik, ain't it? Yup. Ah, yep. uh, Lord, man. I do not feel like going against Malik twice a year, man. They went from old, one LSU receiver in Odell to now Malik Neighbors. And it's scary because Malik Neighbors even faster, dog. That's scary, bro. I do not like this at all. I do not like this at all. That boy Malik is different. Who's I'm throwing sick. to him, though? <laughs> Who's throwing to him? Yeah, yep. <laughs> yep, that's a great point. That's a good thing about it, too. I guess we can look at it like gonna that. They're going to have to treat him like Debo, really. He's going to have to hand him the ball. Like, we can't trust <laughs> That's the only way he can deep. touch it, is that they just hand it to him outside <laughs> of the backfield. <laughs> I'm super excited, man. I think Jaden Daniels is going to be so great. I think we're going to start winning immediately. I'm not saying we're Super Bowl contenders at all this year, but I think um, – I think we're going to be something serious. I'm definitely thinking playoffs. I'm definitely at least playoff contender, even if we don't make it. 
Um, insider information with trading up for tackle. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's already everybody's reporting on it again. I just showed y'all the tweet from Ryan Fowler. We are trading up for quarterback. I'm, I mean, for tackle. I'm letting y'all know that right now. Um, and then, oh uh, dang, and it's uh, it's apparent. Oh, yeah. What we saying? I was going to say to the comment of the one was saying that, like, yeah, there was there was no way. <laughs> If we're going to trade a pick, there's no way we're trading with the Giants. No way. <laughs> That's I what I was just about to say. Picks we're we are I'm, not seeing, with the Giants. I'm literally we're seeing not reports that, that the Giants tried it. The Giants literally tried it, and y'all said no. I'm literally seeing reports about that. <laughs> there was no way. Even if they gave us a favorable offer where we'll be fleecing them, <laughs> no way we'll be doing business with the Giants. Not with the, no anybody way. but the Giants. Anybody but You're the Giants. You're doing with the Dolphins oh, before the Giants. I'm doing with the Jets. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody but the Giants. <laughs> Shouts out my boy Jay Benjamins in the cash shop for donating. Appreciate that. Thanks for me. Uh, thanks for making me realize to edit. Appreciate that. My boy Jay Benjamins in the cash much love for that. I accidentally muted my mic again. I don't know what I'm doing. My boy graded with another donation to the Cash App. Was hoping the Giants would bust on a quarterback reach. I was rooting for that as well. And, I mean, to Shahi's point, even as deadly as Malik Neighbors is, who's going to get him the ball consistently? Is it going to be Daniel Jones? We are not too confident They're going to have to do end arounds to, to get him the ball. They're going to have to treat him <laughs> like Debo. He's going to be in the backfield. <laughs> Yeah, shouts out. You can't miss with Malik they don't Neighbors. They got Saquon anymore. This is like a bare bones offense. Boy, imagine going from Baton Ridge to New York. God, Lee, that's uh, got to be crazy, man. Yeah, that, we that weather is going to be crazy. That Not he's going to be Jersey. sick. Well, yeah, technically New Jersey. But yeah, he's going to be sick in that weather. Oh, he's he ain't never played in weather that cold before. <laughs> he about to be sick. Yeah, he's going he gonna to have to ask Odell for advice for real. Yeah, how did you do it, man? How you stay warm in the winter? Help me. How'd you get traded so quickly, Odell? Like, please tell me. <laughs> let me let. What, what, what was that whole boat incident? Like, <laughs> how can I avoid that boat incident? <laughs> how do I avoid taking that picture on the boat, dog? How do I avoid that one, man? Yeah, so who did you, who would you pick? Malik Neighbors or Marvin Harrison Jr.? If I had like the fourth overall, just in general, like who you think is going to be the better receiver? It's it's to me, it's literally the same exact argument as Jaden Daniels versus Drake May, the floor versus the ceiling. I I literally feel like it's kind of that. Even though stop sleeping on Marvin Harrison ceiling, stop sleeping on Jaden Daniels ceiling. He has elite legs and he's the best deep ball thrower. So I feel like that's like literally the exact parallel is really what you prefer. I'd probably go Marvin Harrison Jr. just simply because I would go Jaden Daniels. But I feel like they're very similar in that way where Malik Neighbors is the Drake May of wide receivers and Marvin Harrison Jr. is the uh, the Jaden Daniels of receivers. In my so I would go Marvin Harrison Jr., me personally. Yeah, I'll go Martin Harrison Jr. as well. And like also like there are different types of receivers. Like Malik Neighbors is more explosive. Yep. And while like Marvin Harrison Jr. is just more of an X guy. He well, he can play the slot as well, but he's more like the like the the taller jump ball guy. While Malik Neighbors, he's 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 the yak guy. Yep, super duper. And he has, you know, he he got some jump ball to him too. He's really an all around receiver, but yeah, like if we're trying to separate the two, who's better at what? I think that's the, yeah, I completely agree. Also, shouts out my boy Braxton in the cash app for that donation, man. I appreciate that big time, man. Much love there in the cash app from my boy Braxton. Y'all, again, y'all are going crazy today. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all are going insane. All right, man. I'm telling y'all, commanders are going to trade up for a tackle. It may not happen within the next 10 picks, but be on the lookout somewhere when, once we get to them late teens, somewhere between 8 to 25. Well Tell you. I already know who Tennessee selected. Do you want me to tell you or hold on? Or let me let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna try to I'm trying to think. So based on what they need, I think it's gonna be Olu they, Fashanu. They, they or... wanted to take all. They wanted to take all. So it's Olu Fashanu, isn't it? That's what I, I think it was Olu Fashanu, right? Not him. Not him. If it's not him, it's gotta be JC Latham, because everybody keeps talking about Correct. his ceiling. Okay, Correct. so it's JC Latham. Okay. Yeah. Everybody keeps talking about his ceiling. He... He's that guy. A lot of people say he is a top three ceiling in his class out of the tackles. It's just 
is he ready immediately? That's the thing. But you I, know what? This is the um, type of pick that Vrabel would have selected. Because he's, yeah, literally. Uh, he's, a power, he's a power blocker. So yep, literally. It's like they, they don't have Derrick Henry in the backfield anymore. So, like, <laughs> yeah. Why, uh, why JC Lake? That's crazy. That's actually a funny way to look at it. That's insane. I'm super excited, man. Jaden Daniels looks excited. I can't wait to trade up for this tackle. Let's get it, man. And Malik Neighbors' accent is exactly what I thought it would be. Like, literally what I thought he, uh, I, from him I being Louisiana. It. <laughs> but it's, bruh. I saw him again on the red carpet with Cam Newton. I feel like he was the funniest with Cam Newton. Like nobody him and Cam New York Newton. can't understand him then. If, if he has a New Orleans accent, nobody in New York is going to understand him. Oh, yeah. It's going to be terrible. But at least they both say son and they both say you heard. So, well, they say you heard me. But they <laughs> got hurt? some similarities yeah, to their accent a little bit. They both got the you heard. they subtitles when he speaks. Oh yeah, he gonna boy, he gonna kill them. That boy say buku one time, they gonna be like, what? That them New Yorkers, what did you say? <laughs> what? Cause he he was even talking to Cam in his thickest accent possible. He was like, yeah, that my little yeah. Like he had all of the Louisiana going, the whole thing, bro. It's crazy. He has the thickest. Yo, I remember just being in New York, and when I came back, like to my neighborhood, and then like the kids from New Orleans was talking. I was just like, wow, I can't understand them anymore. That's crazy. <laughs> you lost it. You lost yeah. it. <laughs> it took me a while to get it back. Yeah, the, the red carpet that I saw out of like 10 people I saw, I saw like Jaden Daniels, Drake May, Roma Dunze. I feel like Malik Neighbors was the most entertaining and funny because they were trash talking about Madden. They were comparing fits. Cam had the heaviest Atlanta accent. Uh, that boy Malik Neighbors had the heaviest Louisiana accent. I thought it was beautiful. And they were talk, they were talking trash about Madden too. So I need them to run that game and uh and play. Speaking of Madden, because my boy Anthony Edwards is hilarious on Madden. I don't know if y'all seen that. How do you feel about my boy Anthony Edwards right now, Shay E? How you feel about my boy? All I gotta <laughs> say is I know Michael Jordan has spent some time in Atlanta back in 2000. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> gotta be. Ain't no, ain't, ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way. We gotta we gotta get Maury for that one. Ain't no way. <laughs> I'm loving what I'm seeing, man. I'm loving, it. even though he wasn't efficient last game. The trash talking, the but Atlanta, even still, like, he, the defense. Even, yeah, yeah, he impacts defense, no matter what. Yeah, and he was still making some tough shots, even when he was having a bad shooting night. He was it. It didn't deter him. Oh, and they yeah, still now, won. You ain't got to worry about his confidence out of anybody, dog. They yeah. still won. Yeah, I like man. Like I said, I went from AI to Gilbert Arenas a little bit. Then I was super duper Westbrook, and now I'm Ant, and I'm more Ant than I've ever been for any other and player. Like that's my, my dog. Uh, my oldest sister, she lives in Minnesota for work, so uh, she and she's an Ant fan because one, she's from he's from Atlanta, and yes, two, she sir. kind of became a Minnesota. Timberwolves fan, so he yeah, makes them fun to because. watch. People watch yeah. Minnesota games. You saw Stephen A. Smith said, "I may actually go to that cold city for once just because of Anthony Edwards." Once I <laughs> visit Minnesota, I want to see a Timberwolves game myself. Yeah, just because of Anthony <laughs> Edwards. Like, it does make them a little bit more must see. And I never really criticized the Go Bear trade because I was just like very uncertain because I'm like, this could go well and this could go bad, and. First I was down year, on it. I'm was, not going to lie. I was down. I was upset. Now, first year, I was going, okay, like, this might be one of the worst trades in NBA history. Yeah, because exactly. It was horribly. <laughs> but <laughs> now they found chemistry. And now this is the best case scenario. Like, defensively, you can't score inside on them. And that and trade for Michael Conley was huge. Like, Mike Conley perfect. is big time for that for this team, man. Because he, he already had prior chemistry with Gobert, too. And He's yep. a different point guard from D'Lo. Like, D'Lo might be the better individual player. And honestly, that might be the better. Shooter. Favorite. I'm about to say shooter, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, he's a better and shooter. And even did. Hot and cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, like, they needed an actual point guard. And that's what Conley is. He's a point guard. He's a veteran. Um, I think he's even mentoring Anthony Edwards in a way as well. Like, you see Anthony Edwards. Jumping yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, got their own handshake oh, yeah. and everything. Like, yeah, you see him talking to him. There's sometimes, even when Ant's having a good game, Mike Conley's not afraid to be like, hey, yo. Like, you, yeah. you see them sometimes, like, Mike Conley's pointing at something. And when he's something. having a bad game, he rolls them in. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. He's huge. If the, the Timberwolves end up going far, it's Mike Conley's a way bigger part of it than people probably oh, realize yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah. Even if the stats don't show it. If if Cat could just stop, alone. if Cat can stop getting offensive fouls, we uh, Timberwolves might be something deadly. 
That that but that's why they got go there because every time a cat was playing center, like he can't defend, so he always kept getting fouled out. So yeah. they thought like, oh, the remedy is let's move him off off from the paint, let's put him at the four, and he's still getting fouled. Yeah, but I just don't at understand. least at least with Gobert, you get to somewhat hide him on defense. But it's it's hard to hide when the Suns got Kevin Durant, Beal, and Booker. Like he has to guard one of them, and yeah. he's been guarding Durant. And so, uh, as far as the Falcons go, because they're up next, and we're both Falcons haters, of course. How do you feel about what they're gonna do? Because right <laughs> now, I think it's Dallas Turner or trade back. That's that would be my two I, choices I, I right think now. They gotta go Dallas Turner, like. One of the things the Falcons have never had for some reason is an elite pass rusher. At least never, never drafted. Yeah, they, never, they'll, yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll sign one, but they can never draft an elite pass rusher. They had Vic Beasley. He was good for one year, and that was it. That was they crazy. Need, that yeah, was crazy. They, they need to get Dallas Turner. Like I know Dallas Turner is more like high risk, high reward, but I just feel like for someone who's 250 pounds, can run a 4-4-6 four, four, with those elite measurables, you you got to select them. Yeah, because that, that's what they need. Like they could use a receiver off of Drake London as well, but they already use so many picks on receivers and running backs. They need to address the defense or address the O line. And I say they need to address. Uh, they need to get or O line or D line, and they need to get Dallas Turner. Ooh, do you know who they took? Oh my goodness! Do you he, know he, who they took? Roger Goodell's back. Let me guess. Latu, Latu, Latu. How you pronounce it? I don't know if y'all want me to tell what? y'all, dog. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Let's go, Falcons. That's I what I like, like to see. I don't think he's going to be good. I think he is. But what was the point of getting this guy this summer? What was, was the point him? of paying all that money? All that money. All of that money. For what? This guy is almost as old as me already. Like, it's not like he's a young quarterback that they're drafting. Let's go, Falcons. Yes. This guy is almost as old as me. We don't got to go against Dallas Turner this year because we played the Falcons this year, too. So I'm so happy. Woo! We ain't got to go against Dallas Turner against this offensive line. I heard the rumors. I heard the rumors. I just thought it meant second round. I didn't think I didn't think yeah. it was really going to be true. I thought it was J.J. McCarthy. I didn't think it was. Whew, that's no, interesting. No, no, the the rumors were him. The rumors were yeah, definitely okay. him. Yeah, okay. I was I hope thought, I was thinking JJ. I, I, I saw those rumors, but I didn't think like they can't possibly select him with the eighth pick. It's gonna be second round if he's still there. Okay. But <laughs> seventh overall, the Falcons select. But, eight, but still, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir, Falcons. Good job, my oh, boy my. Sonny. My boy Sonny with the big time donation Wait, to the super chat. Yes, hope for the best, but terrible pick. We will look back on yep. this draft. Appreciate Am the I donation. Tripping? Didn't they just get a new GM? Uh, or do they keep the same GM? Because this seems like a lot like them. the previous regime's pick. I think they kept them. New head coach. Uh, what's his okay, name from okay. the Rams? Yeah, because this seems very on brand. How he drafted Kyle Pitts when he could have got um, a quarterback. Was it a quarterback? Yeah, yeah, Justin Fields. Even though I guess that probably didn't age too badly. Um, they could have got they got B. John Rock, they got Drake London. When I guess they could have got a, they probably need a receiver, but I mean they got had Kyle Pitts previous year. Then they get B. John Robinson. Mm -hmm. And now when they sign Kirk Cousins, when you think like, okay, they got Kirk Cousins. I'll say that's the last that position old. they gonna take at seventh he overall. Play for four more years if that Achilles is good. Did, did, they, did they just probably get the the physical and realize like, okay, this Achilles is much worse than we thought, and we just but wasted then at the our same money. Time, you get a guy who's also having yeah, the same uh, another injury, injury prone, <laughs> multiple ACLs, multiple shoulder injuries, and I love him. I love. What's his name? I mean, I don't know oh, if y'all want to know goodness. already, but like, I, the injuries are crazy, man. The the injuries are crazy. Oh, shouts out to uh somebody on Twitter said we need a live look of Kirk Cousins right now. Like, we need somebody to go to Kirk Cousins' that house and show his sick. face. I just saw Kirk <laughs> Cousins last week at the Atlanta United game. He was uh bang he was uh banging the nail. Like they have like a little ritual where you bang ATL on the nail. Uh -huh. He was doing that. Like uh -huh. I saw him last week. He looked so happy. Oh, little man. did he know. 
Little did he know. Well, just to let y'all know, it is Washington quarterback Michael Penix. We'll just go ahead and say it now. The they waste they used all of that money to get Kirk Cousins, oh and they ended God. up just drafting Michael Penix. I think my, they again need with Shaheed, pass rusher. yeah, I'm with Shae where I think Michael Penix will end up being a good quarterback. But how does that work? And then of he'll course, he'll be like 27 by the time he'll probably be starting when <laughs> Kirk Cousins is gone. He'll be nearing 30. <laughs> Starting his first start as a as a. 30 year old guy and you know i'm big on my georgia bulldogs so my twitter is on fire right now they are sick my my georgia bulldogs twitter right now we go from you getting Jaden rashada man. we you we go we go from I'm the high we go from the high of getting Jaden rashada to come to georgia and then you go to the low of getting michael Penix seventh overall <laughs> oh poor well how kodak feel about well, this man I I guess to give them credit, it is eighth overall, but still bad. Still I mean, yeah, bad. yeah, my fault, eighth overall, but still, still. I just saw a tweet from Draft Network, quote, Atlanta is playing the long route with Penix. How long? He's already 25. <laughs> <laughs> What's the long route for the 25-year-old, man? I love Michael Penix. You I think he's a really a good quarterback. Right here by the time you'll be able to start. Boy. That boy, yeah, he about to be a firm, solid 28 years old before his first start. That's insane. I know he's at this, happy, though. At this point, I believe Kirk Cousins was at Michigan State when, when Michael Penix was a freshman for how long <laughs> Michael Penix been in college. <laughs> hey, hey, man, shouts. I know Michael Penix, outside of the inability to start, being a rich black man in Atlanta has to be amazing. We no, just, this, this we will get... be amazing if they inside Kirk Cousins because he, especially for what he did in that post game in the bowl game, shouting out his guy that that's in jail. He oh was, yeah, his buddy back in Florida. Well the Atlanta fans yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. The Who's Falcon. Well the you Atlanta know, Kirk Cousins throws two interceptions. They're immediately oh, screaming they for Michael Penix. For, they are chanting for him to sit on the bench. I don't know what what the Falcons are doing, knowing the type of fans they had. Yeah. I remember when DJ Shockley got drafted by the Atlanta Falcons. DJ and Shockley. And the fans <laughs> were standing for Matt Ryan to get benched for DJ Shockley. <laughs> Yeah, like Rich said, like we already said, he's 25 and about to sit for three to four years. He about to start his first game at 28. That's insane, dog. That, but again, Falcons fans, they're gonna love Michael Penix. The problem is, it's it's not more so. Why did you draft Michael Penix? If anything, why did you sign Kirk Cousins to all that money uh, if you knew you were getting Michael Penix? What was the purpose uh, of that? I, I'm looking on Falcons Reddit right now. It says can't be ser serious. Terry yeah. Terry Fontenu just made his own bed. Yeah, that's incredible. Imagine drafting an old ass backup first round. <laughs> Some people have no thing. Yeah, I mean, they, did, they did pick a tight end at four, so this fits what they do. Yeah, yeah. Let me just type in Falcons right now. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna go to Falcons, I'm gonna go to my list. We're gonna go to UGA and see how my boys is feeling over there at UGA. Let's get it. Even, I'm just curious. My, even my boy I, I knew it grew up with in real life is on Falcons Reddit right now. I see his comments that did not expect this at all. We need defense. Also a good dude to take over after Kirk, I think. Okay, so my boy Muhammad is positive with this. But no, nah, like, no, nah, this is <laughs> – I would be livid if I was a Falcons fan. But since I'm not, I'm laughing. I mean, again, it's so confusing because I think if you don't get Kirk Cousins in free agency, it's a what, decent so pick. Point? But why Paying would you him get him? Leg, yeah, why? An Achilles injury. Why? That's so weird. That's so yeah, weird. Francis, Francis Smith says Cousins may not be 100. percent Then why did you give him that money? Did you not give him a physical before he start? Before he, before he signed? Like, did you not do that? Um, shouts out my boy Jamal in the chat too. He said, "Bruh," he said, "Can't make this up." You know that's a Falcons fan right there, man. I'm sorry, Jamal. I was wishing bad against the Falcons, but I didn't <laughs> expect that. Because, again, it's and so weird. Michael yeah. Penix isn't a bad quarterback, but why spend all that money on Kirk Cousins? They're, That's they're the problem. showing his injury history on ESPN. 18, oh. torn right ACL. 2019, dislocated non-throwing shoulder. 2020, torn right ACL again. 2021, separated throwing shoulder. Oh. His, his left. Oh, man. And, and Tariq just texted me, too. He said, I knew it. With an explanation point. <laughs> What? Oh Yo, man! You have no pass rush to t 
to think of. And it sound like, and honestly, they could have traded down for him. Literally, they you could have gotten them beyond them. seven. I don't know who really you were competing them. with. Who were you competing with for that? Who were you like, oh, we got to take did, them to eight? Did they get inside news that Minnesota's going to take take them? Yo, Minnesota don't even got to trade anymore. They could get the quarterback they wanted outside of Drake May, J.J. McCarthy, at 11. Well, just, just to let you know, to trade up. just to let you know, I'm about to say, just to let you know, they just traded up with the Jets, so... They're about to. I, I'm just assuming Wait, that's JJ McCarthy. To, why did they have to trade up with the Jets though? Like the Jets were taking a quarter. I guess. I mean, Aaron Rodgers is ancient, so. Uh, and hey, my my Nigerian brother Roma Dunze, he got picked. Oh, so it is. It's him to the Bears, right? So it's Caleb Williams yep. and Roma Dunze. Yep. Oh, that might arguably be the best wide receiver group in 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 that NFL already, crazy. bro. Oh my. Goodness. Roma Dunze is wide Who's receiver one. one? I, I guess DJ Moore for now, but Roman Duse is wide receiver one in a lot of other drafts. He just happens to be coming out with Marvin Harrison Jr. and Malik Neighbors. But Roman Duse is different, like very different, extremely different. Oh, my God. The Bears are going crazy. Yo, Caleb Williams Caleb and Roman Duse is wild. He, li he literally just got like this whole platter like available to him. He might argue – I guess aside from C.J. Stroud, but even that was hindsight 2020. We didn't know Nico Collins was going to be that good. Like, this might be the best situation a top five quarterback pick has ever been. Oh, yeah, ever. Yeah, especially specifically number one. Number one overall pick quarterback has yeah, never no gone question. to a team this good no ever. No question. Ever. With an average quarterback, this is going to be a playoff team. Don't they still have Darnell Wright, too? Like, God, Yeah, they got man. Darnell Wright as well. They got protection. Golly, man. Nah, Bears are killing it. I think we're killing it, too, if we trade up for a really good left tackle like Amarius Mims. But right now, the Bears got it. But we already knew going Williams. into the draft with a number one and a number nine overall pick, they were going to have two really good picks. We already knew hey, that going you might, in. You might have a C.J. Stroud like rookie year. I, I really believe Oh, it. yeah. Like, oh, it's yeah. hard for him to, fa to fail with this. I wish they gave Justin Fields this many weapons. I wish they did that because Justin Fields didn't have a fair crack. They're making sure they're not messing up with Caleb Williams like they did with all of their 50 other quarterbacks. Yeah, their other quarterback graveyard. Yo, it's crazy. When you think about it, Keenan Allen's probably wide receiver three. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Coming, <laughs> I think Roman Dunze could eventually become wide receiver one. I think today is DJ Moore, but I think Roman Dunze has the potential to be the better receiver. But the thing is, like, DJ Moore is, is a prototypical Z receiver anyways. Yeah, um, yep, Keenan exactly. Keenan Allen's a slot guy anyway. Yep, it's Roman perfect. Roman Dunze's an ex guy. He's your like, ex, yeah, yep. It's, it's crazy, crazy. And I've reset they should have got Brock Bowers instead. I can see the argument for that, but I just really like Roma Dunze. Now, if it's another receiver other than Roma Dunze, I can see the argument. But I think Roma Dunze literally will be wide receiver one in a lot of other drafts. He just happens to be coming out in arguably the best draft class I've seen in years. It's ridiculous, dog. And you know what? Falcons could have used if, – if, if they want to take a luxury pick anyways, they could have took Roma Dunze. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Might as <laughs> yeah. well take a Roma Dunze. Instead of giving Cousins some help, you, you draft this replacement when you just signed him. Yep. Hey, just to let you know, J.J. McCarthy to the Vikings is official. We could have assumed that when they traded up. And But why? But what was the point? I guess I guess to get from any other team trying to trade just up? Just in case. That, I don't I know. I guess so. I, I wonder so. what the trade was. Like, what was the exact I, I got numbers? It. I got it. Trade. I can read it to you. So okay, Vikings, Vikings get number 10, of course, and they also get pick 203 from the Jets. The Jets get 11, of course, and also pick 129 and 157 from the Vikings. That's a lot, man. I think they could have stayed at 11 and got them. That's a, that's, I yeah, mean, but I guess, like yeah. you said, I guess they wanted to make sure the Raiders don't jump up or something. So, yeah. So the Raiders are in, who's their starting quarterback right now? Gardner Minshew. Oh, uh, yeah. Or Gardner Minshew, I say Gardner. All right, so Bo Nix to the Raiders in the second round. <laughs> yeah, J.J. McCarthy makes too much sense. I can easily see a scenario outside of Caleb Williams. I think that uh, I think J.J. McCarthy is going to ball out with Justin Jefferson and those guys. That team literally is just, if J.J. McCarthy's ready to be better than what most people think, he could come in and like ball out immediately, especially with Kevin O'Connell. We've seen Kevin O'Connell develop oh, yeah. quarterbacks left and right. Nick so. Mullins. 
Yeah, he's good to he go. Made Nick Mullins look look almost like his starting quarterback. Yeah, so yeah. I I have every faith in him with JJ McCarthy, but you think he's starting over Sam Darnold for the first year or not? Eventually, not week one, but eventually. Yeah, definitely. Eventually. I, I think so. So I think yeah. Sam Darnold's gonna be a day one starter. Yeah, I think he's going to start week one, but I think J.J. McCarthy is going to take over. I'm a little bit higher on J.J. McCarthy than probably most people. And I don't, again, I don't think he's going to start week one, but I think he'll start year one at some point. Yeah, I like I like the physical skill set that J.J. McCarthy has, like the profile. It's just still like very small sample size. So I just yeah. didn't put group in with Jaden Daniels and Drake May. I, Caleb Williams is in his own class, but I didn't yeah. group him with Drake May or Jaden Daniels. How I other draft players were grouping him. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. agree. But, I mean, it's not even just J.J. McCarthy. What about Sam Darnold? Like, how long is that going to last with Justin Jefferson as your receiver? That's my <laughs> thing. Like, I think it's just going to be, yo, we got to see what this next guy got because we already know. Also, too, like, Sam Darnold's a former number two pick, right? Like, yep. do we really know if he's really this bad anymore? Because, I mean, he, he spent time under – under uh, Kyle Shanahan. Yeah, the 49ers. He had natural talent to begin with. He, he got just drafted in a very horrible situation. And I, and I actually believe that. Like, I think it was more to do with the Jets than more to do. I feel like it was overrated, but like. Yes. I, I think it's like both. He had a lot of potential. I yeah. think it's both, too. I think it's both. Even though when he but, did come in for the 49ers last year, he threw like two interceptions immediately. But of course, I mean, oh, okay. when you're never being mind, mind. but when you're being <laughs> thrown out there, I think it was like November or December, too. When you're being thrown out there for the first time all year. You know, I think it wasn't it like the Ravens game, too. It wasn't like a scrub team. I think it was the oh, Ravens yeah, yeah. game he oh, went yeah. out there. So it's kind of like he was expected to throw two interceptions. So I don't know how much to use that against him. Yeah, uh, I think Sam Darnold still has a lot of natural talent. And you know what? He might surprise. He might show people that he is a starting quarterback. We see what happened with Geno Smith. So, hey, you never know. Yeah, yeah. Shouts out to the Jets for moving back one spot and still ending up getting whoever they wanted in the first place. So shouts out to them for that finesse. That's that's a what good. What world move. are we in when Jets actually make smart decisions? <laughs> now I'm wondering who they're going after because Jets wise, if I had to project, maybe Olu Fashanu. I'm thinking yeah, because yeah, I don't. Yeah, where did uh, where did Makai Becton go? Or is he still a free agent out there? And even then, Makai uh, Becton kept being right hurt. Now. Yeah, Makai Becton stayed hurt anyway. Yeah. I like this talent, but he never can He's stay a free healthy. agent. So yeah, he's no he never signed with it. Yeah, so I'm thinking for sure Olu Fashanu. I think that just makes too much sense. I would love it if Brock Bowers went this high. I would be very happy about that. Yeah, they did get Tyron Smith though. I do remember that, but I mean, can you depend on Tyron Smith to stay healthy? Like, can you nah. can you bet money on Tyron Smith playing half the games this and, season? And you always got to get the young left tackle anyways. Like, yeah. even if you already have one right now, you got to get the young left tackle because good left tackles don't grow on trees. Yeah, true. I'm rooting for Brock Bowers, though. I really hope well, it's Brock Bowers. And also what you got to factor in is the contract. So, like, to get a good left tackle, you got to pay a lot of money. Yep. You can get a good tight end with less money. So Definitely I would true. just draft Boston instead. I, I probably would, too, if I'm the Jets. But as a biased Georgia fan, I'm really hoping it's Brock Bowers. I'm really – it looks like the chat is saying that it is. So, you know, I already got my shirt ready. Yes, sir. You can't leave us out that first round, man. Lad McConkie next. My boy Lad McConkie next. Let's get it. Let's get it. Lad McConkie to the Chiefs. Let's get it. I need two Georgia first rounders, man. I need that. Wait, so Brock Bowers official to the Jets? That's what people oh. are saying in the, in the chat. Oh, I, That's yeah, what it looks like. It. I don't know. I haven't seen it myself, though. I haven't seen it myself. I'm hoping that it's true, though. I'll be right back. Like, I, I still have my heater on in my place because I forgot to change it to the AC. And then I'm, like, burning up here. So I'll be right back. You good. You good. You good. <laughs> All right, so Jada Daniels, I guess in the meantime, we can read some of his interviews right now. He's been uh, getting asked questions by the media. I can run down some of the things that he said. Going from Nikki Javala's page. Matter of fact, why am I looking at this on my phone? I can pull it up right here. Matter of fact, we can read this together. Uh, we can go ahead and leave this Falcon sadness. That's hilarious. Penix at eight. We just paying cousins a hundred million. What is going on? All of that type of stuff. So yeah, we're gonna leave that. Let me go to Nikki Javala. Where is Nikki? By the way, she come if up? you ever go to Publix, get this uh, strawberry pineapple flavored lemonade. Amazing. Okay. It's still, it's still there. 
Okay, y'all getting put on. Y'all getting put on in the chat. Okay, here's some Jada Daniels comments. Is there a public in the DMV? I don't do they. I have no idea. I know it's not New York, so I don't think so. I have no idea. My boy Gerald with the ten dollar donation to the super chat. Really appreciate that again. Y'all are going stupid today. I really, really appreciate how stupid y'all are going, man. Y'all are going crazy. I really appreciate y'all, man. Shouts out to all of the donations. Number one fan. All of that, man. Let's get it. All right, so just to let y'all know, I got some Jaden Daniels stuff on the screen. He's already talking about the commanders. We can start from the first one. So first of all, Magic Johnson. All, let me retweet this. Oh, wait. I did not mean to click that. Hold on. Magic Johnson well, says selecting a winner like Jaden Daniels will energize the players in our fan base. What were you saying? I'm about to say, like, what? Like, what? Uh... What chat GPT tweet is Magic Johnson going to say right now? <laughs> don't hate. Don't hate, man. That's my dog right there. That's my dog. <laughs> he said, I'm so thrilled and excited to welcome Jaden Davis to the Commander's family. I'm looking forward to all of the wins. We will celebrate this season and years to come with you as our leader. I know you'll lead our franchise not only as a quarterback, but also in the locker room and the DMV community. I love it. And I already followed Jaden Daniels right before the draft, like literally like 6 something p.m. because I already knew we were taking him. I believed in it. Derek Forrest loves it. Let's get it. Jeremy Reeves loves it. Finna get wicked. Let's get it. All right, so Jaden Daniels quote, my childhood dream came true. I'm blessed to be here and hear my name called. He also said, honestly, they did a pretty good job of not showing their hat too much. Let's get it. Dan Wasn't the report that uh, Jaden Daniels was mad with the commanders or something that they had other quarterbacks in the in the meetings? I, mean, I remember I saw that not... I knew that report was a smoke screen, but I was like, that was a smoke screen if I've ever seen one. Because <laughs> to me, like, even if he did, what does it matter? We draft you, yeah. what, you going to sabotage your own career because you don't want to play for us? Like, what's the, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he's good to go. He even said yesterday or the day before yesterday that something about mumbo sauce. Like, he's ready to dive in culturally and all of that type of stuff. Oh, speaking of that, speaking of mumbo sauce, I actually had mumbo sauce, like, last month. Okay. Okay, how you like it? It tastes just like sweet and sour sauce. I mean, it's good, but like, <laughs> it's a really, it's a really some amazing revelation. Like, we have this. We just call it sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> I can't speak on that. I don't even remember how it tastes because I haven't had it in a long time. If you ever go to JB's Tenders in Decatur, they have mumbo sauce. Okay. Okay. So that's where you got it from. Okay. What's the, um, shouts out my boy, Michael Santiago for the donation, just to let us know that there is a Publix in Virginia. I appreciate that big time okay. for the donation and the update. I don't know if that counts as Maryland, but he said Virginia. Who knows if it goes? I mean, above it's still the I said I said DMV, so that 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 works. I mean, I would say what what part of Virginia are we talking about? Because all of the Virginia is not all like not necessarily <laughs> I, DMV though. I, I literally got the whole chat mad when I said it was sweet and sour sauce. Oh, yeah, I knew as soon as you said <laughs> it, you was about to get people was upset at you. Yeah, I, I knew that hey, was over with. I'm, hey, I'm I, out I, of it. I, I call it like I see it. Like I'm out hey, of it. Hey, that's how I, it tastes like. I can't speak on mumbo sauce, man. I'm Atlanta. I stick to honey lemon pepper. I don't know nothing about nothing else. I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm just in my own lane. Let me, uh, my boy Gerald with a big time donation as well. He said, keep up the great work. I appreciate the support and the donation. Much love. Oh, just to go back to Jaden Daniels real quick. He said, you're getting a competitor, a leader, and someone who just wants to win at all costs. He said, I'm excited to come in and get to work. I knew Jahan Dotson previously. We're kind of around the same age. Obviously, what Terry McLaurin has done at, at the next level, you got a great running back in Brian Robinson and Austin Eckler. And those guys are very explosive players. New additions with Zach Ertz. I'm just happy to come in, learn how to be a pro. I'm excited to get to work and excited to meet my new teammates. And then it's a lot. He's saying a lot. Dan Quinn is a great guy, all of that type of stuff. Uh, he talked about Cliff Kingsbury and Kyler Murray. Um, he said if Washington didn't pick him, if he would have been surprised. No, I mean, there are other great candidates that are able to that are able to be the number two overall pick. So I'll never look at it like that. Hey, God put me in position. Let's get it. What you really want to say is if Washington didn't pick me, I'll be ecstatic because that means I'll go to a championship organization there like the you New go. Patriots. There you go. There you go. And <laughs> I would be up there with Tom Brady and hopefully just to win a fraction as as many championships as he had. That's what he really wanted to <laughs> okay, say. Okay, that's, that's what he was really thinking. That's what he was really. All right, yeah. so is the Jets picking? Yet? 
I'm assuming it's Brock Bur- Brock Bowers, right? I'm really hoping. Oh, oh, I got I got the pig you want me to tell you. It better be Olu Fashinu, right? Like it literally better be, right? Okay. I want it to be Brock okay, Bowers, it's... but it makes too much sense. Even with Tyron Smith, he only plays half a season. You still need Olu Fashinu. So I'm not also surprised. Also, fellow Nigerian brother, let's go. And you know he was a uh, Caleb Williams' high school teammate in DC, so that that's really oh. cool too. That was I a crazy we'll team. Take... Are we from the same tribe too? I mean, his name is similar to mine. Come on, I have Olu in my name too. I just don't go by him. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. That is true. So what's his full name then? Because I know it's not just Olu. You know his full name? Oh, Olu Mayo. It, it says it there. Uh, oh, I don't I see. Just, it. I, I'm still behind. I'm still seeing Jet Selection oh, on my screen. I probably don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sure my siblings and my parents do, but I probably don't know how to pronounce it. Okay. I think. That that name has to be Nigerian. Yeah, that name's definitely Nigerian. I'm trying to see uh They say he's Yoruba. Yor- Yoruba? Yeah, yeah, Yoruba. Yeah, same tribe. Yoruba. Yoruba. Yeah, we're okay. the same tribe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We got the same first three letters. Cause my fir- the first three letters of my name is, is Olu as well. I'm not gonna say my full name out here, but it's Olu. Why not? Well. Why not? I don't go by it. Like I only <laughs> knew my full name when I was eleven. I didn't even I'm know. I'm about to say people people already struggle with just S E Y I. That's what I'm saying. People like, can't even am, get the S-E-Y-I right. Too? <laughs> but yeah, he's a brother. He might be a he he very well might be a cousin. He, he might be a cousin for all I know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so Broncos going quarterback, right? I'm assuming. But is it too early to go Bo Knicks? How are we feeling about the Broncos? Ugh. I don't know. Brock they, Bowers? They Dallas Turner? The thing is. The Broncos are in the worst situation ever because, like, after this, what's their next pick? Like, in the third or fourth round? Yeah, Something they're like terrible. That. Hold on. I got so, you. So, like, if they need a quarterback, they they, they got to get Knicks. That's terrible, bro. That's a bad position to be in. I mean, I can see them going Dallas Turner and to replace. You know what? The Hold pick on. is in. I know what it is. Do you want me to say it? So, I'm assuming it's Bo Nix, right? They got to go quarterback, yes, right? It is. Woo! They have no choice. Yeah. So how, what does that make it? Five reach, quarterbacks? Reach. In the first yeah, reach. Picks? Yep. That's five. <laughs> reach. Reach. Yeah. Reach. Reach. <laughs> yeah. That's let's go. 50% of the draft picks. That is crazy. How are you that petty towards Russell Wilson that you. You you pay him all of that money to not be your quarterback and then yeah you're right they pick twelfth and then they don't pick again until seventy sixth y'all seventy six the worst trade in NFL history that Russell Wilson trade oh, oh my, my god yeah they literally had to take Bo Nix now he's not gonna be there at seventy six they could have they could have traded down but I guess yeah. that means the Raiders could trade up. Yo, Raiders gonna have to take Spencer Rattler at this point. Yeah, they no, they give up. They they're, they're <laughs> they punting on this season. Yeah, <laughs> Carson Beck, Shadir season. Sanders, Quinn Ewers. We're, we're from, the Raiders are focused on the twenty twenty five quarterback Gar- class. Minshew. Gar- I know Gardner Minshew is happy right now. Oh, ecstatic! He's starting all season, uh, barring injuries. Who they got under him? O'Connell. Like, yeah, he's good. He is good. <laughs> <laughs> Straight, yeah, Raiders, yeah, all right. So Raiders fans, we might as well go ahead and start talking 2025 quarterbacks, Carson Beck. We can start start talking Quinn Ewers. We can start talking Shadir Sanders. How we feeling, Raiders? Which one do you prefer if it just so happens to be a Raider fan in this chat right now? Because that's y'all only hope. Damn. I better hope Antonio Pierce doesn't doesn't overachieve now. Like, y'all, y'all need him Ooh, to be terrible. Ooh, and they end up with a really, like, a middle pick. Ooh. Y'all, y'all need, y'all need, like, uh, what... What was Steven Ross tr- trying to pay Brian Flores to suck? Y'all need the owner needs to do that. Mark Davis needs to do that. Basically, do not win this year, Raiders. Just go ahead and give up on 2025. It's not worth it. Your division is crazy. Just go ahead and let it go, man. You're in the division with the Chiefs, dog. It's, it's Chargers, okay. It's okay. Chiefs. Yeah, it's okay. Broncos oh are going to suck, but it's okay. Like, it's okay. Chiefs and... uh. And Chargers, just go ahead and let this season go, man. Yo, Chargers, Better luck next time. Yo, yo, Chargers and Chiefs, they're, they're going to have to have the top records in, in the NFL because like, they can just <laughs> beat up on the Broncos and the Raiders. Twice a year. That's, that's four free wins for them. That you are is. super right. You that are is. super right. <laughs> that's four free wins for both of those teams already, man. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. 
All right, so after the Broncos, so what are the Raiders doing? Brock Bowers? Well, Dallas Turner? What we, what we doing? See, what else do they need other than quarterback? I mean, they, they pretty much need everything, I know. But Yeah, I'm about to say, they're not. What's, what's the, the priorities? What's the glaring need? Yeah, what's yeah, the, what's the, what's the what's, What other glaring need do they have? Uh, I'm seeing tackle and corner. Yeah, I was thinking corner as well. They got Quinion, Quinion Mitchell right here. Terry and Arnold. Who, yeah, who Terry could and they, Arnold. Who could they? I guess so. Corner tackle. It could be, yeah. Tackle-wise, I hope, I hope, I'm just praying nobody else takes tackle at this point so we can just have them all there primed for the commanders to trade up and get one soon. Please stop taking tackles. So I'm rooting for the Raiders to, I guess, draft a quarter. You can go ahead and take quarter. Y'all can take quarter all I care. My, Michael Michael Penix went to the Falcons. I still can't believe it. <laughs> That's still the worst pick. Today. I know. I, I think the Raiders are probably most pissed off by that because they probably did not expect it at all. Like yeah. that wasn't the team we, we thought was taking a quarterback. We didn't think to trade <laughs> That's up. That's the last team. Them. That's like bottom 10 team you expect to take quarterback eighth overall. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I oh, yeah, you're right. I, I know the Raiders fans. Phone yeah, I, I, I know the Raiders are extremely upset. You are right about that. They hate the Falcons right now. I was now. not expecting that because the thing was, <laughs> Penix was supposed to be the fourth or fifth quarterback taken. So he would very well would have been there at 13. For some reason, I didn't think Sean Payne was going to take Penix anyway. So, like, I felt like he was going to be at 13. <laughs> I can make you bigger by just sliding it a little bit, or I could do this. How do I? Nah, I'll keep it the way it was. The way it was was good. Yeah, the way it was is fine. Yeah, I do it like that. I'm just messing around with stuff. Sp Spentler, Spencer Rattler really about to be a first round pick at he this point. He better not. He better <laughs> not. I know his freshman season, people were saying he was the next Pat Mahomes, but it hasn't turned out to be that at all. Right at all. South Carolina season wasn't too bad. He played in the pro style offense. Yeah, I he mean, might be a steal. Might he's scared by Georgia he... Bulldogs. If anybody respects him, it's me because he almost beat us. I'm so I'm not gonna lie, but whoo, 12th, 13th overall in the first round. I don't know. Rich said his Raiders friend is sick. <laughs> I wouldn't be. Oh, I, I would gotta, be highly I, upset. I I gotta talk to I gotta talk to my friend Brandon. From that is St. crazy. John's. I gotta that... see. He a Raiders fan. He from Comp. He from Compton, right? Yeah. I got to see. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, let, let, let me text in that group chat. I so got to see. Raiders and Falcons fans both unite to hate the Falcons right now. <laughs> both Raiders and Falcons fans are mad at the Falcons equally together right now. So right now we have six quarterbacks, three wide receivers, three tackles. Thank you for that update, Rich. That is really interesting. Yeah, now that's crazy that the Broncos really took Bo Nix. That's insane. That's We're just reaching on quarterbacks. We're just, we're just completely going positional value here. We're just ignoring the actual guy. We're just going positional value and calling it a day. That's it. I love it. Yeah, Raiders, what y'all going to do? Y'all going to super reach on Spencer Rattler, or y'all just going to go ahead and go best player available? No, I mean, they, they, I they, 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 they ain't seriously want to take Spencer Rattler. They, they ain't seriously <laughs> yeah. want to take him. Yeah, I think I'm with you. I think corner makes the most sense. I definitely think corner makes the most sense here. Okay, still no update because I know the Raiders like they have no idea now what they're gonna take because I think they were so <laughs> set on Penix. Oh, so they're probably guys. gonna go all this time. Poor guys, man, you gotta feel sorry for them a little bit, bro. Because like you said, nobody saw that coming. Nobody saw that coming. But this is the same thing. Like this, is, I was arguing with Patriots Reddit because they were like, "Oh, we should trade down. We could get a quarterback in the second round." I'm like, "How you know there's gonna be quarterback in the second round?" I'm like, "There's a very, there's a very good possibility all five quarterbacks get taken in the first round. Yep. We even last little pick twelve to all five of the quarterbacks are gone." <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. You get a quarterback right then and there. So like, don't trade down and risk it. Yeah, you do that. You do not risk that at all, man. I completely agree with you. I don't know what I saw a lot of Commanders fans saying we should trade back. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Where we at right now? Please keep it where we at. My boy, Mr. CB with another donation. Appreciate that. This draft is wild. I'm scratching my head bald. This is insane right now. I'm having so much fun. Of course, I'm rooting for anybody but a tackle to the Raiders right now. My biggest guy I'm rooting for is Brock Bowers because I want my Georgia Bulldogs to go as high as possible in this draft. I think they should go corner, but I'm hoping they go tight end. Brock Bowers from Georgia. Let's get it.
Wait, so the Bronco wait, Bo oh, the Broncos do have Bo Nix and Zach Wilson. Ew! Ew! <laughs> like one of them has to work. Somebody <laughs> Ew! We got yo, we gotta shed a tear. We gotta go wap 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 for that, man. Rico, I think you're happy with the Raiders selected. They got my boy. They yep. got my boy. Do I get the jersey again? They got the Hey, my dog. hey that that my that, dog. that black that black and silver, that black and silver. If you want to get the Raiders version, that black and silver is going to look good. Yeah, my boy. Yes, sir. People were talking about him going all the way in the 20s because of how small he was. We can stop that now. My boy Brock Bowers is up out of there, man. Let's get I it, I feel man. like Represent. with Brock Bowers, he's been nitpicked so much because he's played since a freshman. He played at a high level since as a freshman. So, yeah. Yeah. It's like Bo Nix, he had so much tape on him. So it's like, I think draft punters are starting to overthink. Like, okay, he may be too small. How much potential does he really have? Was he just like a like a early bloomer? Yep. So I think You're that's right. what it was with Brock Bowers. I'm super happy, man. I, I, first of all, I completely agree with you. And I'm just so happy that my Brock Bowers, I, I was hoping he would go top 10 but i didn't think it was necessarily realistic so i'm very happy that my dog is now going 13 overall yeah. i'm so happy that's my boy yes sir brock yes sir. i remember recruiting them too four star recruit nobody saw this coming i didn't either uh, but i'm so happy man that's my boy long you time you get the tom brady treatment on that hair though like he, he's balding a little yeah bit. yeah he he's always look like a grown uh, man yeah, he's been yeah. a grown man the whole time man yeah, these get that Tom Brady uh, road game treatment or LeBron James road game treatment. <laughs> but yeah, the Raiders, I guess they had to wave the white flag on the quarterback. Like, we'll just get one next year. At least we give we give the quarterback a safety blanket for next year. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so at least when they do get the quarterback to your point, they have some great targets for him. Because is it uh... be Carson Beck? next season oh raiders carson beck i would oh i would be so happy oh i would be so happy i would be a uh a closet raider fan i ain't gonna lie man i would be rooting for them on the side if they get carson beck and brock bowers dog not gonna lie um dang i forgot what i was gonna say i was gonna say something i forgot but it's okay though we gonna keep it pushing who do we think the saints are taking right now what are we uh, thinking about I mean, with the saints that that's the next year's team for quarterback as well. That's the next yeah. year candidate for quarterback. Um, Tackle defensive end a wide receiver maybe. Brian Thomas? No, nah, they they can't do wide receiver. They they are they already got they already got a lot. Chris Olave. I, think, I, I I think they spent too much of a premium on wide receiver. They could get one in the late rounds. I mean, it's a deep receiver draft, anyways. So you think Dallas Turner? This is where he stops falling. Maybe. I say he right now is the best player available. Yeah, he literally just period. Him. Best player. <laughs> yeah, regardless of position, the best yeah. guy left for sure. You got to take him. At this point, isn't he now the first offensive player? If he gets taken right now at 14, that is crazy. Is he really the first defensive player? I believe so because five be... quarterbacks, other receivers, yep. and a tight end. you right. I and, remember. And, and two, two three, ta three tackles. I remember seeing a stat about, like, this is going to be the first time in, like, 30 years that a defensive player was first drafted this late. Something crazy. I saw a stat somewhere that depending they on where it goes. They predicted it. I didn't think it was actually going to happen, though. Yeah, this, hey, hey, man, offense, bro, offense. Somebody said in the chat they took Troy Fontenot. I really hope not. I need this this uh, run on me, tackles me to refresh. stop. Let's let let's stop Twitter. this run on tackles. Please, no more tackles. Leave all of the tackles there for the commanders to trade like, up. Who are, who are y'all sources? They're I don't faster know. than mine. I got to check mine because I'm typically on it with the sources. I just haven't been paying attention because I'm just super into the stream right now. But I haven't been checking my sources like I normally do. We're going to get to it, though. I think Dallas Turner makes way too much sense. Y'all gotta let me know though. these sources, chat. Y'all gotta let me know. Yeah, so, <laughs> who we following? Everybody the put their followers in the like, chat. Let, let's see. Everybody put their followers in the chat, man. Let me see. I'm trying to replace that Sam Hall thing while I'm just sitting here chilling. Let me just go ahead and get that out the way. Is that this? Yep, that's that. Let me go ahead and get rid of that right now. Downloads. I'm gonna go ahead and replace no, that. That's the that Sam Howell that that'll bring you good fortune for the future. 
Nah. No, he pick was. sixes, fumbles, what else? 300 yard games, but five interceptions the next game. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like that future for you guys. Nah, we good. We good on all that. Let me go ahead and just put this up. Uh... Watch, watch him be a solid quarterback for the Seahawks as well. I really believe it. I don't think it was that bad. I just think that uh, he had no offensive line. Um, he had not. He had too much help. I mean, he had Terry McLaurin and everything, but like he like since he always had to play from behind, so he had to take more chances. I feel like he's not that bad. And then they was like, what a fifth round pick. I think he's already overachieved. I think he's gonna be good. Like he was, this is still like his first full year of starting. Just to let you know, I definitely agree. I think he will be a really good quarterback if he ends up in the right situation. I, I'm completely with you. Yeah, I think the Seahawks will be good for him. Like, I think Geno starting this year after that might be Sam Howell's time. I could see it being Sam Howell sometime this season. A season, I wouldn't. Geno yeah. Smith just seems like he's destined to get hurt at some point. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, and then they definitely. may just never so, turn back. Looks like the chat got it wrong on the. They they got the wrong offensive tackle on the chat. Wait, who did they get? No, chill out. Not my boy, right? They 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 got they got an offensive tackle. Wait, it's, who's your boy, by the way? My Georgia boy. Oh no, not not a Georgia boy. Who? A Georgia. Is it Troy oh, Fox? No, no. Tyler Guyton? No. Uh it is a tackle? Yeah. I think he's a hybrid, anyways. I don't think he's a oh. complete tackle. The other guy, uh, yeah, Talisa Fuaga. Yeah, Fuaga. I was like, it was a name I can't pronounce. The kid, the name I struggle. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. What's good, pseudo man? Appreciate the support, man. Love y'all back, man. Let's get it. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I'm sick though because I'm tired of the tackle run. Um, we need to stop this right now. No more tackles, so everybody's think, available for the commanders to trade up and get. I think now we'll see. We'll see defensive player at 15. Because I think Colts can go. Colts need defense. So I can Please. see. Uh, the, the guy I felt was likely was Brock Bowers, and he already got selected. So I see either Quinion Mitchell or Dallas Turner or Terry and Arnold. Please. Right I, matter of fact, those three in that order for the next picks, please. That was exact three. And <laughs> literally just go Colts, Seahawks, Jaguars, those three people. Yeah. I'm begging you. I'm, <laughs> I'm begging you. Because I love my boy Tyson Campbell, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Jaguars go corner. Because Tyson Campbell's, I think he could be like an elite cornerback too. I think he's a decent cornerback one. Um, that's a Georgia Bulldog, but I, I'm going to be honest. I think they could definitely go corner there. I can make an argument for the Seattle Seahawks getting Dallas Turner. I can make an argument for the Colts going corner as well. So let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Please. Please no more tackles. Leave the tackles alone, everybody, until the commanders get theirs. Let the commanders trade up for Amarius Mims. Then y'all can take whatever tackles y'all want. But it's still not getting tackles out of there. They're trying to protect their investment, Derek Carr. They paid so much money for him, for him to wet the bed last season. They're like, <laughs> okay, we'll give you an offensive lineman. Yeah, no Please excuses. Too good for us. Yeah, no excuses. No excuses at all whatsoever, man. I'm still looking for more Jada Dales gifs so that I can uh, celebrate a little bit more, especially when we trade up for tackle. Once I see the trade up notification, I'm gonna go ahead and start playing the gif immediately. <laughs> so uh, my friend Brandon, the Raiders fan from St. John's, he says. Bro, I cut the draft off after the the Falcons selected Michael Penny. <laughs> he said we can, we can't never we can't never win. We can never win. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> that's so sad, man. So the Falcons just made two fan bases mad: their own fan base <laughs> and the Raiders fan base. They just made everybody upset today. Falcons just making everybody mad tonight, man. I'm laughing. <laughs> I think it's great. I I think it was a perfect it. pick. Yeah, I, th I love. It. I love couldn't it. have been better. Couldn't <laughs> have been better. If you can make <laughs> Raiders fans and Falcons fans angry, you make Shady happy. <laughs> yeah, I have to say we all win. Falcons fans and Raiders fans mad at the same time. We did something yes. right. We yes. did something right. Only reason I'm mad is because now Brock Bowers is basically going into purgatory at least for a season. Just chill out this season. Carson Beck is on the way to help save you next season. But 2024, just chill out, Brock Bowers. Don't get hurt trying to trying to carry the team. This team is uncarryable right now, especially in that division. Chargers and Chiefs, come on now. He can't do it by himself. They don't even have Hunter Renfro anymore. I mean, he was sorry last year, so it makes sense. But, I mean... Let's see how that goes. 
Let's see how this goes. But Brock Bowers and Devontae uh, Adams is crazy, but uh, who's throwing to him? Gardner Mitchell? Let's get it. That sucks. If I'm a Raiders fan, I'm sick because, like you said, I don't think Gardner Mitchell was bad enough for you to end up with a top pick. I really don't. I think he's going to win them enough games to where they end up with another mediocre quarterback in the draft. They, at that point, it is going to have to trade up two first. <laughs> at that point, <laughs> we got to end the cycle eventually. We got to stop this cycle. And Derek this Carr. Hope Dion is happy with with his son going to Vegas. Oh yeah, he did he say I that. I think he will be. I think he yeah. will be. I think he listed all black cities. The only thing I saw that was in common of every city that he listed, I all of them all, were very all black. The he played for. That's that's what I got. Oh, and that too. Oh yeah, that for. too. That too. I think that just happens to be a coincidence. Maybe when he was a player, he chose black cities. And then now, as a dad, yeah, as right. a dad, go to my former teams. <laughs> and go, go. Uh, my boy Sudo with a big time donation to the chat. Heard an analyst say that the concern with Jaden Daniels was that the LSU offense was simple. What y'all think? And how does Jaden fit with the Washington offense? I'm not worried about that at all. I saw him go through his progressions. Even if the offense was simple, I've seen him throw, look at and throw to his third and second and third reads. I think think he's gonna be just fine and most quarterbacks come from a very simple offense coming out of college so i'm not too worried about it cliff kingsbury has an air raid system which is very quarterback friendly and what he does best is take is throw the deep ball and use his legs and that's literally what cliff kingsbury's offense wants you to do the most so let's get it now i'm hoping the coach go defense like pe people are saying in the chat let's get it first defensive player drafted in the entire draft 15th overall question mark let's see And again, thank you, Sudo, for the big time donation. I really appreciate that big time, man. I did not now know I could like donations. Is that, is that what we're hearing? Let me see. Let they me see. better. They better. Best player available. They better. They better. I'm not on my sources this stream. I don't know why. I don't know. Where did I find whoa, the time? Whoa, whoa. We got a report here. Whoa, what happened? From JPA Football, it says report, Kirk Cousins was not given a heads up by the Falcons that they were selecting or yeah. even considering selecting yeah. or Daniel Jeremiah. Yeah, Falcons! Yeah! <laughs> you didn't even warn Kirk Cousins that you may do this? Oh, Man, no! You can't make this up. Can't make this up. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, man. Falcons gonna Falcon. And we gonna play them this season? I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. Kirk Cousins is gonna throw the game. Let's get it, man. That's a free dub right there. Cause he the Falcons are poised to be really good. They just wanna fold it away. The Falcons have a really good roster and they're just trying to fold it away. Imagine the roster that they had last year. You had Dallas Turner and Kirk Cousins to it. They should have been so good this year. And they just refused to be. I don't know why. And this is <laughs> this, this is, is twenty eight to three behavior. This is twenty eight to three behavior. That's what it is. After after uh, year one, that Kirk Cousins want to get traded or something. Yep, this gonna, is funny. Yep, yep gonna sit out and trade. Gonna sit out of trading camp. Yeah, if you were going to do this, then you know what? I have to think that they gave him the contract, and then they had buyer's remorse when they probably realized, okay. Or they probably like saw him like, okay, this Achilles doesn't look like he's gonna be ready to go, or he right. doesn't look like he's gonna be himself. Like you're, I feel like it had to be something. You're supposed to do. You're supposed to do a physical before they sign the contract. What is going I on guess, with the boys? Because nowadays quarterbacks are in such a high demand. It's just like they just jumped it's, on it's, it. It's with Deshaun Watson. Yeah, like yeah. you just gotta jump on it. But then just figure it out later. I can see that. My boy Damian Moore with the big time donation as well. Keep up the good work, brother. Appreciate that big time. And you know I had to go to Twitter to look at Bomani Jones because you know he went from being a Falcons fan to the biggest Falcons hater since uh what does he always bring up? The fact that their their player of the year, their man of the year, was caught soliciting a prostitute the night before the Super Bowl. Yep. He and he says that's the day that the Falcons died to him. He said 37 minutes ago, Falcons gave Kirk Cousins a zillion dollars and drafted a dude the same age as him. Woo. <laughs> Glad I'm off that narcotic. You still on narcotic? How'd that feel? 
essentially the same age. We had to go. Oh, I can't wait for Bomani Jones next show. Oh, I'm gonna be there live. I gotta see because he's about to go in a whole rant about the Falcons. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Street, if we don't get Mims, who's your second choice? I like Tyler Guyton. I like Troy Fatanu. Um, whoever is the best tackle available, basically. But Amarius Mims is by far my favorite. As we're getting closer, I'm start he's starting to get a bigger and bigger gap. I'm starting to envision Amarius Mims in a commander's jersey. I'm too excited right now. I'm booted up okay. off that, man. And by the way, Amber, you asked how I feel about my pick, Drake May. May at third. May the third. Are we ready? We ready. <laughs> I can already That's see a whole bunch of May puns. Y'all gonna basically just say May I May we win. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco oh, de here Mayo. we go. I here we go. Can't wait. Can't wait for Cinco <laughs> de Mayo. Here we go. Here we go. My mom sent me a meme of Falcons fans. <laughs> Oh, is there a way I can send this to myself on Twitter, man? Mayday. That's right. Mayday. 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 Oh, I like that. I'm not going to lie. That's fine. Yeah, that's, that's what fine. Taylor Hale put in, in the comments. That's fine, Taylor. I love, I love you, it. That's the best one yet. You went crazy on that one. You cook. You cook with that. Oh, Cokes are taking Latu Latu, the first defensive player taken. Let's get it. Okay. 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 Dallas Turner next. Oh. Let's go. Let's go and run on corners. Pass rusher, most polished pass rusher, but yeah. also injury concerns, which is why Neck Dallas Hurts injury, was like, ahead of him. Yeah. Emphasize Neck, the yeah. type of injury <laughs> concern, <laughs> too. Injury. Yeah, like like death. Injury. Like, we're worried about death here. Like, para yes. being paralyzed injury yeah. concerns. <laughs> but he's a great player, though. He's ridiculous on tape. But those injury concerns are serious. So, hey, man, shouts out to the coach for taking that chance on him. Let's go ahead and get it, man. Let's get busy on that. I can't wait to see what the Cowboys end up taking. I can see them folding away their pick, doing something stupid too. Oh, I can't wait. They're more than likely yeah, going to tackle. I but. think they got, they got to trade down. They they got nothing in free agency. Nothing. I, I, I don't remember. Do they have all their picks in this draft? But they got to trade down. They they need to stack talent. They need a running back. They need that for Boy, what? They need their, their running best running back, back tackle. Is five, six, two they we, need tackle. The Jets took Tyron Smith. We took Tyler Biadish from them. They don't have a center. They need everything. Yeah, they, <laughs> Help they, them, boys. They need to trade down. Definitely anything. need to trade so, back. Yeah. I just don't know if the Cowboys would trade with division rivals. So, for you commanders, I, I don't know about that one. Yeah, man. Give us they that pick, Cowboys. Let, it get, let us get up our yes. Hey, man, let me see if I can find a way to get this Twitter post that my mom sent me. Maybe I need to like it and then go to my likes. That's what I'm going to do. That, see, big brain play, Rico. Big brain play. You like the tweet on your phone. Then you go to your likes, and then it should be right there. Where'd it go? Did it not like it? Do, am I trash? I might be cooked. I thought I was doing something. I might be cooked. I might have to do the want, want, why for that. Okay, now it should work. Now it should work. Let me try it again. Oh, there you go. Okay. that's This is the <laughs> meme my mom sent me. She said, these are the Falcons fans right violin. now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me move this out the way. My fault. These are Falcons fans right now. This is the meme going around. <laughs> <laughs> that boy sucked, dog. Hey, man. Couldn't be me. That Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me, man. Couldn't be me. Let me see how my video doing, too. We doing all right. We doing all right. People checking out the video. We still, we still got people in the live stream, but that Jada Daniels video is already out. Make sure y'all go check that out. Shouts out to the Falcons fans. Live look at the Falcons fans right now in Atlanta. I love being in Atlanta, too. I love being from Atlanta and rooting against the Falcons. It's so amazing. It's the best team to root against. It's the be It got to be the best team to root against. So many expectations, so much hope, and it just always come crashing down in some weird, unforeseen way. You can never predict how the Falcons are going to Falcon. I think it's so entertaining and fun. I absolutely love it. I'm here for it at all times. I'm even seeing Commanders fans right now tweet, Falcons are in shambles. I, so I, I don't know if they did something else. I don't know. But Falcons fans are sick right now. You know what? Again, I have my Georgia Bulldogs page. Hold on. We can go right back. We don't even got to type in Falcons on Twitter. I could just go to my Georgia Bulldog guys, and we can go straight from there. Where we at? UGA. So we are, Kirk. So we are. So are we. So are we. Yep. Set it on the clock to let them know. For what I learned, Kirk, Kirk understood a quarterback would be considered, but not 
Did not believe his successor would be taken in the first round. I'm told he's a bit stunned. Let's get it. Shocking. Shocking the result for the Falcons. I want to see Falcons <laughs> how, fans. How, how are they going to do this to a guy they just signed? And they already got his replacement. A replacement who's not even young. He's 24, turning 25. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't he the same age as Jordan Love or something right now? <laughs> literally, like, literally, dog. <laughs> he is younger than CJ Stroud, Bryce Young. Um, who else do you want me to name? Anthony Richardson. I think he's about the same age as Justin Herbert. Let, let me see quarterbacks. I know there is a page for this. There has to be an article for this. Quarterbacks, Michael Penix is older than. <laughs> That's terrible, dog. That is terrible. This very much looks like Terry Fonta not trying to explain himself. Okay, let's look at it. So he's basically okay. trying to like, okay, this is why we should take Kirk Cousins. Okay, this is the reason. Yeah, like just let just hear me out, cause you know Kirk Cousins, you know Michael Penix, you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> This is terrible, bruh. Hey, Athens Steve, leave Amarius Mims alone. Let, let people forget he exists. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. That's my dog over there, Georgia Bulldog fan. Love him on Twitter, but stop talking about Amarius Mims. I'm not, I'm trying to hope people forget he exists right now. Uh, let's see. I'll say this while I hate it for Brock. It's probably the smartest pick I've seen the Raiders make in years. I completely agree. Going to a bad situation, but it's a great pick on their end. I mean, I can't believe Brock Bowers. If we're talking talent as a top five pick, he's better than Kyle Pitts coming out of college, but it is what it is. So okay. I see we're, somebody. We're... Oh, I didn't want to cut you off. Say no, one thing, Penix. He's not he's not twenty turning twenty five. He's turning twenty four. Still old. Still oh, okay. Old. Not as bad as I thought though. Not as yeah. bad. Not as bad. Oh, that is crazy. Jayla Carter plays against Jada Dales twice a year now. I didn't even think about that. Oh Lord. Trey Lance is one day older than Michael Penix, and we already Woo! we already came to terms that Trey Lance is a draft bust. That's crazy. <laughs> we That's... already came to terms on that, but he's only a day older than Michael Penix. That is crazy. I'm scrolling. We down, already bro. came to terms that Trey Lance is is irredeemable. <laughs> one day older. That shit is crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to scroll down because everybody in my Georgia thing is talking about Brock Bowers. So I'm trying to get back down to where they're talking about Michael Penix because most of them are Falcons fans. So I'm trying to see what happened. I guess we can come back to this later. We can. So Seahawks, what do you need? I don't think they need quarter. If anything, they maybe need safety, but there's no safety worth taking this high. What do the Seattle Seahawks need? Let me go look. I really definitely not quarter, but they need safety. No safety is worth going this high. So guard, linebacker, or tight end? Well, Brock Bauer's gone. There's no linebacker worth going this high except for maybe Peyton Wilson, but then you also have injury concerns. So maybe guard. Maybe they go guard this high. I don't know. Honestly, there's no tight end worthy going this high except for Brock Bauer's who's already gone. I, Seattle Seahawks, they already have a history of trading back. I feel like this is the best time to trade back. Oh, never mind. It's apparently taking Byron Murphy's, Murphy. So there you go. I guess that makes a lot of sense as well. So they just took defensive tackle, Byron Murphy. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I didn't even think of that one. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That checks. I'm surprised, though, that the Seattle Seahawks always traded back in drafts. Didn't trade back this time. But again, I love it. We still don't have a single corner gone. I'm going to need a, a, a run on corner. I'm going to need Dallas Turner to go ahead and go and keep pushing these tackles down. We still have Troy Fontenot. We still have uh, Jay, uh, uh What's his name? Tyler Guyton and my boy Amarius Mims is still out there. We are still, we're getting to that range where the commanders may trade up and get one of them. Preferably Amarius Mims, please. Let's get it. Yeah, there's a lot of good corners. Not a single corner has been taken. It is a lot of good corners in this draft, so we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, so who you feel is the the best of, of I say the three top guys, well, four top guys, Ron Cal, Kool-Aid, McKinstry, so like Nate Wiggins, Kool-Aid, Terrian Arnold and Quinian Mitchell. Are you saying biased or actually best? Because biased Nate Wiggins with the Westlake. So I'm oh, yeah, he did I'm for West him Lake. to be I an all pro. I, I, I want him to go to the NFL and be the best quarter to ever do it. Just basically know. like reminds, AJ Terrell. Reminds me of a, a cornerback you guys drafted last year. So uh, I'm Forbes not sure. Being about small that. and yeah. fast. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I like Quinian. I like Quinian Mitchell because like not even just like he's fast. He ran a four three three, but he also benched like what twenty on the yeah, bench press. Yeah, something ridiculous. Like yeah. 
Yep. As a corner, that's crazy. You can argue like, the highest ceiling. I yeah. think I think you're playing I, it safer if you take one of the Alabama guys. First of all, just from playing at Alabama, the receivers they win against all of the time. Uh, but I think yeah, Quinion is definitely the highest ceiling in my opinion too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I gotta get Quinion, but like yeah, I say like the safest bet probably be Terry and Arnold, and then like to a lesser extent, Kool Aid McKinstry. Yeah, I again bias wise Nate Wiggins, but I know outside of bias Nate Wiggins would be in my top three either. Oh, uh, so it's it's not a Westlake in Georgia, actually. It's a Westlake in Waldorf, Maryland. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Juan Drake in the in the in the chat said. I think there's a lot of Westlakes everywhere, but you know what? Y'all, you know my Westlake. You know, what I'm saying me. You know Cam Newton. You know Adam Pacman Jones. You know AJ Terrell. I mean, we keep going. If you're looking at high school recruiting right now, you got Juan Gaston, Travis Smith coming out of high school. I mean, we we keep going. We can keep going. You know what I'm saying? We keep going. Let me see. Let me see. Malik Willis, I was hoping he would ball out, but that didn't work out. Rigo you know, said Drake May looks like Max the Demon. Oh, that's crazy. He does. Buddy from Brooklyn that used to do the drill. What Max happened to him? Why he stopped? Why did he stop making music? He was actually really fine. Like when it came to that New York drill stuff, he was actually really that's crazy. He does this? look I like no idea who this he, person is. He's from Brooklyn. He was there like during the height of the <laughs> drill era. He does look like him though. He what does happened look like to him? He was going crazy. I don't know why he stopped making music. He had a lot of momentum too. He was definitely one of the best ones for sure. He just kept making music with that guy that wasn't as good. What was the name? Shiggy Mac, Siggy Mac, something like that. City Mac. One of those. He was cool. He was cool. But Max the Demon was definitely the best consistently on every song they did. But uh, wow, Drake May does look like Max the Demon. Like that's I didn't even think about that. I think Max the Demon just has a wider head, but you just Drake May is just a smaller head. Max the Demon. That's actually really crazy. That I, I never even th that I forgot he existed. Funny. I don't know. What, yeah, I don't even know what this guy is, but it does look like him. <laughs> he really does. That's crazy. That's absolutely insane. Check out his music, man. He cool, man. My boy Max oh, the Demon. Real? I forgot about okay. him, man. Because he actually be rapping. Like, he be rhyming, rhyming. Of and course, he's from drill, Brooklyn? Man. Yeah, he's straight Brooklyn. Okay, he got to be good then. He got to be good. I don't know what part. I, don't, I think he's... I think he's East Flatbush, maybe Canarsie. Nah, he's not East New York. He's not Brownsville. I don't think. I think he's East Flatbush. No, what, what y'all? I think. What y'all say? What y'all say in the? Did we, did we say something? Do y'all said something in the chat? Cause I'm seeing no ditties on the chat. So. Oh, like, I don't even know what I said. I, I just. I, I don't think I said anything. So like. <laughs> hey. You making sure you good? Let me know good. if I did, but I don't think I said anything. I'll just let you know the Vikings moved up to number seventeen from the Jaguars, just to give you really? a heads up. Very okay, interesting. Let, let's see. Very interesting. Uh, I, know, I know my dad is happy. My dad's a Vikings fan. So the so Vikings have traded up twice okay. now. What are we doing it for? What you thinking? What are we listening to? Corner? Are we going one of the or Dallas Turner, best player available? Why not? Just go. Oh, they lost De Daniel Hunter. Yo, Rico, you gotta see this. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna uh just tag you in it. So uh, JPA football basically shows Terry Fontenew explaining to Arthur Blank. The, the pick for Michael Penix. Oh, yeah. That's what I was showing on stream just a little minute ago. Oh, I don't think you saw oh, it. My, my, literally. My was, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. But you can't see the stream, so I'm not surprised. But, yeah, that's literally. That's what I, I was talking I, I, about. I, stream. I, probably, I probably was, like, texting during that time. But oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's literally what I was showing early on the stream just a few minutes ago. That is crazy. <laughs> he literally is trying to convince him, like, hey, this man, hear me like out. This, hear man. me out. Just think about it. <laughs> Think about oh it. <laughs> I got it actually. I can go back to where is it? I had it somewhere. Hold on. It looks like he said, "Think about it. Think about it. Think about it." Where was it? I forgot. I had it. I was literally showing it too earlier. Here it is. Here it is. Right here. Literally looking like, "Think about it. Just hear me out. Hear me out. Think about it." Kirk Cousins, <laughs> second, first half. Michael Penix, second half, you know, back and forth, <laughs> drive by. Tra <laughs> you know, if that, that Achilles is a little weak, think about it. We can just bring Penix in. <laughs> think we, about you know, it. the Atlanta fans like a black quarterback, Arthur. We, yep. we all know that. Yeah. When you let go of Vic, these fans are holding up pitchforks. Think about it. This, this guy <laughs> shot out his homie in jail yeah. on national With the do rag. With the do rag on. With the do rag. With the do rag on. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, Blackest City gets black quarterback. <laughs> I can see Blackest City in America with a black quarterback. They're gonna try to run uh, Kirk Cousins up out of there soon. But yeah, I think Dallas Turner. Uh, no, first what? of all, I give it week six. If especially if Kirk Cousins <laughs> is is on brand, like if he's like pre last season Kirk Cousins before the injury. If he was like let's say twenty twenty two Kirk Cousins, they want him gone. <laughs> they would want him gone by week six. And I feel like Dallas Turner had – there's no other reason you trade up other than for a quarterback, a tackle, or an edge rusher. The Vikings lost Daniil Hunter to the Houston Texans. It's literally got to be Dallas Turner here, right, for them to trade up to? Best player available yeah, easily? To. Yeah, they got to. It's got to be. This is amazing value for Dallas Turner at number 17. Yeah, it's literally got to be, dog. Got to be. And do you want me to say it? God, yeah, go ahead. They traded an arm and a leg. Oh, well, what they trade? Okay, what so, they trade? Uh, they traded number twenty-three, number one hundred and sixty-seven. Then I thought they traded that to the Jets, but the twenty twenty-fifth third and the twenty twenty-fifth fourth. Golly, where was their pick? What what pick did they have before they moved up? Twenty twenty-three, because you know how they had eleven to twenty-three. They did all of that to move up. Well. Dallas Turner was not Dallas making it to Turner 23. Yeah, 23. yeah, yeah, he was making it to 23. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. That's a lot to give up, but arguably, I mean, easily best player available, arguably one of the best defensive players in this whole draft. To get him at 17 to replace what you lost to Daniil Hunter is actually incredible. That's actually yeah. pretty incredible. I say this is a solid draft for the Vikings. You got the guy you essentially wanted, and apparently they wanted Drake May, but they also wanted J.J. McCarthy as well. Yep. And now they get Dallas Turner. That yeah, makes I, a lot I'd of sense. I say it's a very solid draft. They're going crazy. They're going, I like the I, Vikings draft. I think Justin draft. Jefferson can be happy. You know? Like, yeah. It's not like they're – it doesn't look like they're trying to rebuild. Like, it seems like they're reloading – I mean, they, yep. they got by winning games with, with Mick Mullins at quarter, quarterback. <laughs> I think they could do better with J.J. McCarthy. So. Weren't they the Josh Dells chaos, too, at one point? Was that yep. them? That yeah, was Joshua them? Joshua Dobbs, yeah. Josh, yeah, I mean, Josh Dobbs, my him. fault. I said Josh Dells, my fault. Josh, thank you. Yeah, they, yeah, they traded for him after after uh, Kirk Cousins went down to injury. Okay. All right. I'm assuming Bing was well, a going tackle. That was turning, that was turning rapping something com coming up. Rapping? Yeah, look like it. Like I, I can't actually hear it, but like he's doing do a hand gestures and everything, like mouthing something. But they be bored, man. We got a couple of Georgia Bulldogs right now on our team that love to rap. I don't know what's going on, man. Chill out, chill out, man. I mean, you do it for fun, but God, Lee, man, what's going on with that? But uh, yeah, I think Bengals are definitely this going to tackle be. for Joe Burrow. I think they. I, I'm sick, but I think they're going to tackle. I hope. If anything, if they do go tackle, which more than likely they are, I hope it's not a Marius Mims, but we'll see. But I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this thing tackle. doesn't work out, and Dallas Turner becomes a stud. Oh my goodness! Atlanta. Ooh, ooh, Atlanta. No, Dallas Turner, I think is go definitely going to be good. Yeah, uh, he's a that's going to nature. Suck. Yeah, that's woo Falcons. Woo wee. Especially while Michael Penix doesn't start a game for three years. That's going to be crazy. All right, let's see. I think Bengals are going to tackle, though. I'm almost sure they're going to tackle. I really hope they don't, but I'm just assuming it's got to be tackle. I'm praying they go corner for some reason, but I think it's going to be tackle. It makes too much sense. You got to protect Joe Burrow. He's sick of getting hurt. How many games did he miss last year? Like half a season? He was hurt Pretty coming into that. the season. He, yeah, he, he probably shouldn't have played at all last season. Yeah. The fact that he did play. <laughs> he was hurt going into the season, played a few games, got hurt again. Like, it's it's going to be tackle. I just hope it's not a Marius Mims if they do go tackle. I'm just really, really hoping. Oh, Byron Murphy got selected? Or is he? I think Byron Murphy got selected. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went to the Seahawks. He went to the Seahawks. Oh, he just said, oh, okay. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> Bengals, why? Why, Bengals, why? Oh, I'm tripping. Yeah, that was the pick before that. Like, what did I miss that? How did I miss that? Oh, I'm okay, so mad so, uh... at the Bengals right now, dog. They didn't have to do that. They didn't have to do that. Wait, you didn't, we, didn't, we didn't want them to get Marius Mims? No, I want Amarius Mims. 
But I am happy for him. He went 18th overall. That's going to be potentially three Bulldogs in the first round. But I'm sick. I'm so sick, Bengals. Y'all, you didn't have to do that to me. NFL Draft Files gave the grade of Amarius Mims to the Bengals in A. I would, too. I think he's future All-Pro, point blank. I think he's future Hall of Famer. I've never seen a specimen built like Amarius Mims. In my opinion, does on him does not change just simply because he's not coming to the Commanders. But I do got to celebrate another Georgia Bulldog in the first round. If Lad McConkey goes to the Chiefs, that will be three of them. You never know. Maybe my boy Kamari Lasseter sneaks into the first round as well. I'm happy for my boy, but I'm really sick for my Commanders. That was my favorite tackle in the draft. Period. I was willing to trade up whatever it took to get them, but it is what it is, man. We still have a few more good tackles available, though. We still got Tyler Gotten, Guyton, and Troy Fatanu, so we'll see how that goes. But I really am sick that we lost Amari Smith. Matter of fact, I got to I gotta do the Mr. Krabs wah, 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 because I am really sad about that, man. I, I am. Matter of fact, I'm a boo. the world's smallest violin. Got to boo. Oh, I got to change this picture, too. I don't know who to even change it to as far as booing. I still got Rivera Commander's up there. Commander's legend right there. Commander's <laughs> yeah, I'm, legend. I'm taking that down. I'm taking that down. Forget I it. love that coach for the Commanders. <laughs> you see him on ESPN so lately? Many, so many classic losses. Uh, no, actually, Thanks. I haven't watched ESPN in a minute, so I haven't. I just, so, he, so he works for ESPN now? I guess I don't. I don't watch ESPN either, but I guess because you know I'm a Commanders guy and I follow people on Twitter that follow the Commanders, and they just keep posting clips of his opinions. He's just had a lot of draft opinions and stuff like that. Apparently, Belichick is with Pat McAfee for the draft right now. I heard about that. I did. I, I actually want to see that. It. If you want to talk about two polar opposite personalities, yeah, together. that's weird. That is weird. That is very weird. Actually, now that you bring that up. You're just going to hear Belichick in his low monotone voice. Well, uh, I, I think a uh, Patriots should have traded down. And then you want to hear McAfee with his high pitch, energized, take top, um, frat boy voice. Yeah, standing up, not even sitting down, standing yeah, stand, up, standing up. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a crazy paradox on screen over there. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, the producers knew what they were doing when they did that. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you get a little bit of both. Nice little contrast for the screen. You know what I'm saying? I rock with it. I'm really sick about Amarius Mims getting drafted, though. They did not have to do that to me, man. I'm actually quite upset. I'm very happy that we have Jaden Dales. I'm not complaining, but Amarius Mims would have been my uh, best-case scenario after uh, Jaden Dales. But it is what it is, though. Let's see. We still got other good tackles out there, so let's go ahead and get another good tackle. I feel so, like Marius Mims is going to end up being the best one down the line out of all of the tackles in this class, but I still think we can get a really good one. So for the LA Rams, you think they're going to go corner right here? You got Quinion Mitchell right, right now at number 19. You got all the cornerbacks you can take. Yeah. Yeah. More than likely corner. I think corner makes a lot of sense for them. Let me see what uh, what their other needs are, cause I I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like they have something else. Corner, I mean, they would have if Dallas Turner would have made it to him, they definitely would have took him. Defensive tackle after losing Aaron Donald, like you know that could have been something, but yeah, corner. As far as best players available and what their needs are, I think corner makes the most sense right now. Yeah, I think so too. Like I think Quinny Quinny Mitchell is great value at number nineteen. How do you feel about? How you feel about um, Cooper DeGene? He's going to be on the, the the white the white team. Remember the white versus black team on the Pro Bowl? Oh yeah, that was actually our commander, yeah, our Redskins yeah. uh, linebacker Will Compton that was doing that. So I believe yeah. his name is <laughs> yeah. But uh, he's weird because he's so athletic. I don't know if I want him as a corner or a safety. I really don't know. I really don't know, but I really like him though. Cooper DeJean, I I like his talent. Is it so it's DeJean or DeJean? DeJean? I don't know. I have no idea. I just <laughs> naturally say DeJean. I don't even care, bro. Yeah, because if you see Cooper DeJean, I would not think that looks like a Cooper DeJean. That yeah. looks more like a Cooper DeJean. But then again, DeJean, his name like... is Cooper. You hear Cooper, you got to already know what race he is <laughs> off of that. But <laughs> DeJean... True, but DeJon does sound black. But Cooper, I ain't <laughs> never seen a black Cooper. <laughs> like, Cooper is crazy. Uh, let me, oh, let me shout out my boy Brendan for the donation. 
He also became a Pro Bowl sponsor the other night. Well, I think that was last night, actually. Appreciate that and the donation as well. I'm so hyped that we got Jaden I am too. I was screaming for joy with my boy CJ in the middle of the drive through of McDonald's. Yes, sir. My boy at McDonald's too. Shouts. I love some McDonald's, man. I need to get sponsored by McDonald's. Like, I love it just as much as Chad Ochocinco does after the Nats game we went to. Also, Atlanta is funny for that pick they had. Oh, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure Falcons fans don't think it's funny. The rest of us do, <laughs> but they are Actually, sick. You know what? Let me go to Facebook. Yeah. That's where I will see the most funniness from my high school friends. Let, let's yeah. see. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Hey, yeah, y'all, for those of y'all just pull it back up, I saw Amarius Mibbs gone to the Bengals. I'm sick. I already did the womp, womp, womp and everything. Luckily for us, there's still a lot of good tackles out there that we can trade up for, but none as good as Amarius Mibbs, in my personal opinion. I think he's all pro potential. I think Joe Alt is the safest tackle. I think Amarius Mibbs has the ceiling to become the best tackle out of this entire draft class. But, there, again, there's still a lot of good tackles for us to get. There's still Troy Fontenu out there. There's still Tyler Guyton. So maybe we trade up for one of those guys I'm definitely down to do it. But Amarius Mims getting taken by the Bengals definitely hit me in the heart. Definitely hit me in the heart. I definitely am sick about that. I'm not going to lie. A top comment from Adam Schefter's page from a Falcons fan. I'm totally convinced my Falcons on them hard drugs. <laughs> aww. Aww. <laughs> po babies, man. You love to see it. When, when Falcons make a bad decision... We we all smile. We all laugh. We love to see it. This is when this is when Patriots and Commanders fans. This is when we give that handshake, or this is like <laughs> that the blood in the crimp meme when they go put their flag together. When the Falcons do bad, this is when we all come together, and laugh at their misery. Yes, sir, man. I'm going to ignore my misery with Amarius Mims going to the Bengals, and I'm just going to focus on laughing at the Falcons. That's what I'm going to keep doing. Even though, again, I'm happy that my boy Amarius Mims went 18th overall. I'm very happy for him. A lot of people doubted him. I'm telling you, he has the highest ceiling of any tackle in his draft class. I'm happy for him, but I'm sick for my commanders, and I'm sick for myself, selfishly. I really wanted us to trade up and get him. It is what it is, man. We still got a lot of good tackles available. But right now, instead of focusing on my sadness about Amarius Mims, I'm focused on laughing got the Falcons right now. <laughs> now let me uh, go through Twitter and see if uh, they updated and see what the Rams... How long are the Rams are making this pick? Golly. Maybe they're about to trade back because they're thinking really long about this. Yeah, this is too long. I think you go ahead and take the, the the guy you feel is the best quarter available at this point. I feel like that makes the most sense for them, but who knows? You do got to replace Aaron Donald, but Byron Murphy's already gone. You can just wait till another round to do that, I guess. To at least a, a tip to do it, I guess. Oh, I'm so happy to see Amarius Bibb. So happy. I'm so happy. I can't even... <laughs> I can't even be mad anymore, bro. I see his whole family in there. I remember when he went into the transfer portal for a little bit, took some tours to Florida State and some other schools, and was like, oh, nah, this sucks. I'm going back to Georgia. I Man, I remember the whole – I remember when he – dominated in that Ohio State game in the playoffs. That was his first career start. And and like I did in my Marius Mims film session, uh, when Joe Alt and Olu Fashanu went against that same Ohio State defense, those same exact edge rushers, they looked worse than Amarius Mims did. And that was Amarius Mims's first start ever against in, in, in college football when he went against those same exact edge rushers and he looked better. Um, so I'm just telling y'all now, you know, hear me now, believe me later. Amarius Mims is going to be a future pro bowler, all pro. His ceiling is ridiculous. I mean, just the way that he's built, he's either going to be an all pro or completely yeah. trash. There's when, no when, middle. When, when they showed him uh, in his house, I'm just thinking like, like no Diddy, but look at his arms. Like, golly, like, <laughs> how is someone that big? But also, it's not like, because like, even though their football players are all muscular, right? But like, that looked like 100% muscle. Just to let you that know. like no fat at all. Just to let you know, he's six foot eight, 340 pounds, and less than 11% body fat. Just to that answer your question. That is wild. Just That's to let what you I'm know. saying. Like, I know I wasn't tripping. Like, yeah, I have not seen ridiculous. an offensive lineman built like that. Yeah, he's. I'm going to pull up a picture, too, from the combine that, like, I mean, I already know this because I'm a Georgia fan. So I already knew how he was built and, like, what he looked like and everything. But this picture kind of went viral a little bit because people were like, what is going on? 
This is him at six foot eight, three hundred forty pounds. He does not look oh like three hundred forty pounds at <laughs> all. He he holds Yo, he it different. Like, it looks like one of those social media bodybuilders that you see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that does not look like three hundred forty pounds. That, that is, is a very crazy. skinny three hundred forty pounds. And you know he's a. Uh, you know his arms, his uh, wingspan is only a quarter short, a quarter inch shorter than Giannis Antetokounmpo. Like, come on, bro, you can't. That like I could bring up so why many facts drafted, about him. I, I know he's raw, but why was he just drafted higher off those physicals alone? I just um I can bring up so many facts about this guy as to why he's going to be the best tackle from this class. But hey, hear me now, believe me later. We're gonna keep it pushing. If the if the Commanders ended up getting them, then maybe I would have went deeper into it, but. I'm not even going to, you know, it's no point at this point because, you know, we got to find somebody else. Uh, and then the uh, Rams, it looks like they're getting Jared Verse, I think I'm seeing on the on the tweets right now. Yeah, I'm seeing Jared Verse. Okay. That makes sense. I mean. Solid pick. Solid pick. I guess positional, pick yeah, positional value, I guess, edge over quarter. But I personally would have taken quarter right there. Yeah. My boy SGT said, uh, so not son, LOL, autocorrect, Gabby. Appreciate the donation, but wait, I don't even, what, did, what else did you say? Let me see. Oh, and then you donated earlier. My fault. He said, what's up, man? First of all, appreciate the donation again. You donated twice. You donated a second time just to just to do an autocorrect of what you said in the first one. That's love. What's up, man? I watched every live stream last season. So are you doing a, the same this this year? How's the computer Um bit but of it going? I, I assume that's the autocorrect or yeah but he the boy autocorrect got him got him looking crazy but yeah of course i'm live streaming every regular season game every regular season game is always i'm every year i'm a live stream rounds one through five of the draft and i'm a live stream every regular season game during the game as well yeah jared burst to the rams is interested I, I do feel like that's a little later in the draft that i expected but i personally would have went corner right there uh, we'll see. We'll see. Out of the way. Good pick. You can't miss there between him or one of the top corners you could miss. I think the Steelers are probably going to tackle, which scares me. Or they could double down on corner. Remember, they got, uh... And that's that's what I'm fearing, because, you know, like, Patriots fan, that means I'm a Steelers hater. So, I'm just like, they could get Quinny and Mitchell right at number 20. <laughs> that's crazy. Because remember, uh, who'd they get? What's his name from Penn State again last year? He balled out for them. They got him, like, the early um, second round. Can't remember his name right now because I wanted him in the draft, but I just can't. His name is completely missing me right now. I can see. I know we're talking about too. I forgot as well. But this no, Joey Porter Jr. Yeah, there we go. Thank they, you because he's they, the son they, of an NFL yeah. player. Yeah. Yeah, his father is a linebacker coach. Yeah. So, but I can see them easily going center or tackle. I can easily see them going uh, uh, Powers, uh, Jackson, whatever his name is, or Graham Barton. Graham. Yep. I can see them going tackle as well, which scares me. I hope they don't go tackle. I want those guys to keep falling. Or they even could go receiver. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually go receiver. You never know. Got, Mitchell. You can get Brian Thomas Jr. right here. Woo! Brian Thomas and, ooh, and George Pickens. Oh, my God. Woo! Oh my. That's tough. I was about to say who's going to them, but I guess you were Russell Wilson or Justin Fields, whichever one works. That's such a weird quarterback situation. We haven't had a chance to talk about that either. How do Not you feel about that? Hey, hey, uh, what is that, bro? I'm just, I'm still, I'm, I'm so flabbergasted, right? I'm flabbergasted that Justin Fields went for a six round pick. Now we know that Zach Wilson went from a six round pick swap. Why do they have ne nearly the same value? Hey, eat, to make it even worse, to boost up my commander, somehow we traded Sam Howell away for basically what was the equivalent of a third round pick. <laughs> I don't know how. Exactly. I, I don't know how. how. I have much more value than Justin Fields. I have and like, look, no idea. I do not like the Steelers, but since I'm a Justin Fields fan, I am at least happy he does have a chance to start at least next year. Because yeah. Russell Wilson is on an expiring contract. I really don't know how that's going to work, how that locker room is going to work. But uh, look, yeah, I guess weird. they're like, hey, we're just going to figure it out. Um. Pick it. He didn't. He didn't feel like being a backup to Wilson, so he wanted to go. Yep. So just like, hey, we'll bring Fields in. Fields says, apparently, he said he's willing to learn under Russell Wilson. And hey, if Russell Wilson struggles, they're just gonna put Fields in halfway through the season, which I feel like that's the most likely outcome. Yeah, I agree. 
I think Justin Fields could excel over there. I think he's getting way too much hate. I'm rooting for him as well. Maybe it's a little bit of like, you know, Kennesaw bias. You know, he's from oh, same, Metro same Atlanta here. area, but same you know, I, I'm still rooting for him. And sure. I, th I think he'll be good, especially with that. I mean, he has other Georgia Bulldogs with him. Darnell Washington, Broderick Jones, and George Pickens to throw to. So I love that Georgia stuff going on over there. Even uh, though he left uh, Ohio State, though. On Twitter, I was always arguing with Bears fans on Justin Fields. Like they, they were thinking I'm a Bears fan, but like no, because I'm always have to defend Justin Fields because yeah. it's, it's that Georgia connection. Yes, but I sir. also felt like he had an unfair rep at Chicago. Yep, yep. Well, right now I'm most afraid of the Steelers taking tackle. I think receiver would be crazy. I can see them taking uh that Jackson Power, whatever his name is, the center, but or like you said, Graham. Yeah, Jackson but, Power Johnson. Yeah, but uh, tackle makes the most sense to me, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. And right, just to let you know, your camera went away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I turned it off for a second. All right, bet, bet, bet. You good? You good? You good? Matter of fact, I need like a quick 10 seconds as well. So hold on. Let me. All right, so y'all said the pick is in. Let me see. Well, it looks like Rico's going to be angry with that one. So, like, yep, another offensive lineman off the board. So, nope, no Brian Thomas Jr. But the Dolphins got the 21st pick. So, yeah, we're going to see what the Dolphins would do with that. But, yep, Troy Fontenot is gone. So, what offensive lineman? So, right now we got Tyler Guyton. So, I don't think the commanders are going to be able Man. to trade up for him. I left for five seconds and, and already, Troy Fontenot yeah. got taken. What just happened, man? I can't leave That's for five saying. seconds. That's what I'm saying. Man, come on, dog. Come on, man. Can't leave for five seconds. I'm sick, man. Golly, now I got to do the womp, womp, womp again, man. Because so after Amarius to... Mims, that would have been my favorite guy left. Tyler Guyton has a high ceiling as well, but I'm definitely more of a fan of Troy Fontenot and Amarius Mims, so I'm sad. I ain't going to lie. So I'm not as big a fan of Morgan, though. Huh? What do you think the Dolphins are going to select at 21? First of all, the Dolphins tackle? are too good to have a 21st pick. That I'm already I know, annoyed. Right? It's crazy. I mean, right? I'm already annoyed. What, what need do they even need? What, what do they even need? Jalen Ramsey. They traded for Bradley Chubb. What do they need? Tight end. That's what I'm tight end. But there's no there's, tight ends there's worthy no tight of going this high. I'm about to yeah. say nobody worthy. Um, I'm looking. And ESPN says defensive tackle, guard, and wide receiver. Wide receiver, come on, bro. Leave some wide receivers <laughs> to the rest of us, man. <laughs> number, number three, yo. If they get Xavier Worthy, it's 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 over. <laughs> yeah, it's done. That, it's that's done. a track. That's a track team. That is a track team. <laughs> Xavier Worthy with Jalen Waddle, Tyreek Hill. Oh my God! Come on now, chill out. Dang, man, we should have traded up and got Troy Fontenot they, they, right they, they should just do that just to troll. Like, hey, like, we really don't need him, but, I mean, come on now. Like, we yeah. got 99 speed Hill. We got 98 speed Waddle. We got 99 speed Worthy. Like, we, we got 97 speed A-Chan. We got 97 speed Moster. Like, let's just do it. <laughs> let's That's just, ridiculous. We got the ultimate Madden team. That's so annoying, bro. I'm so glad I'm not in that division. That sounds like just the conditioning you got to go you, through the you, week you before. Tell me. You yeah. tell me. You <laughs> tell me. The conditioning you got to go through the week before has to be terrible, bro. The amount of suicides you got to run. <laughs> for oh, real. my God. Just to prepare for that. For oh, real. that's terrible, dog. I'm so sorry, Shay. I ain't going to lie. Um, and I, it's not that I don't like Morgan. I'm just not very high on him. Right now, Tyler Guyton is easily my favorite tackle left, but he's still a tier below Troy Fontenot. He's easily below Amarius Mims for me, but he still he still has a relatively high ceiling. So I like Tyler Guyton, I do. And again, Jordan Morgan is cool, but I wouldn't trade up for him. I'll trade up for Tyler Guyton. I'm cool with waiting until 36 to see if Jordan Morgan is still there. That's just me personally. Oh, also, I forgot. I wanted to shout out my boy SGT for another donation saying autocorrect got me twice. LOL. Awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate the donation. Thank you. 
Also, shouts out my boy Terrell for the donation as well. He said, hey, Rico, I'm a big fan, a new channel member. Where should the commanders trade up for an offensive tackle? Appreciate the donation, first of all. Shouts out to you becoming a channel member. And also, of course, tackle-wise, I mean, at this point, I'm lost. I guess trade up as soon as possible and try to get Tyler Guyton is my only advice at this point maybe 21 22 23 or something like that or i guess we can wait for jordan morgan in the second round but i'm just not a big fan of jordan morgan i like him like i explained in my mock my predictive mock draft i came up with earlier this morning he did do really well against um liatu latu he arguably has some of the best tape against them but he has really short arms so unless he turns into anthony schwartz it's gonna be tough for him to survive at tackle but we'll see I mean, this this division has Hassan Reddick. Um, I believe is Hassan Reddick still there with the Eagles? <laughs> Do we have to deal with Micah Parsons, uh, Hassan Reddick? We got to deal with um, what's his name from the Carolina Panthers? Uh, that I really wanted. I can't. I see his face, but I can't think of his name. Edge rusher from the Panthers just went to the Eagles as well. Brian I believe. Burns. Brian Burns. We got to deal with that. Like, come on, we Kayvon Thibodeau been given he his only games be good against us. So we gotta deal with Kayvon Thibodeau. Like, we gotta have some really good tackles. And I'm just not sure if short arms Morgan can do it, but we'll see. Um and then I oh, also, saw the super chat, that's why I was laughing. <laughs> oh, he, my boy Dijon, appreciate the donation. He said, pull your pants up before you get up now. <laughs> I got you, man. My fault. My, my <laughs> appreciate that, man. Mims and Shiesty. Oh, I'm seeing people tweet about uh Amarius Mims and Joe Burrow. Appreciate Good the donation, my boy. Looking. Good thing I was not looking when that <laughs> happened. I'm sorry. Um, Cameron Hayward, he's announcing the Steelers pick. So Dolphins, I don't know. I I, I whoo. Wide receiver, defensive tackle. I don't know. I don't know if there's any defensive tackle worthy of going this high. He said too funny. <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah, Brian Burns. So Brian Burns is on the Giants with Kayvon Thibodeau. You have Hassan Reddick and what's his name on the Eagles, and you got Michael Parsons on the Cowboys. If we don't have a really good left tackle, Jaden Daniels may shouldn't even play his rookie season. You better get le uh, left tackle right because woo, woo wee. Chop Robinson is out there, though. That's really interesting. Very high ceiling, kind of a boomer bust edge rusher right there. My Honestly, only problem from the Dolphins, huh? I could take a flyer on him. Like, you got all this talent in the world. Like, just get a high risk, high reward guy. Already have, yep. Already have, um, what's his name? Bradley Chubb from the Broncos. Didn't so, he yeah. run like a four or five? Yeah, no, he's an elite ceiling. My only problem yeah. with him is that he wasn't productive. I think his best season in college. And he's been fairly healthy. He hasn't even missed a lot of games. But I think got, the most he had in the season was 5.5 sacks. Yeah, you, but. Can, you can sit under Bradley Chubb. Like, you got all that natural talent. He yep. just needs coaching. I, if I'm the Dolphins, I'll take a fly. Well, actually, no, nah, because I'm a Patriots fan. Yeah, so I want the <laughs> yeah don't do that. Do that. Don't, don't wish that. But don't wish if that. If I wasn't a Dolphin, if I wasn't a Patriots fan, and if I was a Dolphins fan, maybe that would be the right decision. Just the same. I agree. Yeah, nah. They have the right system in place to where they can I'll take him, let him in. develop, and him ball out. Yo, T is, is quick now. T Yo, JPA football ain't even ready. Look, look, chat, who are your sources? I need to find new sources. <laughs> yeah, the sort the old sources ain't working no more, man. They ain't. The old sources is old sources, man. <laughs> Said Michael Penix will be 28 years old when Kirk's contract is up. That is funny. <laughs> that is funny. Let me see. People are tweeting at me and letting me know how the Falcons fans are feeling right now. I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Paid an injury prone senior citizen quarterback $100 million just to draft another quarterback. <laughs> Who's also injury prone and not too far from being. He's a, he was a senior citizen for a college quarterback. Yeah, that's, that's an insane strategy right there, man. Shouts out to the Steelers, too. Broderick Jones on one side and Troy Fontenot on the other side is insane. They're good. Whoever's playing quarterback is going to be protected. I can tell you that. That's a really good tackle group right there, man. Oh, there you go. You spoke it into existence, Shay. <laughs> is it really Xavier Yes. Worthy? Yes. No, to the, you can't. No, you can't be serious. To the Dolphins. <laughs> are, to you, the, are, you, are you? Are you? Did they really get Xavier? 
No, 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 Chop Robinson. My fault. Chop, oh, no, the oh, Chop Robinson. Oh. The Chop. No, 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 no. Okay. 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 I, okay. I, I, I was going. I was okay. going to be ripped. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, yeah, I can, I can see that one. No, I want to say Chop Rob- no, but Xavier, Xavier Worthy. Ooh, I would have been crazy. I, I would have been like my friend Brandon. I would have closed this stream if they got Xavier <laughs> Worthy. I'm <wasn't> done. <laughs> Chop is a crazy. Like what pick, more? Though. What more speed do you need? Yeah. Yeah. But I, even even Chop Robinson in terms of speed. That, yeah. Chop Robinson is crazy, dog. That that ceiling is crazy. He doesn't if come it, in ready to play day one, well, but his ceiling is If wild. it doesn't work out, that's fine. Because you already have all this talent. Yeah. But if it does work out, it's just a luck, it's just an abundance. You Future got pro bowler. Yeah. yeah. hmm Wow, that's crazy. I, I again I don't even know why the Dolphins even have the 21st pick. They should be picking way later than that. I hate them. That shows how how bad they always underachieve. Yeah, the talent they have. They did fold at the end of the season. I remember that. It was like the last three games. They just got sorry. They're the NFL's version of Los Angeles Clippers. All this talent <laughs> always underachieved. <laughs> Timothy asks, "What are we gonna do? All the tackles are going. Tyler Guyton is the best tackle available, in my opinion, at this point. In my personal opinion, Jordan Morgan is. I'll wait till thirty six to get help. I'm not trading up." To get Jordan Morgan. I me personally, I don't like him that much. Let me see. Best draft players. And all of the corn not one corner has been taken, and there are and there's still some really good ones out there. Yeah, Quinion Mitchell is literally, according to ESPN, the best player available. They felt like he's the tenth best player in the entire draft. They, the Eagles could get oh my. Uh, no, nah, yeah, do not let honestly, the Eagles get Quinn and Mitchell. I, oh. I think that's worse than oh. the, the Dolphins getting Sean Robinson. Same. If you're talking about abundance of riches, oh my goodness. No, that's crazy. Quinn and Mitchell to the Eagles, we got to chill out. We got to chill out. Wait, yeah, chill out, man. Please chill out on that, man. We do not need any of that energy, man. You know what? I want it. I want it. Let, no, let's, let's no. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. <laughs> yeah, you still got Quinion Mitchell, Terry Arnold, Graham Barton, Cooper DeJean. Brian Thomas is still out there. Kool-Aid McKinstry, Nate Wiggins, Xavier Leggett. My boy, I really want him. Um, Adana, I think Xavier Leggett is not passing the, uh, the Panthers at 33, though. Oh, so you think, okay, so you think Xavier will get the truth. Okay, so I hope he does pass the Panthers and goes to 34 if we don't get Brandon Knight. <laughs> he's serious, bro. I think he's literally A.J. Brown. To me, I think he's A.J. Brown. Um, Darius Robinson, I like him. We'll see. My dog, Lad McConkie. Tyler Guyton's still out there, like I already said. Man, Ricky Purcell is so underrated. He's still got Xavier Worthy. Yo, his, his measurables are crazy. Ricky Purcell? Oh my, yeah. And you like, seen those I'm catches he had? He went off. He had the Not- best catch in college football last year, too. That one catch, he, oh my lord. He's crazy. I, I know he's 24, but why was he so underrated then? If it wasn't for the Florida combine. Florida sucks. <laughs> Florida sucks, and I love it. As a Georgia Bulldog fan, I love it. Florida sucks. Keep being terrible. Keep being terrible, please. Thank you. <laughs> so Chop Robinson is the pick. He just looks like a giant little kid, like Chuck Robinson. Like, he has, like, this 10-year-old face on a 250-pound body. <laughs> yeah, 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 he looks like, You can tell he's just a high-selling, boomer bust, younger guy. He looks like he's young. Yeah. He looks like a 12-year-old with a, with a beard and a, with a goatee <laughs> at 6'4", 250. <laughs> Now, let's see, man. Eagles scare me. I'm really afraid of them getting a corner, dog. Let's chill out. Eagles, let's chill out. We don't have to do this. Quinion Mitchell. Let's go, Eagles. No, trade back, Eagles. You know let's you want to trade Eagles. back. Let's go, Eagles. No, you know you want to trade back, Eagles. It's okay. It's okay. You can easily trade back right here. This is a great time to trade back. No, this yeah, is Chuck a great Robinson time is from the, Maryland. The best, the most athletic defensive back. That's right, Francis. Eagles need Mitchell. Let's go. Let's no, do it. No, no, we're good. We're good. He's going to catch some passes from Jaden Daniels. Let's do it. <laughs> no, we're good.
I'm happy for Chop Robinson. He's going to a really good team that he can wait and develop. I'm happy for him. Now, I'm not too happy, but yeah, it's a good pick. <laughs> Johnny asked what's the call in number. I got y'all Sunday at latest Monday. We're going to do a call in show live stream for y'all to call in and voice your opinions about how this draft went and everything like that. That will be Sunday or at latest Monday. Stay tuned. I'm going to open up the phone lines so y'all can call in and everything just like we did last night. Man, last night feels like it's forever ago. There's no way I just did the call-in show last night. That feels like it was three days ago to me, man. Oh, my Lord. I've been so busy. So many videos all over the place. But I'm happy, though. I'm having fun. This is draft season. This is what I do it for. And we got Jaden Daniels. I missed out on Mims, but I got Jaden Daniels. I'm happy. I'm going to be sick about Mims forever, though, but... I'm really happy we got the the happiness from getting Jaden Daniels outweighs the sadness from missing out on Mims. So I'll definitely be fine, but I'm going to be rooting for him. Now, I'll tell you that. I hope Amari's Mims goes out there and looks like an all-pro. If I, I'm saying if I was a defensive player, I do not want to mess with Joe Burrow. If, if that guy is going to be the one fighting back for him. <laughs> he literally is, a I think, a quarter or a half inch shorter wingspan than Giannis. 340 pounds, six foot eight. Less than 11% body fat. What is that? that? That is, I don't know. Like, I don't care what the tape shows. If you have those measurables, <laughs> probably not a top 10 pick. Exactly, why not? Bro. I don't get it. A lot that's of people don't like you, That's something you can't teach. Like, what type yeah. of offensive lineman has 11% body fat? <laughs> At 340, too. Like, <laughs> What is that? How much muscle can you can one human possibly have? <laughs> and then on top of that, having arms like Giannis Antetokounmpo is insane, bro. What do you do against? That? He could he could have been a basketball player at that weight easily. <laughs> He's I think he was. I think I've seen some basketball highlights. I may be tripping. I can't remember. One of the Georgia offensive linemen had uh, basketball highlights. I think it was him, but I can't remember. Do you how you how you liking a uh, Terry on Arnold's suit? How you liking that? Chill out, chill out. Is he really the pick, bro? No, they're just showing him on camera, but probably is. Let's no, see. No, chill out, chill out, bro. <laughs> Look at what Nate Wiggins dressed like. <laughs> wait, somebody. <laughs> wait, I didn't even see Nate Wiggins yet. I'm see behind. Nate Wiggins? Nah. <laughs> oh, um, a Falcons. Uh, hold on. A Georgia fan just said that if Philly drives Lab McConkey or Javon Bullard, we may see more Falcons fans just go ahead and jump board and jump at ship to the point, Eagles. That's UGA. I mean, you <laughs> might as well just go ahead and be a fan of the Eagles at that it's, point. It's I agree. UGA Philly. <laughs> they, the whole team is from, from is from UGA. I completely agree. Up, oh, you got your wish. Thank you, Shady. Thank you. Thank you, Shady. They Brilliant got him. Mitchell? Yeah, they got him, dog. Let's go. Boo. Let's go. Boo, Eagles. That's a really good player, bro. I don't know how they got the best corner in the draft with the 22nd pick. The best, it is what the it best is. teams select the best players. That's always the rule. No matter where they are, they always select the best players. The bad teams are bad for a reason. The Falcons are the Falcons for a reason. Yeah, yeah. The Falcons would have been better off taking him. Now I'm mad at Real the Falcons. Deep. <laughs> no. Getting oh, him man. at 22 is crazy. Quinn Mitchell at 22 is the same. First corner off the board is wild, dog. A Dallas fan just tweeted <laughs> how we can't keep getting away with this. Even Cowboys. <laughs> For real. Everybody's For mad. Real. Everybody's mad I right can't now. I can't believe it. How? <laughs> If he would have got picked at 13, nobody would have batted an eye. If he got picked at 8, nobody would have batted an eye. <laughs> nobody. I wouldn't have questioned. I'm like, okay, best corner. Highest ceiling corner at the very least. We can keep, Yeah, we good. Wait, Jahan Dotson said what? What was that tweet? When asked via text about Jaden Daniels coming to Washington, he said elite pick. So everybody's a fan of it. I already told y'all what Jeremy Reeves and Derek Forrest felt about it. Oh, my boy. Gianni just so donated to the chat. Appreciate that big time. He said, my cousin Chop about to go off and show off. I completely agree. His ceiling is crazy, bro. Just absolute freak of nature athlete. Born and raised in Maryland. Shouts out Gianni. That's his cousin right there. Much love. I'm wishing the best for him, especially since he's not in the NFC East. I don't have to deal with him. 
<laughs> I do. I have to deal with him. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Hey, hey, Gianni, just tell your cousin after that contract up, just the, ask if he likes clam chowder, because Massachusetts, New England, we got a lot of that. What I, is clam ask chowder? him if he likes it's it's like see it's like clams like it's like seafood like i had it when i was in massachusetts when i was a little kid it's pretty good i've literally yeah. only heard of it because of spongebob what is actually Wait, what does it look real? like yes what is clam child I, I felt like i had this in school too i never ever i was such a little kid when i had this so i can't really like vividly like tell you like what it exactly was but it was good i just remember it being good I remember nah. having shepherd's pie in school too. Shepherd's pie was hitting. Now I've at least heard of that, but like people be eating porridge in real life. I thought that was with the 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 three. Nah, for real. The three I pigs like I in the too. in the bad wolf. I, I thought had porridge that was as well. Yeah. I thought that was literally think, a big bad wolf story. I think Nigerians eat porridge, so I ate porridge definitely before. And then, nah, people out here eating porridge and clam chowder's crap. Yeah, I Nigerians that was eat all porridge. fictional food. Nah, <laughs> that's that real. Was, Oh, you like soul food? Well, <laughs> I mean, we don't got really got soul food in Massachusetts, but but uh, <laughs> we, we, we can get pork chops. You know? So you can I, ship I it in from New York. Is, yeah, New York you can right ship there? it in. You, you know, like hey, <laughs> hey, just tell him that the four years come to New England, he won't regret it. Drake May will be a top five quarterback by that. He won't regret it. Come to New England. Oh, hey, my we, we, we buy the water. If he loves lobster, we got lobster rolls. Like like what Alfred said, clam chowder is bomb. Let's do it. I mean, it. he's Come from Maryland. Maryland. He's from Maryland, and people you, always you, say it's between Maryland and Louisiana who have the best seafood, so he's probably going to be a little disappointed. Nah, <laughs> Y'all sleep on Boston seafood. Boston got great seafood. We buy the water. Uh, Boston's known for their seafood as well. I've always heard about hey, in Louisiana. And anyone in the chat from Boston, let, let let them know. Or been to Boston, let them know. Boston got good seafood. Okay, porridge is from Jamaica. Okay, that makes sense because Nigerians eat it too. So, like, I mean, Caribbean food, Nigerian food is always very similar. And my mom cooks a lot of, like, Caribbean-inspired food. So, yeah, I had porridge before. My mom said it's Goldilocks where porridge came from. I thought it was fiction. I didn't know people actually ate that for real. It's good. It's good. At least the way my mom makes it is good. Mommy, I'm hungry. <laughs> now, Mitchell about to lock Terry McLaurin up. That's what Mitchell about oh, to do. No, now we got to stop. I think he's a great corner, but now we got to stop. Nah. Terry McLaurin kills Stephon Gilmore the year he won defensive player of the year. Nobody can guard Terry, dog. It's just about making sure he doesn't get double teamed. Stephon Gilmore didn't run a 4-3-3, though. Hey, man, Quinion Mitchell ain't as good at covering yet. He got that potential, but... Uh, we don't gonna, know that. We don't know that. take a minute. Gonna take we don't know that. He ain't got that Terry McLaurin yet. Maybe look, he can do something with Yami. This, this dude got no motion on his face, walking straight business. Yeah, this guy's about to be <laughs> yeah, a lockdown Yeah, he does have corner. an extremely straight face. He looks mad about going in the first that, round. That's why... <laughs> he, he, he looks mad for going this late. Like you have yeah. me, you have me in this in this gray room waiting this long to go to twenty two. <laughs> he looks actually really upset. He don't look happy yeah, at all. Yeah, he a dog. He gonna be a dog. He gonna be a dog. <laughs> Why does he look so mad? <laughs> Why does he look so? Look at him rocking up Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah, he gonna be a dog. That's why I want Cam Hart, because Cam Hart did a great job against Marvin Harris. I think we can get him second or third round. Let's do that. Now the Patriots get him first. Nah, chill out. <laughs> chill out. Oh, we, can get him with, we can get him with that smooth third round pick. Nah, you good. You good. You good. All right, we got Jaguars. I don't even know. I mean, again, maybe the other corner. Maybe one of the other ones. Maybe. I can see that potentially. Who are you guys' sources? Because JPA football is so slow. I'm trying to figure out. Like, I'm trying to get the next pick here. Let me see. Yeah, Quinya Mitchell, Satarian Arnold, maybe Cooper DeJean to the, the Jaguars. I can see either one. Don't forget I say, about. I say go best available, and that's probably Terry on Arnold right now. How you feel about Brian Thomas, though? To the, oh, yeah, the Jaguars need receivers. I forgot about that. Like, yeah, no Ridley. Uh, I think they still got Kirk. Yeah, they need a receiver. So I can oh, see Brian Thomas. I forgot they gave here. Christian Kirk all that money. 
Oh, I yeah. forgot about that. And Ridley went to the Titans, so they need a receiver. So yeah, I, I think I think got to go receiver right here. Brian Thomas. Yeah, oh, Brian Thomas sense. Jr. Right I agree. Here. I agree. But also at the same time, they kind of got to protect their investment, Trevor Lawrence, because they haven't been doing it too too great of a job doing that. Yeah, protecting them. They took Brandon Sheriff from us, and that's really about all they did. <laughs> As it was like, all right, figure it out after that. Oh, there you go, Brian Thomas. There you go. <laughs> yeah, they had to pick him. They it had made to pick too much him. sense. It made too much yeah. sense. It was it was like Broncos picking both picks. It's like they had no choice at this point. You had to pick them. At least this one wasn't a reach. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, solid pick. I still can't believe they gave uh, Christian Kirk all that money. Honestly, it kind of they kind of set the precedent because. I think nowadays in this market, you kind of have to pay number two guys that much. Yeah. But they were the first ones to do it. So and I if blame them. Done, yeah. If they hadn't done it, would would it cause this domino to fall in terms of the contracts? I felt like if they didn't do it, another team would. So I felt like it was inevitable that receivers are going to get these 20, 30 million a year contracts. That's ridiculous, dog. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous, man. Wait, Joel Embiid has been treated for a mild case of Bell's palsy for the past week. The condition began during the play-in victory over Miami, but he has wanted to keep it private to avoid distractions for his team. Wait, what yeah, does that mean? Left side of his face. Wait, so like what does almost that paralyzed. mean? Really? Is he, that he bad? Can't, he, can't, he can't blink his left eye. Like, yeah, I don't know if you saw the video, but like, there's a video where it shows him be blinking and only his right eye is blinking. Like, he can't blink his left eye at all. So this is not even just a basketball thing. This is like a real no, serious, serious life I think it was thing. from that orbital fracture he had in 2022. And what was that? Um, So Pascal Siakam accidentally hit him in the eye. This caused, I don't know if you remember when Embiid had the mask on. This yeah, caused him to like, wear a mask for like a while. So, like, yeah, I think it stemmed from that. Oh, that's terrible, man. Oh, poor him, man. Poor him. Joel is real cool, so, uh, man. I, I didn't cool. know about the Bell's palsy, but I know, like, he couldn't even blink out of his left eye. And, like, that left side of his face almost looked like it was, like, paralyzed a bit. Like, he couldn't, Aww. like, move. Which kind of sucks. Cause, like, like, basketball is more of a physical sport than what people make it out to be. But oh, like. Yeah. Yeah. You really, he got Bell's palsy? That is crazy. Just from playing basketball? Yeah, that's insane. Oh, that sucks, man. I really feel sorry for Joel, man. Yeah, I, ho I hope I hope he gets better from this. I hope this is not not a, uh, like, a complete, serious, like, permanent thing. Yeah. Where right, did yeah. it mm -hmm. Okay, mild case, mild case. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because, like, yeah, it's less... So it's not like super severe. So it's so it's it could get back to normal. So what we thinking the Cowboys about to do? I hope they completely fold their pick. They need a trade just... back. I can see them. They going need, a, they need a running back. They can't get the running back in the first round right now. Oh, you better not take tackle. any of these running backs in the first round. You better not. You know, like uh, Jonathan Brooks from Texas. Yeah, not first round. I like him. Not first round. And my favorite running so what, back in the whole class is a, Isaac Garendo. What makes a late? Oh yeah, yeah. He's a like he was like two thirty at running four three three. That's crazy. Yeah. But uh, but uh, what makes a first round running back even a late first round nowadays? Because I feel like Jonathan Brooks could be a starting back, but is that worth a first round nowadays? It's just or value. What? It's kind of like playing chicken at this point. But if you don't do it, somebody else may not do it, and everybody but else just wait. a first rounder. And B. John Robinson. Well, yeah, I mean, but they, I feel like they're better than him, though, me personally. I feel like they just have oh, yeah, that, but stuff. they're like, But they were top 15. What makes a late first-round pick? Because Clyde edwards Lair was a late first-round pick, even though that was a bust. But what, yeah. what are you looking for in a late first-round pick for a running back? Well, I think it's just more of like a everybody's kind of colluding together. Like, all 32 teams are just sticking together. Like, if you don't take a running back... In the first run, um, round, I won't. If you don't do it, I won't. Everybody's just going to wait and just basically devalue the position. I think they're really just colluding together. I think they just came together. Could be. And we're just like, we're none of us going to draft running backs in the first round unless he's just that guy. And also, and also, is it worth drafting a running back in the first round when most likely you're not keeping them after their rookie contract? Yeah, and that's another thing, too. People don't even like paying them after the fourth year, let alone the fifth. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Oh, my mom brought up a good point too. Low head <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Let me see what the Cowboys need. Outside of running back and offensive line, especially tackle. Oh, they do need linebacker too. Um, I guess out of any of those picks, I hope they reach on running back. I hope they reach on linebacker. Please don't take a tackle because we still need a tackle, please. Tyler Guyton is still out there. I really, really hope after losing Tyron Smith, they do not take Tyler Guyton. But that's what it seems like it's going to end up being. I'm not going to lie. I feel like that's more than likely where they're going. He's the best tackle available, I feel like, easily. And that just makes too much sense after losing Tyron Smith. But then again, you need a center. So go ahead and get uh, the Jackson Powers guy, please. <laughs> or Graham Barton, please. please. They need everything. That. They're going to still find some way to blame Dak Prescott for it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, to your point, they probably are better off trading back. Matter of fact, trade with us. We'll move up to 24, get Tyler Guyton off your hands. Don't even worry yeah, about it. Yeah, I think they're trading with anybody but the commanders. <laughs> stop hating, man. Tell them to stop hating, man. Do business, bro. We do good business, man. We promise to give you something good in return, man. Trust us. We got you. Oh, we already got the video of Magic Johnson welcoming Jamin Davis. We got Kyler Murray welcoming Marvin Harrison. DeMar Who is DeMar welcoming? Like the Chargers or the Rams, somebody? I guess. Let me see some Drake May videos while we're at it. So so I'm assuming DeMar DeRozan being from Compton welcomed Joe Alt, I guess? Goes to see oh, we're showing goes. Drake May basketball highlights. Oh, he is a bucket. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's Look really good at basketball. He his, his family uh, oh, is only oh, good oh. at basketball. His whole family oh, yeah. is. Oh, yeah. This guy going to be a stud. He a hooper, <laughs> too. Yeah, he's really Look good at, at basketball. He like he, He's actually the worst one out of his family, I think, at basketball. He's still that's really good. For real? He just has a really good... Like there's, he literally has like a brother that's on the North Carolina basketball team with while he was there as the quarterback. And his dad, I think, is supposedly a good basketball player. Like they, that's just what they do. He just decided to go be a quarterback. Oh yeah, he, oh yeah. He and he, he realized did a Jamal he was built Murray like celebration Justin. after he hit the three. Oh yeah. <laughs> he realized he was built like Justin Herbert. It was like, yeah, let me go be a quarterback. Yeah, I'm let a freak just, of nature. And let me just go do I, this quarterback thing, because he'll technically be ooh, somewhat ooh. short in the NBA, but football, he's huge. <laughs> Belichick has a lengthy breakdown on Drake May. I need to listen to this after this uh, stream is over. Okay. Oh, three minutes worth. I want to. I want to listen to what Belichick has to say. Well, yeah, I'm about to watch every Jaden Daniels video available after I uh, get off. This oh, they show. got they got Cam Newton interviewing on NFL Network. That okay. one said he was doing the red carpet. Is he doing after the picks too? Oh, so uh, I guess so. Is it after? I don't know. I'm just happy. Oh, to no, see... no, no, no. This is before. Okay, yeah, this is what you were talking about. Yeah, this is before. I'm just happy to see Cam Newton doing anything. You know, that's my dog. Not only just yeah. Westlake, but Atlanta. Trash talking quarterback. This show is great. Yeah, I love his fourth and one. That's my man. Y'all, y'all know I rock with Cam Newton a long way. Oh, the Cowboys. There you go. Traded back with the Lions. There you go. They had to. They had yep, to. It made too much sense. Yeah. So like now they're picking 29th. Point. Picking 29th. They need to get as much picks as they can. Who are the Lions trading up for though? What are we talking about now? They got mm -hmm. tackles. They don't need tackles, so I'm not worried about that. I don't. I'm uh, not afraid of them taking Tyler Guyton. They got Brian corner? Branch, right? Uh, yeah, but but he's like a safety nick nickel guy, so yeah, technically, I, I, I still I, I think, think corner maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta get you gotta get Terry and Arnold, yeah, or Coop or Cooper to John. I'm seeing that they may even want to take receiver, Ad Mitchell, insane. Oh uh, well, they already got Jamison Williams, like, and at least the last game he he he's looking like he can still pull it all together. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I, he was my uh, favorite receiver by far the draft he was coming out of. He would be a top four receiver easily in this draft. I love, love Jamison Williams. He just had that betting situation. <laughs> oh, <Yo>, yeah. <laughs> they they even uh, put Drake May in that AI gif with uh, Lil Yachty. Uh, but, it, but, but it's with... Uh, walking up on stage. Oh, no, no, it's not Drake May. It's Daniel Jones. They put Daniel Jones. They're saying, like, Caleb Williams is a bear. Jaden Daniels is a commander. Drake May is a patriot. Danny Dimes, year six breakout, LFG. <laughs> <That is laughs> okay. Okay, year we'll see. Breakout. We'll see. Yeah, I'm expecting the Lions more than likely to go corner. Terry Arnold, Cooper DeJean, one of them. 
I could easily see that. That makes the most sense. So they basically gave up in total value a late third, early fourth round pick <laughs> to move up. So we'll see how it goes. It said uh, Drake May looking at his receiver core, and they put the Homelander. <laughs> the Homelander. Oh, bomb. So yeah. <laughs> sick. Just absolutely sick. <laughs> Uh, there it goes. Detroit Lions. Terry and Arnold makes all of the sense in the world. Yeah. We saw that coming. It was him or Cooper DeJean. Terry and Arnold makes too much sense. Move up to get a corner. That sucks that that never worked out for them. With uh, What's his name from Ohio State? I can't remember his name right now. The corner. He was supposed uh, to be Jeff so Okuda. good. Jeffrey. Yeah, he number was supposed three to pick. be so crazy. That's insane that that never worked out. Man, that, that's and that also just shows you, like, all of these picks are never a short thing. Because, like, yeah, I thought Jeff yeah, Kuda was going to be really good as well. I, I thought his floor was so high. Not only was it ceiling, I thought his floor was, his like, floor yeah. His floor was low as well. Super safe. Wasn't it injuries as, as well yeah. that kind of did it for him? Yeah, it just ended up being injuries. And he looks like Vince Staples, so. He'd he be like that sometimes. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. It happens to you. Sometimes you look like Vince Staples and don't work out. <laughs> yeah, you know, you never know. You know, you know, what could he do? Um, so yeah, then after the Lions, we have the Green Bay Packers. What are we thinking? They gave up on David Bakhtiari finally, so maybe they go tackle too. I'm scared. We got to chill out on all these teams that need tackle. I thought teams that need to tackle usually pick sooner in the draft. Why are there so many people that need tackle this late? Ah, they, I'm, oh man, I'm so sure they're going tackle. I'm. Huh, what about they, if Green Bay just surprises us all and finally drafts a receiver? <laughs> I hope they that would do. be hilarious. Please you know, I know do. it's never going to happen because they never draft a receiver never in the first do. round. But never do. But AD, AD, it's AD, like AD, when AD. we're not expecting them to, they finally draft uh, not just receiver, offense. That's, yeah, period. That's, uh, yeah. Offense, period, is crazy for them in the first round. That's crazy. Um, Let me see. So apparently they need linebacker or safety as well, but – Tackle just makes too much sense here. Please don't let it be Tyler Guyton. I'm begging y'all. Let Tyler Guyton keep falling. He's my favorite tackle left. He's not one of my top five ta favorite tackles in general. I can admit that. But as far as the guys that's available right now, Tyler Guyton is easily my favorite tackle left. Jordan Morgan is cool. Cool. But I'm not a huge fan, just to be completely honest right now. We'll see how this goes. I like Tyler Guyton, though. P fairly high ceiling there. We can do something with that. Tyler Guyton had an elite three cone. He had an elite vertical, so he's explosive. I love that. Decent 40 time. His arms and wingspan are all slightly above average. Not great. But his three cone and his vertical were insane. So I'm right. Please give me Tyler Guyton, please. I beg you. <laughs> They're showing uh they're showing uh Kirk Cousins watching Michael Penix in training camp. You know that RDC World gift where the backup quarterback oh, is showing out. Yeah, the little yeah. that little video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said if Xavier Worthy falls, do you draft him a Leggett? That's tough. I I feel like Xavier Worthy should go higher in the draft than Leggett, but my, me personally, based on what we already have in our receiver room, I would prefer Leggett. Just I feel like we need a big body jump ball receiver. Terry McLaurin makes contested catches, but all of our receivers right now are shifty route running get open guys. And Xavier Worthy, you know, is a deep threat, so that's slightly different. But I don't know. I'm a big fan of Xavier Leggett. I literally think he's AJ Brown. I would love to get him if they're both available. Um, but I just, between, I think the Chiefs are going either Lad McConkey or Xavier Worthy if either of those guys are still available. They're going one of them, somebody, one of them guys. They might need to replace a Rasheed Rice right now at this point, so. Yeah. Is, so they might need that a bigger receiver crazy. as well. That is crazy that they, they threw that away. Oh, my God. He threw that whole thing yeah, away. Like, that, it's he. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not really his fault, their fault, but. That is crazy that he did that. That crash, hit and run, that was crazy. What's going on with that, too? Like, how did that work out? I think they got a settlement, if I remember, or something. But I think it's supposed to face jail time, right? Let me see. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming for something like that. But I don't know. I haven't seen a final report on that. Yeah, Terry and Two Arnold days ago, he faces a second lawsuit. Ooh, Two man. days ago. So at minimum, super suspended. Like at work, best case scenario, super suspended, right? 
they got no choice but to draft wide receiver at this point. They couldn't even they can't even wait to the second round because their one promising guy just got just got his career in jeopardy. <laughs> so they're definitely going Xavier Worthy or Lab McConkey or AD Mitchell. They're definitely yeah, going receiver. It just, it, they just got to be receiver. Either one of them. Got to be receiver. Okay. And, and why does he think a hit and run is going to work? Like, look, you are a football player. It's not going to work. Bro, like, hit and run in a Lambo. There's only a select few of those in existence, dog. They're going <laughs> to catch you. Whose I'm Lambo saying. is this? I'm Who's la- whose Lambo is this, bro? I'm, sa- I'm saying. <laughs> Somebody who even can afford a Lambo. Let's start from the short list of human bro, beings. Bro, you are rich. You can afford the insurance. Why are you running? Yeah, I don't know what the – I guess – just him being young, panicking, because, yeah, that was so stupid. That was so stupid. My boy CJ the Boss just donated $2 to the chat. Really appreciate that. He said Green Bay Jordan Morgan. Is that true? Oh, they did. Yes, sir. Tyler Guyton still falling. Because, I, I, again, Jordan Morgan is cool. His tape against La Tu La Tu was fantastic. But I still prefer Tyler Guyton, me personally. I feel like he's a little bit more traitsy. I feel like he has a higher ceiling than a Jordan Morgan. So that's my preferred pick. But, of course, I don't know, man. We'll see how this goes. I'm not even sure at this point we're going to trade up for a tackle. We may just sit still at 36 and see what happens. I mean, if you're looking at the remainder of the draft, do the Buccaneers need a tackle? I don't think so. I think Buccaneers need receiver because, I mean, Mike Evans, um, Godwin, their receivers are old. So yeah. even though Mike Evans is still productive, they they just need a young guy. So who knows? I can see, uh, like, Baker Mayfield likes to throw the ball deep. I can see Worthy right here. Like, I would like Worthy get, for them. I would like get that. a speed guy. Yeah. I would like that. That's a great He's kind of different from, what, from the other receivers they have, too. Yeah, it completely did. Oh, yeah, please. Um, Bills, do they need tackle? I'm just trying to see who needs tackle. The Cowboys need tackle. Do the Ravens try to go ahead and get a guy to develop behind Morgan Moses? The 49ers, are we looking for Trent Williams' successor already? I, maybe we're in the clear of Tyler Guyton except for the Cowboys. Maybe the Cowboys are the biggest threat to taking Tyler Guyton for the remainder of this draft. Maybe. And I just realized like how scary the Lions are right now. They got Terry Woo! and Arnold like Woo! on that star studded team, that defense that was already very good. Highest ceiling corner in the draft added to that already ridiculous defense is, that is quite crazy. insane. Brian Branch, that's gonna allow Brian Branch to even be more flexible to just fly around and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're running it back next year. Just as long as Dan Campbell's uh cures his fourth for his fourth down fetish and <laughs> stop going for it. Oh yeah, appreciate that. Um shiz shiz. I forgot Hassan Reddick. He he did go to the Jets. That was a thing. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? I lost Sean, track of it. Did he go to the Jets? Let me let me check. He let did, me, yeah. Hassan Reddick did go to the Jets. Appreciate that update. He did. Or were they thinking about how did that go? Yeah, he's in the Jets. Yeah, he is on the Jets. Appreciate that shit, shit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I forgot about that, but we still got to deal with Brian Burns. Kayvon Thibodeau has his best games against us. Micah Parsons, really the whole Eagles defensive line in general. Even though they lost uh what's his name? Uh dominant defensive tackle. Can't think of his name right now. I'm so draft right now. I can't even think of his name. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, Terry Arnold got like a well, I guess he was an Eagles fan when he was a kid, or I guess played for like a little league Eagles team. So like, and he's going to the Lions. Hey man, let's get it. So the Eagles, Eagles needed him. a corner, and they just drafted the other corner instead. It's despite yep. the guy who was an Eagles fan. Yep. Oh, thank y'all. Fletcher Cox. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. There's, they're, even without Fletcher Cox, their, their defensive line is going to be dominant. So, Commanders, y'all better figure out this offensive line today. And all I know is at the end of this draft, we I better see an announcement. Washington Commanders have signed all pro safety Justin Simmons to a one-year. I'll give him $8 million, maybe even 10 Get. Give me Justin Simmons at the end of this draft, dog. Oh, my goodness. These Lions fans need to get off of this guy, man. Did you, are you seeing this? Nah, are they so mad because he, he had the Eagles? The, no, he started da- no, he started dabbing up the Lions fans. 
So, like, since he kept dabbing him up, it's like some fans just started to get ahead of themselves and started hugging him, like, uh, by the neck and everything. And then uh, another uh, Lion, Lions fan tried to hug them at the same time. So, eventually, he just had to he literally push them off. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I have, I'm so far behind, I've not seen it yet. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's gonna know. Like, yeah, you can't you can't you can't interact with too many fans now. Let's see what the Cowboys do, man. I I really, really, really hope they go defensive lineman or linebacker or something. Please do not take Tyler Guyton. I beg y'all, please let Tyler Guyton fall to us, man. So what King says, worst case scenario, the Commanders can snatch Brandon Ayuk from the 49ers. Oh no, 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 no. Let's do it. He's Let's do it. He is yeah. going to be a patriot. Yeah. That man is a patriot. Why are they going to show we got, his highlight we got that 30, We got that 34th pick warmed up for the 49ers. <laughs> yeah, we get, got the 36. So if we offered our 36, uh, y'all would win. We got win. better value. I'm about to say, y'all would win. win. Y'all would win. Got that smooth 34th pick. That smooth 34th pick. We could just offer that. Get Brandon Ayuk. We'll pay him. So so the Fortnite's don't have to. Up apparently they're saying the Buccaneers got Graham Barton. CJ the boss in the chat said that's who they got. I don't see it yet. But hey, and man, as long as it's not a tackle. As long as it's not a tackle, I am happy. Yeah. Oh, they got Graham Barton. So they really did. Okay. Well, as long as it's not a tackle, I'm kind of sick because I just thought about the fact that the Timberwolves will be playing in the middle of my streaming tomorrow. Because we have two second round picks right now, unless we trade up into the first round. We have two second round picks and three thirds. I'm gonna have to have that Timberwolves Speaking playoff game that, up. Let's see what uh what uh McKeatron legend Isaac Okoro and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yes, oh, sir. never mind. Talk that they, talk. They got they got they got destroyed. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, uh, 83 man, to 121. Woo! Oh my god. That's tragic, man. That's tragic. Oh, I my hate to hear goodness. it. Paulo Bancaro went off 31 points in 29 minutes. Jalen Suggs, 24 points in 28 minutes. Woo wow. wee, bud. Woo wee. That's tragic. That's tragic. That's, <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, you still got Jalen Brown. No, Jalen Brown been going stupid, though. I think he had a really good game last oh, yeah, game. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They, they lost to Miami, though. Which is crazy. Miami don't even have Jimmy Butler, and they're still winning games. Yeah, I, I can't believe. absolutely no idea how they pulled Spolstra that off. is the best coach bar none. Like, oh, I yeah, yeah. yeah. It. I Eric really Spolstra's don't understand different. it. <laughs> Tyler Hero is looking like Steve Nash out there. He had 14 assists. <laughs> yeah, when when was that him? When was he yeah. anything but a shooter, <laughs> I'm dog? saying. When did we I'm get saying. that? And it seemed like he couldn't miss a shot either. I think all his shots were three-point shots. Yeah, that's bad, bro. That man, Eric Spolster, is a genius. Though. I don't know how he does it. Because, yeah, he... Uh, I, I I don't understand it. That is crazy. I would I thought the Celtics were definitely going to sweep the heat. But it is what it is, man. Still They're best team in the East. Diana Rossini from The Athletic, she says, Cousins stunned Falcons drafted Penix Jr. Just, just posted that. They're all saying <laughs> it. I like Kirk Cousins is sick, boy. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, it's going to be Tyler Guyton or Patrick Paul, probably, I guess. We'll see. The Falcons called Kirk Cousins when they were on the clock to let him know. From what I learned, what Diana Racine learned, by the way, Cousins understood a quarterback would be considered, but he did not believe his successor would be taken in the first round. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm told he's a bit stunned. <laughs> yeah, man. That's crazy. Falcons fans, I mean, as much as I hate the Falcons, I ain't going to lie. I actually do feel a little sorry for them because this is insane. This is <laughs> insane. You can't even write. The script writers Bruh, could have done a better job. All the needs they have, and they still find a way to mess it up and <laughs> draft another luxury position they don't really need. Yes, sir. Oh, my. How how many? This is the fourth straight year. Well, why is Terry Fondu still the GM? Why is he still the GM? <laughs> like, why wasn't he gone with Arthur Smith? And that is, whoo. They're, they're always, they always make the... From the fourth straight year going, they always made the questionable pick. They're like, well, he's a good player, but did they really need to pick him that high? Did, <laughs> did they really need to pick this position that high? 
Four straight year. You know what it is? They think they're smarter than everybody because everybody, including us fans, just sitting here not even getting paid millions of dollars to do this, all believe that they like it just doesn't even make sense. We just have these general ideas, and the Falcons just always contradict them. They're just always the contrarian. Like, you know what? Everybody thinks this. We're going to hit them with this, catch them off guard. We're going to either look like <laughs> Complete idiots or complete geniuses? Oh, and the Cardinals just got Darius Robinson. That's a great pick for the Cardinals. Okay. I like that pick. I was afraid that they were going to take tackle, but I like that pick for him. That's a pretty good – Darius Robinson is the truth. I like him a lot. Um, He projects as a higher ceiling defensive tackle than edge rusher, but I think he could be a really good edge rusher. And positional value-wise, edge rusher does matter more, so we'll see what happens. My boy Mr. CB with another donation. Should we even trade up at this point? That's literally what I've been thinking for the past couple of picks. Like, we may just be able to chill at 36 and just, just chill out. Just – just chill. Tyler Guyton may fall to us. We may not even need to give up additional value to get him. And then we'll have two seconds and three thirds. Once we missed out on Amarius Mims, I was cool, whatever. I mean, maybe trade up for Tyler Guyton. But now that we're getting later and later, he may actually be there available for us um, by the time we get to our 36 picks. So we'll see how this goes. But so if question. we got to trade up for him, I'm cool with it. So question, what wide receiver are the Bills taking on 28? We know they're taking wide receiver. Okay. They got no choice but to. If we're talking about an X, I think A.D. Mitchell, with character concerns, apparently coming out last second at the draft. Like apparently literally just a they dealt with Stephon ago. Diggs, so like if they could deal with him, yeah. apparently. But then again, they ended up trading him, so maybe that's they're trying True. to avoid that. So who knows? I, I I think it's both. They have experience dealing with it. They have structure in place to where they can. And then when in doubt, they've also just got tired of it. So we'll see what happens there. I think A.D. Mitchell is the best ex probably available, but I think Xavier Leggett would be great. Of course, my dog, I'm rooting for Lad McConkey to go in the first round. I think he could go crazy. I literally think he's Victor Cruz. Some people even compared him to like an A.B. type of guy. Um... So I think he can end up being a really good receiver if he gets the chance. Um, it's a, there's so many good receivers. Roman Wilson is still out there. Um, Malachi Corley, you may be able to get him second or third oh, yeah. round, but he's great. Um, it's a lot of, man. This receiver class is easily the deepest Jaylen position Polk. in the class. Yep. Oh, we, we, talked, about Ricky, we talked about Ricky Purcell earlier. Hey. Yeah, Ricky Parasol. We got Roman Wilson from Michigan as well. I really like him. I think I, I I heard a report that the commanders are really interested in him, so I wouldn't be surprised if we reach for him, maybe take him 36th or 40th. How do you feel about Tez Walker? Uh, I'm not as high on him as I am, like, pretty much everybody else I listed, but I think he's a solid pick. I wouldn't take him here with at the Bills pick right now. Oh, though. no, not at all. But yeah. He's like a third, third, fourth yeah, round yeah. pick. I think, right? Yeah, I think he's solid. I think he's solid. I like everybody else I listed ahead of him, but um, I think he is solid, though. We'll see. I'm excited. We're getting closer and closer. Tyler Guyton's still falling. And there's still a lot of good players out there. And remember, Commanders fans, we have two seconds and three-thirds. So we're going to be very active in the draft tomorrow, especially if we don't trade up for a tackle in this first round somewhere in these last few picks. We're going to have five picks tomorrow, so we about to have a lot of fun tomorrow. I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow, man. Yeah, same here. Can't wait to get Brandon Ayuk tomorrow. That's okay. what I can't wait for. Okay. <laughs> Hope he Buffalo likes Bills. playing chowder. Uh-oh, Buffalo Bills trading back. That makes sense. I mean, the fact that oh, we really? were able to okay. list off so many receiver options for them, it's kind of like, why not trade back? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for real. Who did they to trade where, back to? I'm about to say with who. I'm just seeing Buffalo Bills trading back from a Buffalo Bills fan. I follow NFL Draft Dominus. He does a lot of draft coverage. That, that, that's that's my source. I'm looking yeah. at right now. now he's they, clearly up to date. He's clear. He's clearly a Bills fan though. So that's like his thing. He's super draft, but he's a Bills fan while doing it. And he said they traded back, but he ain't say what they're trading back with. Maybe he's just saying they should because he's a Bills fan. Who knows? Maybe he's just saying like it makes too much sense. He's just saying it definitive. I don't know. A lot of they people did. are comping Jordan Morgan to a high-level guard for the Packers, so a lot of people don't even see him as tackle. He does have extremely short arms, so it makes sense. The lowest grade so far from the Athletic, they gave my, the Michael Penix pick a C. Yeah. Denver Broncos, Bo Nix pick a C-. minus. Yeah. Uh, Brock Bowers is a B- minus for, for Vegas. Hey, um, hey, hey, that's an A+. Plus. Stop playing with my a, boy. 
Um, Amarius Mims to the Bengals with a B minus. Uh, not B plus. Hating. My my bad. I'm about B, to say B plus, stop. B plus. That's an A plus. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think that was it. Like, yeah. So the only seeds were really Michael Penix and uh, Bo Nix. Yeah. And, uh, actually, Brock Bowers was a B plus, not a B minus. I don't know why. I oh, said God, I'm about to say, man, they better stop playing with my boy. J C Latham though at number seven, that was just a regular B. And I think Nick Saban just said on the pack of Ma of the Pat McAfee show, I just saw a quote, but I'm assuming he said it today. I don't know for sure that Brock Bowers is the most NFL ready guy in the entire draft. So, hey man, if Nick Saban you says that there. is Alabama, you didn't even coach him. Nah, right, let's get it, man. I believe him. You played against them, so that's how you know. Uh, Jordan Schultz said Bills are in trade talks to move out of 28 per sources, but not done yet. They may end up just staying there and taking wide receiver, but we'll see. They're trying to trade back. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh, let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh. My boy, Jaden Daniels. I'm happy. I don't care. Let's get it. Missed out on Mim. Still got Jaden Daniels. Yeah, yeah. Um, a team while we, while we got a 6'4", 223 prototypical <laughs> quarterback. Making when who? you look at the dictionary, when you look at what a quarterback looks like, you see Drake May's picture. So I love it. I love it. <laughs> My boy Josh Taylor just said Dan Quinn would do backflips if Kool-Aid McKinstry fell to 36. We have so many options at 36. I think tackle probably makes the I most sense because I forgot Dan Quinn's y'all coach now. Yeah. I, I didn't really ask you how you feel about that. The brotherhood at, coming to Washington. At first I was worried, but then he put together the best coaching staff on paper I've probably ever seen as a Breaking and Gold fan that I'm just like, let's do it. I think Joe Wood Jr. is going to be a great defensive coordinator. Um, I think Cliff Kingsbury, he's the biggest question mark, but I mean, we have ex head coaches, ex defensive coordinators and ex offensive coordinators all up and down our coaching staffs, just being random assistants right now. For some reason, everybody sees some vision to where it's like, we all need to jump on board with the commanders got going on. People took, yeah. huh? No, I was about to say, I'll tell you, I did meet Dan Quinn in person before. Oh, you did? How'd that go? When he was with the um, Falcons? It, yeah. Yeah. So like. Before the game start, he'll run around like the the stadium. So like when I was working at the stadium, he'll run around the stadium, do like his exercise, and then like we'll just say what's up to like the the employees there. So okay, like, yeah. that's fine. People yeah, so, love Dan Quinn. They say he's like the most likable coach in the entire I, NFL. Oh so yeah, definitely. Like I can Tom see that. I can see that. Yeah, that's his thing. It's relationships. I, I mean, again, we literally have like four ex head coaches on our in our coaching staff right now. A whole bunch of ex defensive coordinators and offensive coordinators just taking. We have Anthony Lynn as a running backs coach. I mean, he did it for the 49ers, but I mean, we just have guys left and right that are basically taking lesser roles to be a part of this coaching staff. But again, the, I'm excited, but the, the Panthers coaching staff looked really good on paper last year, and that didn't work out at all. So we'll see how it goes. But well, our Frank coach was staff never a crazy. good coach. Yeah, true. Yeah, and um, and their uh, G, their uh, owner is just almost just as bad as Dan Snyder. So oh, oh yeah, definitely. So it's just like it was never meant to be. Um, and just to let you know, Kansas City Chiefs okay. traded oh, up to yeah. that Bills. Yeah, I was about to say that. I was about let's, to say that. Let's get it. That's looking like wide receiver. Uh, so receiver for them as well. It's got to be why receiver. Would, why would Buffalo want to do, do do business with Kansas City though? I, like, I don't wouldn't. Be the last team. I wouldn't. If I was That's Buffalo, like I would. The devil. Yeah. <laughs> now he about to kill y'all in the playoffs. Whoever they end up drafting <laughs> is gonna drop a hundred and fifty. This could have been you guys. A.D. Mitchell could have been you, but you traded. You you gave it to the Chiefs. <laughs> whoever whoever the Chiefs take now, is going to end up dropping 150 on the Bills in the playoffs. Now it's like my story. Like, Patriots traded with the Chiefs so they could get Trent McDuffie. Oh, do you know Do you know who the Chiefs got? A.D. Mitchell, I assume? Nah, nah. Oh, let me let me refresh. Let me refresh. Let me uh, see. Who did she guess what the Chiefs got? Oh, that's oh, it crazy. Even, it didn't even show it. Oh, let that's about to be fun. Oh, that's about to be fun. That boy Pat Mahomes about to be throwing bombs. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir, AFC. Let's go crazy. 
AFC looking fun. AFC looking fun. Where my boy Shay go? He not <laughs> the AFC looking crazy. Yeah. Yes, go Chiefs. Let's go Chiefs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Texas. What are, we, what are we doing here? Wrong Texas doing? receiver, Shay. Wrong Texas receiver. What are we doing here, <laughs> Buffalo? What are we doing here? <laughs> Buffalo Bills traded back with the Chiefs to allow the Chiefs to take Xavier Worthy for him to drop 150 against them on four catches. Oh my God! He you just the- <laughs> gave you gave him a Tyreek Hill region. <laughs> He about to drop 140 on four catches against the Bills in the playoffs. <laughs> Let's go. Are, actually, Let's, why am I complaining? Like, we don't have to play him in the division, but still, like, it's crazy. You man. just gonna give Patrick Mahomes this, this weapon? <laughs> I ain't gonna allow them to trade up and get Tommy oh Kill, God. man. Come on, man. You got to do better than that, Bills. You got you got to have a little bit more coof than that, man. Got to be better what? than that. Well, what are we doing here? What are we doing? That boy ran a 4-2-1. Oh, Pat Mahomes. Pat Mahomes about to He just literally has it. the same size and build and speed as Tyreek Hill. Literally. Literally. Shouts out to Tyreek Hill, too, because he is from Georgia, born and raised. You know how we do talent. You know we have the uh, the most NFL talent per person, per capita. Oh, I'm, not, in the entire... I'm not surprised. Yeah, we, this is, this is it's football different. country. It's different. It's different over here. And people forget that Tyreek Hill is from the state of Georgia. He just didn't go to Georgia, so people don't think about it. We we different <laughs> over here, man. The, the the caption, oh my God, with Xavier Worthy's picture. That is right. <laughs> that's it. That that's all right. you need to say. That's all we need. Let's go, Sport Chiefs. Is ruined. That, that's one of the comments. Sport is ruined. <laughs> the league yeah. is cooked. Sport is ruined. <laughs> oh my God. Sport is ruined is crazy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Chiefs. AFC on lock. We know who making it to the Super Bowl. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, I love Xavier Leggett still being available. We still got Xavier Leggett. We still got to I mean, if you really want to go corner, <laughs> Kool-Aid McKinstry, boy, A.D. So Mitchell. He's either going to be Nicole Hardman 2.0 or Tyreek Hill 2.0, either or. I'm about to say, either way, you can't miss. <laughs> <laughs> you prefer Tyreek Hill easily, but. He, he could get he could get a game-winning touchdown in the Super Bowl, or it could be a 1,500-yard receiver. Like, <laughs> which one do you want to take? Which one do you want to take? <laughs> Let's go, man. Yes, sir. Shouts out to Tubes because I oh, agree. Madden, Madden we running Madden. About to be yeah. Wild. Oh my I know goodness. a team I'm using on Madden. About to, online about to be crazy. What's his thing? Bazooka? Where he can throw it extra. Um, uh, Pat Mahomes yeah. can throw it further. It, yeah. It'll be malpractice for Xavier Worthy not to have anything but 99 speed. Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah. Loving that, man. Loving that. Not Love. sure what the Bills are thinking. That's the tweet. I, exactly either. I'm not <laughs> sure either. What are they thinking? Why would you even, trade with the enemy and allow them to get a player yeah, that's going to kill you? You're making a deal with the devil. Literally, man. Literally, the team, the only team that has stopped you from winning Super Bowls, you just allowed them to get better <laughs> and you by trading them to with get them. Possibly Tyreek Hill. Okay, so this is what the Bills received from that pick. They received the 32nd, 95 and the 221st, while the Chiefs also get the 133rd and the 248th. What? No, that's not enough, Bills. I'm sorry. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's not enough for him to drop 150 no. every time y'all run into each other in the playoffs. You just <laughs> gave them Tyreek Hill. Up oh, there it goes. Also, the Cowboys just took Tyler Guyton, so I am no longer interested in any tackles at this point. I don't know where we're going to get one, but I am perfectly cool on any tackle at 36. Do not trade up. We can go best player available. Kool-Aid McKinstry, uh, Lab McConkie, Xavier Leggett, A.D. Mitchell. Do not take tackle at this point. Just to go ahead and throw that out there. Shouts out to the Cowboys. They got a high ceiling tackle over there. I think uh, Toops the Hoodie, where he says, is he as, el- as elusive as Hill, though? I think his uh, cone drill was, like, crazy as well. He did some agility drills. Yeah, he's was- not just straight line yeah. track guy. He's literally Tyreek Hill. He can stop and start. He can change directions. He's yeah, everything. It's scary. Kurt. Yeah, explosive. He's different. He's different. It's definitely Ty- He's not John Ross. He is Tyreek Hill, like you said. It's a huge difference. 
huge difference. I completely agree. And then with basically Travis Kelsey is acting like the ex, like he doesn't have to deal with the being a 165 pound receiver, much like Tyreek Hill in his earlier years. Yeah. He could just play the slot. Yep. Or whatever they they know this lineup up anywhere. Yep. Yep. After this uh first round ends too, I guess I'll just go ahead and knock out the best players available left for Washington position the needs. And then I'm just gonna chill. I'm just I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat. Probably might hop on Xbox just to chill a little bit. Speaking of Xbox, have you been getting in on Madden? Or is nah. Lyric has been getting on on Madden? Not, no, none of us have. We're waiting on that. Well, I know I'm waiting on NCAA. Well, we'll, well, we, well we play on MomoCon. You're going to be in for Rude Awakening. You might not want to want to play me. You've been, you been in the lab on Madden? You've been no, on the on lab? Tekken. On Tekken. Oh, yeah, no, Tekken. We, Tekken. Oh, yeah, we've been on Tekken, especially Lyric. Oh, did, 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 did I say Madden? My bad. I meant Tekken. I meant yeah, Tekken. Yeah, we, yeah. We, well, I'm not that fire Tekken. Uh, I just get jack six and frustrate people if you don't know how to use plus frames correctly. Um, hey, but Lyric and them are more try hard at Tekken than I am, and Courtney especially. What, what Courtney, are they ranking? What that, are they ranking? Ask Courtney. I was just about to All say right. Courtney is literally ranked on. I'm he's ranked ruler, on Leroy. He's ranked on. Okay, Eddie. never mind. Never mind. Never mind. He's ranked oh, oh, on. Oh, I, I thought you were talking about like they're like actually like pro ranked. Oh, I don't know what his rank is, but those are the characters he used most of what I'm, I'm going to be real with you, though. Eddie is super cheap. <laughs> Eddie is a is a super cheap character in this game. Because <laughs> they put him at DLC, like, one, nobody knows the matchup because, like, he's yeah. a DLC character. Yeah. And two, just, like, you can literally just spam buttons. Like, someone on Reddit did a test and saying that, like, he didn't even look at any of the controls or anything, how, any of the strings for Eddie, and he got to blue rank. Just by spamming. <laughs> uh, it wasn't Eddie banned like back on Tekken Tan Tekken, Tekken uh, 3. Tag. Tekken yeah, Tekken 3. Tekken 3, I think he was banned yeah, from Tekken tournaments. 3 was a, yeah. yeah. Tekken 3, Tekken Tag, yeah, the early. But then they nerfed him. But I guess now, like, he's back to being kind of a cheap character. <laughs> also with, with Heat as well. Heat, I don't, I'm not really sure how I feel about the Heat mechanic. It makes it... I feel like it kind of makes it kind of cheesy a bit. Yeah, I don't like and, that. And be best, best believe I abuse it, but I mean it kind of makes it cheesy. Cause I use Raina and I'm I'm flame ruler. Ooh, they Raina. hate Raina. They hate Raina. That's one thing <laughs> oh, I remember they, they gonna hate hearing me, in the then. party chat. They hate they gonna Raina. Hate me. I'm flame ruler. They're gonna hate me. <laughs> oh, just to let y'all know, Georgia is the only school in all of college football with a tight end selected in each of the last six NFL drafts. Stop playing with me. That's crazy. Stop playing with me. And we still have the record for the most um, drafted players in a single draft from a couple of years ago. Most players from one college selected in one singular draft, seven rounds. So stop playing with me there too as well. It's only about to get worse. I don't think y'all understand, but these sophomore and freshmen that we have in Georgia right now, two years from now, I'm going to be hoping that my commanders get them in the first round. All of them. It's about to be serious. If we don't win the uh, championship this year, something went terribly wrong. Injury something. Because this Georgia team is ridiculously talented this year. I mean, Michael Williams going first round. Um, oh, I'm so sick. My boy Malachi I drafted Starks. him in Madden. I drafted my Madden <laughs> franchise, Michael Williams. He became a star for my Patriots. It's different. Um, Malachi Starks is about to leave. Ooh, that just hurt my heart to say. Oh, I remember him being a freshman. That Oregon game, first game of his career, he had that one-handed interception. Oh, I'm about to, I'm about to lose him. I forgot she's got Hollywood Brown as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we ain't I playing with y'all. We even, yeah, Chiefs so ain't playing with y'all. And, and even JPA football said Rasheed Rice. So is Rasheed Rice going to play? I'm about to is say, he is, he, is he smooth is he to go? to play? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're winning the Super Bowl again. If, hey, if, but if, wait. If, but wait, though, because what's their pick in the second round? You think they made somebody, you know, they picked 32nd again, 64th overall in the second round. You thinking they maybe double up on receiver just in case? Maybe a oh, different no, no. type of guy? Oh, no, they trade at 32nd to the Bills. Oh, that one too? No, I'm talking about the uh the second 32nd, like the 64th oh, overall. Oh, okay. 64th overall, you think I, Ricky Purcell makes can't, it that far? Nah. Uh, I, I can't see them. I can't see them double dipping, though. Double dipping on wide receiver? I can't see it. I can't see them doing that. I think they need guard because we took their guard. Maybe yeah, they, they could do O line, mm. and they could also address defense because even though their defense is pretty strong, you know, they, they, they traded Ladarius Need. Also, oh, they did. Where they, to the Titans, I think. Titans, right? yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
Forgot also, about that. Um, just in case, like most likely, once their once their defensive players get to their second contract, they're most likely going to be able to pay them. So they just need insurance for defense. So I feel like they're probably going to address defense the rest of the way. Probably you need to get an understudy tight end in the third round because Travis Kelsey is just getting older. We so, we yeah. see it on the field. So I'm I'm estimating Kamari Lassiter in the second, and then yeah, a tight end in the third. Like a Ben Sanat, that might be crazy. Chiefs might be cooking something. The best teams get the best players, like I said. Ain't no way to, ain't no way. So I play a Madden, Madden franchise on PC, and I don't know if anyone here on the chat had, plays Madden on PC, but if you get it modded, so like I have like basically a realistic franchise as a Madden franchise mod. They change the whole progression system to make it like somewhat more realistic. So like they have like a progression role thing. So like whoever you draft, you have a random progression role. So you can have a random Puka Natsukua where your fifth round pick can just get 20 plus overall before the start of the season and become like a star player, right? Oh, so, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. So uh, in this one, this scenario, I, I was doing the Patriots. And like I was doing a draft, and in this draft, since it's a mod, like I could get the actual portrait. So I got, so I drafted Jaden Daniels, because May went number two in this one. So I got Jaden Daniels' portrait. He became a solid quarterback. He became like an eighty-three in like his third year. So solid. Um, my number one guy. Well, long story short, Xavier Worthy became a ninety-four. Dang. And I, he has 99 speed. Well, I, he has 99 speed in the drafts because of because of four two one. So he has yeah. 99 speed, 94. He got drafted to the Bengals. Ah, the John so, Ross experiment again. <laughs> it didn't work yeah. last time, but he's way better than John Ross though. He's a 94 while Jameer Chase is a 94. And ah. I do some manual training to make it more realistic because they still had T Higgins as well. So I'm just like, okay, if they're going to have Xavier worried this good, they're going to have to trade T Higgins. So I trade okay. T Higgins to somewhere else. But like, yeah, crazy. Nine, if if he actually becomes that good, Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill. Oh, also, just let you know, Westlake's own Nate Wiggins is going to the Ravens. I think that's a great fit. They have so many guys from Atlanta and Georgia. They got Roquan Smith, Kyle so Hamilton, from Georgia, Nate Wiggins. From Maryland. Nate Wiggins, he's from what? No, he's from my Westlake. He's from my Westlake. Okay, oh, okay, because like someone said Westlake, Maryland. Okay, yeah, okay. no, he was just saying there is a Westlake in Maryland too. Oh, so okay. they got Nate Wiggins, Kyle Hamilton, and Roquan Smith, all people from Atlanta, Metro Atlanta area, Georgia. So um, I'm loving what the Ravens are doing because I wanted Kyle Hamilton coming out of high school because he's from Atlanta. Um, and then they got Nate Wiggins from Westlake. So I I'm loving what the Ravens are doing. I'm always root for my guys, my, my guys. So. Shouts out to them, man. They putting together a great team right now. I'm excited for them. So they got Marshawn Lattimore and Nate Wiggins. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, that I just don't even make sense. Wait, Marshawn Lattimore about, is on the the Ravens? Not Marshawn Lattimore. Uh I'm about to who say am I thinking of? Marlon Humphrey. Marlon Humphrey, yeah, Marshawn, my fault. Yeah. Marshawn they Lattimore. are really similar. There's something about them. I can see that. But that is the, crazy, though. The name, the the because of Marshawn, Marlon. Marshawn, Mar yeah, yeah, I can yeah. see that. They kind of uh, built the same too, a little bit too. Um, yeah, they look they same skin tone. Like, yeah, yeah, same was, exact skin tone in there. <laughs> yeah, I like Nate yeah. Wiggins there. I like that's my dog. I'm happy he are, went to good Are you good worried defense. about the the lack of strength from Nate Wiggins, similar to Emmanuel Forbes, or not? Not really, because I think Emmanuel Forbes is going to work out under the... I think Dan Quinn and those guys are literally going to use him like how they use Deron Bland. Like, I just literally do what you did with Deron Bland and Trevon Diggs. Let him intercept hunt, interception hunt and let somebody else cover the better receivers. He could be good. I think Nate Wiggins is a cornerback, too. It'd be different if he had to be cornerback one and have to cover Mike Evans. But I think he's going to be cornerback, too. And I think he has the speed to cover, like, the slot you know shifty fast guys i think like if they go against the eagles he's covering devonta smith and Mar um, marlon humphreys is covering aj brown like I, that's what i basically project for him i think he can ball out but again i'm biased about, i'm biased so i feel about nate wiggins uh attire wait i haven't even seen it yet i'm behind i still see roger goodell hold on let me see what's going? going on is that bad he he misrepresented I what's bad. like it's just that it's, it, well, it's not bad it's just that it's not the most, I'm not, even though it's nothing wrong, it's not the most formal. So I'm just like, 
Are, are you feeling it? It still looks nice, but are you feeling it? Let me see. I still, I'm still pick is in. Let me see. Oh, that is not formal. He he looked like he's from New York. <laughs> Why is he had a hairstyle? <laughs> that, the hairstyle and the clothes that literally look like he's true. from New York. Yeah. yeah, what the? That's what I'm saying. That I would have never guessed he was from Atlanta with the way he looked. That's straight. That's, <laughs> That's what I'm straight. Saying. I was not expecting that. That's that hairstyle screams New York, dog. What's wrong with him? But all right, man. Hey, shout out to Nate Wiggins. I'm happy he landed on a really good defense, so he's not expected to go out there and ball out and cover the best receiver of every team. I think him being a cornerback, too, he'll super be straight. And then San Francisco. Hmm. What do y'all need? Stop drafting. You're okay. Do you need to replace exa – uh, we'll see. Hey, they take receiver. It looks like it's more likely for them to end up trading Brandon Ayuk away tomorrow early in the draft. Yup, come to New England. We'll give them some clam chowder, some lobster rolls, some shepherd's pie. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, who won the Nuggets in uh, Lakers game? I'm assuming the Nuggets, but I uh, uh, yeah, I put my money on the Nuggets. <laughs> yeah, the fact that they but didn't win that last one was crazy. Oh, it's still uh, third, third quarter. quarter. Oh, that's yeah. a late game. Yeah, I forgot they are West Coast. Hey, shouts out to the Sixers for beating the Knicks, though. Keeping that series interesting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. They did. Yeah, shouts out to them. It was by 11, too. It wasn't even like it was like down the wire. Joel, <laughs> Joel Embiid said we're going to win this series, so the next game he dropped 50. He was not playing. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said we're going to win this series after that 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 that, that uh I mean, that collapse, I don't know why I couldn't get my words out, but that collapse that he had, they were, the Knicks scored eight points in like the final two minutes or yeah, final 20 that seconds That was or something. crazy. I think I saw somebody like broke it down. I think they were up five with 20 seconds left and lost by three. How? Yeah. How? How? I still haven't seen it. I've just seen like the stat no, about I, it. Uh, it was crazy. So uh, I'm trying to remember what happened. Uh, I think one person dropped a three. Yeah. Yeah, one person dropped. I forgot who. I was probably Brunson dropped a three. They got the steal. They gave it to. I forgot how it happened. I remember they got the steal. They gave it to the da Dante DiVincenzo. He shot three, missed it. Hartenstein got the rebound. Passed it to DiVincenzo again. He made the three. They Ooh. were up by three. <laughs> it was, it was That's such so a collapse. That's so silly right there. The crowd was going crazy because they were in New York, so the crowd was going crazy. Oh yeah! And Joel and B was pissed. They even one of the the reporters started speaking French with him. He's like, "No French, he's like no French. I'm only speaking English." Dang! Oh, I'm so like, he's not, primarily not a French, French speaker. I'm not speaking French in this. Yeah, he's that's his native language, and he uh. said, "I'm not speaking." I'm not speaking French in this press conference, only English. Oh, no, poor Joe. <laughs> like he was man. so pissed. He was oh. like, I'm, not, I'm only speaking one language for you today. I'm not I'm not even entertaining <laughs> you guys. Ooh, San Francisco got Cooper DeJean. Throw him anywhere in the secondary. That's a great oh, pickup. That's an best, elite pickup. Best teams get the best players. Yeah, he's whatever you want him to play. Corner, safety, whatever. Just just throw him out there. He's gonna ball out. They got McCaffrey on offense and McCaffrey on defense. Crazy. <laughs> I mean, and like you said, them trading away uh, Ladarius Sneed to the Titans, that just made too much sense. Cooper DeJean makes a lot of sense right there. I thought maybe Kool-Aid McKinstry because he's more of like a specifically corner, but Cooper DeJean, just throw him anywhere in the secondary. Are you talking it's gonna about work. the Chiefs or are you talking about the 49ers? 49ers. Okay. Yeah, 49ers got Cooper DeJean, man. Yeah, because you're saying Sneed, so that's like uh, – Wait, at least I thought they did. No, I'm saying 49ers took Ricky Purcell. Who just said they took Cooper DeJean? I'm seeing Draft Wait. Network say Cooper DeJean. I'm seeing Ari Marov say Ricky Purcell. I'm seeing JPA football see Ricky Purcell. I didn't know he was great as a first rounder. I'm seeing Benjamin Solak saying DeJean as well. What, yo, who? where are we right now? <laughs> They're like, it's going to be one of the white guys. Yeah, something. Yeah. <laughs> <One of> the... <laughs> <laughs> Nah, what, what, nah, what's the, what, what? I, I, I'm thinking it's per, Purcell. I'm thinking it's Purcell. 
But Dijon should go higher in the draft, so I'm so confused. And they need a corner. You know what this means, right? Schefter? No, it means that Brandon Ayuk is going to New England. They're drafting the receiver. <laughs> That's his replacement. Now I'm seeing NFL draft files say Ricky Purcell. What is going on? People are so and now Dove Climate said, all right, so it sounds like it's Ricky Purcell. They went for the big receiver. Brandon Ayuk is on the way out. I don't know who's getting him, but he's he's on the way out. That man is gone. Brandon Ayuk is definitely up out of here. Alex Morales said, New England, the new Browns, where? No, we, New England, the new Patriots. We won it again. We okay. got Drake May. <laughs> we got Drake May. We we ready. I just seen a Dallas Cowboys fan say, I don't know who the Cowboys quarterback will be this time next year, but they have a great left side with Guyton and Tyler Smith. <laughs> Wait, so do they not think uh, Dak Prescott is going to stay long term? Well, if I'm honestly, if I'm Dak Prescott, if my contract is up, I wouldn't want to stay in Dallas. Like, every time they, they always put the blame on him, even yeah. when it's really just him doing, it's only really him and, yeah. and CD Lamb. That's it. And they're worse this year than they were last year, too. It's yeah. It's to be even worse. Um, Leggett's still remember, available. Remember last year where y'all say, oh, Christian Gonzalez is going to be a bust? Y'all got Emmanuel Forbes. He's going to outperform Christian Gonzalez. Well, I didn't say not, that. Not, not, I did the, 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 the comments were. The <laughs> yeah, comments I were. That wasn't me. Now, now I'm seeing the comments saying that May is a bust. Okay, all right. We, we going to see next year, next next draft, next year. 2025 we gonna see we oh, gonna see wait 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 a minute the panthers just traded up to the 32nd pick who do they want oh. a fifth round option on that's only they only moved up one pick I was, can they even afford to make any more trade-ups yeah i don't after even what know what draft before? picks they yeah i don't know what draft picks they have to give up but no what are they trading up one pick for that's weird one pick to get that fifth year option on somebody people typically do that most for a likely yeah they do that for a quarterback. You, you can do that for a receiver now, too, because receivers are expensive. So, yeah, I still receiver. So, do you think they, Xavier Leggett, move up one spot to get your boy? Have you heard Xavier Leggett talk? Uh, Please. Super Southern? Pl I, bruh, I need Randy Moss, super deep South Carolina he Southern. He's oh, from South, South Carolina? Carolina. Okay. Like, literally, if you didn't see him talking, you would have never have guessed he was black. I ain't going to lie to you. Oh, it, okay, yo, it's, that it's Randy the Moss. Randy okay. Moss. Yeah, it's the Randy okay. Moss, dog. It's to sound like you got pulled over in the backwoods of Georgia. Like it's it's bad. It's scary. Is it don't sound like Atlanta. It don't sound like Memphis. It don't sound like Florida. It don't sound like uh, Texas. It's just that super backwoods, super country, like super Wait. duper. So on on ESPN, it shows that Carolina still has the thirty third pick. So they just trade up for the thirty second, and then they give up the thirty third. That's what that's what it looks like. I'm seeing they got one hundred forty one and two hundred to move back a spot. So yeah, no, I'm pretty sure they got the three hundred, the thirty third. I'm assuming because they only. I'm seeing Mike Garafalo say they okay, got one hundred forty first. It. Yeah, they updated I don't know why they would play like that, though. I don't know why they would do that. All I'm right, so it's going to be A.D. Mitchell here because he's right now the best player available. Yeah, I'm hoping it's not Xavier Leggett or A.D. Mitchell because I won him, and I'm hoping it's not Lad McConkie so he doesn't go to I a bad situation. I, it has to be receiver, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm just hoping they take another receiver outside of those three. Not Lad McConkie because I want him to go but, to a good team, and not Xavier Leggett or A.D. Mitchell because I want him to the commanders. How do you feel about Ricky Pearsall over, over A.D. Mitchell and Xavier Leggett, though? That's, I see the potential. I, I, you could argue he had the best highlights of this draft class. Like, that one catch he had was the best catch in all of college football. And he's very underrated. He was just on a really bad Florida team. So, I'm interested in seeing how this goes. Is he older than Brock Purdy? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Wait. Carol oh, okay. So, the Carolina Panthers are taking Xavier Leggett. And I just oh, saw yeah. something. I just saw something about Brandon Ayuk. Wait a minute. I'm scary. I'm scared. Wait, who's getting Brandon Ayuk? Wait, let's chill out. New England. Wait a minute. I'm scared. New England. Let's go. Because I'm, see I'm seeing, I'm oh, I'm seeing a Commanders fan it. in all caps say, ah, best day of my life. 
I don't know what that means. I'm scared. What are we doing? I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. I'm scared now, bro. What's happening? Is Brandon I you about to? I'm seeing, I'm seeing people do do like uh, little jersey swaps of Brandon I you can command his colors. What's going on, dog? I don't know. People just maybe playing around. Stop scaring me. I, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll wait, wait till I see. Just, didn't you say uh, Brandon Ayuk uh, is a former teammate Ricky Pearsall? Of uh, no, of Jaden Daniels, yeah. yeah Apparently, Jayden. he's a former teammate Ricky Pearsall as well in college. He was on Arizona State too. I guess so. So Jaden Daniels had Ricky Pearsall saying. and Xavier Le um, and Brandon Ayuk. <laughs> Now, Jaden, you, Jaden, you need to explain yourself two years ago. <laughs> you need Yo, to explain. These, these guys really been in college for a whole decade. My <laughs> goodness, Ayuk, Ayuk is about to get his second contract. How are y'all? How did y'all meet in college? He had to have been a senior when J when Jaden was a freshman, dog. Now, Jaden did start as a freshman. I remember seeing a stat that he's the first true freshman to ever start for Arizona State. So maybe that's the gap. I hope. I hope that's the gap. Because Ricky Pierce, he wasn't in Florida the whole time, right? Yeah, he was in Arizona State 2019 yeah. through 2021. Dang, now that I think about it, though, I am sick that they got Xavier Leggett. But I knew, I, I already said it in multiple videos, the Panthers are not letting Xavier Leggett pass by. First of all, they need a receiver really bad. They need his type of receiver really bad. And... He's a hometown hero. He's literally from South Carolina. They're going to love his accent when he talks at the press conferences. He's as Carolina as it gets. So I, that just made too much sense. He can literally be the face of their franchise type of guy. Oh, Brian Thomas's uh, parent said something funny. What happened? Who got Brian Thomas again? Forgot. Uh yeah. I've, oh, well, I the Jaguars. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, Jaguars. Hey, you get to stay in warm weather. I know he happy about that. I would be. I would. Ha I would personally be happy about staying in some warm weather. But all right, so that's the final pick of this draft. Yes, sir. I don't know if you want to pull up tomorrow. Maybe the beginning with your pick or whatever. Just let me know. I'm chilling out of the way. Of course, you're welcome if you want to. My boy. All right. Uh. I might get back to you that may have some plans tomorrow, but I, yeah, yes, I might sir. get back to you on that one. All right. You know, I got to stream. I mean, first of all, I oh, like yeah. streaming all the rounds, but we have two seconds and three thirds. There's no way your I can't football stream. football knowledge extends more than I do. I think after the first round, <laughs> we starting when, to... <laughs> some, some guys I'm like, okay, I have no idea who this is. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's cool, man. That's cool. That's cool. Yes, sir. I definitely appreciate you pulling up though. I appreciate y'all for having me, you know. Yes, Best sir. of luck to y'all watching Commanders fans. I mean, y'all got Jaden Daniels, but, yo, we got the Justin Herbert clone. We got the <laughs> Josh Allen clone. It's only up from here for New England. So, like, best of luck to y'all. But, hey, New England, we up again, you know. I mean, y'all got y'all could have your little run or whatever, but this is New England's Super Bowl to lose. <laughs> okay okay <laughs> i say about five years i say about five years we'll, we'll see ya Th thank you abj abj a yeah sorry abj yeah thank you thank you blessings <laughs> to you as well blessings to you as well congrats on Jaden daniels appreciate that appreciate that man. i didn't say anything about that mac jones if you remember a few years ago when i was on this stream i was uneasy about mac jones i tried to be optimistic i tried to be optimistic yeah you but, were you were you yeah. were you weren't just but, super duper. Yeah, he's a he's it. Nah, you weren't treat. You I, weren't talking I, about him like you are Drake May for sure. I, I was like, in Belichick, I trust. In Belichick, I trust. But a like, lot what, of is, Panthers fans were. I mean, Patriots fans were, but you weren't. Yeah, like 49ers, I would feel that Ricky Pearsall's pick would be too early, but Kyle Shanahan, I feel like he's developed enough of a reputation where you can trust him. Like I felt that with Belichick, so I'm just like. Okay, I trust it. I trust it. I what wasn't too happy about it, but I trust it. And I'm just like, <laughs> it, I guess it was like what the Broncos were right now. Like they had to take Bo Nix. We had to take Mac Jones. Like we had no quarterback yeah, at just, like number thirteen. So had to at least take a chance. I can see yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. So hey, I, I was I wasn't too high on them, but Drake May. Look, Drake May and Caleb Williams were one A and one B at one point until until the college season happened, and then. Caleb Williams just became this the solid number one pick. So I'm I'm excited for it. Drake May didn't really have too much help in North Carolina. 
And it's kind of similar to what Justin Herbert went through in Oregon. When Justin Herbert was in Oregon, we thought like, okay, this guy might be a potential draft bust Mm -hmm. because he was struggling. Turnovers everywhere, throwing interceptions. But we find out in the NFL, like, nah, this this guy is this guy was supposed to be the number one pick, and he was showing why in the NFL. Why? Because in Oregon, he didn't have any help. Same thing in North Carolina. So I feel like we could see the same thing with Drake May. And I'm happy. Look, I'm I'm one of those few fans happy letting rookie quarterback sit we see the proof we see it with jordan love we seen we seen it with arguably the best quarterback ever in patrick mahomes Mahomes. yeah like yeah like we seen it with aaron Rodgers. i'm fine with letting a quarterback sit for a year i'm not the type that needs to rush a quarterback through the fire if he needs to learn let him learn and I mean, but on the other hand, Josh Allen went out there and was just like, forget, just throw him out there, let him be terrible for a couple of years, and it worked out. So it's really out of the way, but I would agree that maybe he should sit. DMV representer, uh, that that comment is crazy, by the way. Wait, Drake gonna? Oh yeah, that yeah, that was wild. That, that was... That comment, <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't think I don't think the no diddy is gonna help. That 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 comment was crazy. Man, I'm so excited, though. We both got our quarterbacks. I don't know what we're going to do at tackle. I'm about to do a whole video breaking that down. Make sure y'all pull up Yeah, we need, we need tackle, but I guess the one who can be like the, the, the Band-Aid for next year. Because he, he's more of a right tackle. Because he's not like, he's really a power guy. He's not like a regular pass protector. So he's more of a right tackle. But, hey, if we want to use him for our left tackle right now, we'll see what he can do. But that's, that's why I'm following Jacoby Brissett at quarterback. That actually makes a lot of sense, too. Both of us need corner, quarterback and left tackle. There's obvious reasons why we pick second and third in this draft. Both of us need quarter, and left, quarterback and left tackle. That's why you select top three in this draft right there. Yeah. You can't <laughs> trade down. We can't afford to trade down. We got to select the quarterback. We yep. need that. And then figure out the rest later, man. Yeah, yep. but yeah. Ooh, so, so was- Kirk Cousins' agent just said, Michael Pen- uh, drafting Michael Penix never came up in any conversation. Oh my god, yeah. this is I'm going to love this drama. I am going to love this drama. Yeah, let's do it, man. I'm liking what I'm hearing on the Falcons end of things. You know, we can go back and forth between Commanders and Patriots all day, but at the end of the day, we unite over our hate for mm-hmm. the Falcons and our enjoyment in the Falcons' yep. failures. Yes, sir, man. Yes. Oh, I am going to be loving this off-season drama. Before, oh, this training camp drama is going to happen. I am going to love. I can't wait till week six when Kirk Cousins will throw an interception on the Monday Night Football game because you know how he sucks during prime time. Oh and yeah. Then, oh and yeah. And then the, the crowd's going to be chanting for Penix. Yeah. Penix, Penix, you're going yes, to you see the sign Big Penix Energy. You're oh, yeah, see that? all over the place. They're going to have his picture with the do rag on it, too, man. They're going to embrace him like they're gonna, crazy. They're going to say free, free, free his friend, whatever his name is. They're going to say free yeah, his they friend. Go, yep. the Boy, yeah. they about to embrace Michael Penix like crazy down here. They're going to try to run Kirk Cousins up out of here immediately. Matt Ryan's a future I, Hall of Famer, I and they got sick of him. I can't believe they did that. I, I'm looking at it right now on SportsCenter with my with Scott Van Pelt, and they're showing it number eight. I still can't believe they actually did <laughs> worst that. pick in the draft easily, easily oh worst pick. Oh my goodness! Between that and Bo Nix, even if you needed a quarterback, some might say that would have been a reach. Even if you needed a quarterback, but then if you don't need a quarterback like the Falcons, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a reach already without having Kirk Cousins. <laughs> then you got Kirk Cousins. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. I'm seeing people all over the place right now saying Atlanta is baffling. This is a Commanders fan that just said this out of nowhere. Everybody's confused. No matter what fan base you're a fan of, everybody is perplexed by this Falcon situation right now. I thought that was a work of fi- I thought that was a smokescreen when I heard the report that Falcons are interested in Pendix. And I thought if they were, I was just like, okay, maybe if they are, they'll get, try to get them in the second round. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Jaden. Oh, Adam Peters said going through the process while we drafted Jaden Daniels. I think it's important. You don't want to make a decision until you have to. That being said, we knew it was Jaden Daniels for a while. It would have to take a lot for it not to be Jaden. Honestly, the whole building, I would say it was unanimous. Ooh. Had they interviewed Terry Fontenot? Let me, let me see. 
<laughs> how do you spell his last name? I'm trying to see. How do you spell his last name? <laughs> I do want to know what he has to say to explain this pick. Please explain why the Falcons made that pick, dog. Quote, we're very, very excited. You don't pass up that opportunity. What the? What? <laughs> then why did you sign Kirk Cousins? Yeah, what? that should be, that should have been a follow up question. That was the same, but that's the same reasoning. You couldn't pass at that opportunity. He said that twice. Basically, <laughs> it goes for both situations. <laughs> he says, "I go back." Ter Terry Fonda is saying quarterback is the most important position. Also said you have to think like Green Bay, which drafted Jordan Love when it had Aaron Rodgers. If we see a player what? that we believe can be a franchise quarterback at any point, then you have to bring that player in. Jordan Love was also like what, twenty one years old? Yeah, what? What? what and you and say, Aaron, dog. And they were trying to get. They wanted Aaron Rodgers to leave because they didn't want to pay him that next contract, and they were just tired of him off the field. Yeah. They literally. It wasn't like he was just old. He he wasn't coming off of a torn ACL like Kirk Cousins. It was <laughs> none of that. Dog. Achilles. I mean Achilles, Achilles. My fault. Yeah, my fault. <laughs> even yeah. worse. Even worse. Even worse. Even worse. Like, come on, dog. Come on, man. That that ain't nah. We're good. I'm so happy. I'm not a Falcons fan, dog. I would. You know, to be honest with you, I was scratching my head when they signed Kirk Cousins. I was just like, that's a lot of money for a guy coming off a torn Achilles. But hey, if they really believe. He could be back to where he was, then okay. But now they drafted Michael Penix. Then what was the point? I'm about to say, you didn't even draft somebody to help Kirk Cousins. You drafted so somebody to compete against Kirk Cousins. What so are we doing? Terry Fontenot, Saints legend. Oh, yeah, he is a Saints legend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's – oh, he's a double agent. He's trying to he's <laughs> he trying to he ruin the Falcons from the inside. I'm liking be. it. I'm liking be. it. Yes, sir. I got to do the air horns for that. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Appreciate that, Brandon. Yes, sir. Yay! That's why I like, man. Let's go, man. I'm Atlanta everything, but when it comes to the Falcons, boy, nah, it's different with with RG three and Kirk Cousins. So Kirk Cousins was a fourth round pick, so you just expected him to be a solid backup. Yeah, we, yeah. Come on, this man. wasn't That's like they they drafted dog. back to back first round picks on a quarterback. That is completely different, my boy. Hey, Drake, you, hey, DMV representative said he had Drake behind McCarthy. Well, this is why you're a commenter and you're not Daryl Daniel Jeremiah, okay? That that's all I'm saying. That's well, why a lot you're of a people commenter. a lot of people are afraid of Drake May's floor. That that a lot of people are. But I'm not surprised that Drake May went to I mean, I would have taken Drake well, May as well. They but. may be afraid of the floor, but I'm looking forward to the ceiling, okay? They're looking on the downside. They're looking at a glass half empty. I'm looking at a glass half full. That ceiling is top five quarterback. You know, that's me. I'm always looking at ceilings. Because, I mean, what do we pay these coaches millions of dollars yeah. to do? You draft the third pick in the draft. What, what do I want? Kirk Cousins or do I want uh, Justin Herbert? Do I want Josh Allen? Like, I don't care about a floor. <laughs> so, especially when you have Jacoby Brissett. It's different for us. We got Marcus Mariota. He's unplayable. So, hey, we already knew what we were doing before we even got to the draft, knowing we have Marcus Mariota. But, again, a lot of people like J.J. McCarthy more just because they felt like he was safer, and he also has a higher ceiling than most people think. So, I mean, I, we'll see. I think because especially rookie season, J.J. McCarthy is going to ball out. Uh, he may not start week one, but with the weapons he got, the offensive coordinator he got, I think J.J. McCarthy is going to ball out. But would I take Drake May over him? For sure. Um, and then, yeah, Timothy, we're going to do the call-in show Sunday more than likely, latest Monday. But Sunday more than likely, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But yeah, man, I, I think it's about time for me to get it. Go ahead and get up out of here, cause I'm about to go ahead and start working on my best players available. Um, oh, uh oh, uh oh, Jaden Daniels just tweeted to the emoji eyeballs six minutes ago. Brandon Ayuk on the way, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. No, it, it was just more of him having that fear that Quinion Mitchell is going to be in the same division. That, that was more. That's what that, that is. He's scared of Quinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what that is. <laughs> or he was or he heard the news that Drake May will be having Brandon Ayuk at his as his wide receiver. That's okay. that's the news he that's heard. That's what that is. OK. Yeah. I ain't mad that's at news it. He heard. I ain't mad at it. 
But yes, sir, man, I'm about to go ahead and do it out here. Of course, let me know if you want to join tomorrow, Shay E. Really appreciate you pulling up. It's always way more fun having somebody on here. Um, oh, yeah. Likewise. Likewise. I always have fun with these trash streams. Yeah, especially hating on the commanders. <laughs> it's an old pastime. Telling the truth on the commanders. Okay. <laughs> okay. My fault. My fault. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, sir, man, y'all. Of course, I will be live streaming tomorrow. The draft starts at 7. So I'm probably going to start live streaming at like 6 or 6.30. Remember, the commanders have two second round picks, 36 and 40th overall, and three third round picks we have five picks tomorrow friday alone so i will be live streaming the entire rounds two and three make sure you pull up for analysis just like we did today laughs and analysis um and make sure y'all stay tuned i'm about to work on a video right now before i even sit down and relax and go to sleep i'm gonna go ahead and do a best players available for the washington commanders right now video i'm gonna talk about brandon Ayuk and everything in there i really appreciate y'all make sure y'all pull back up anything you want to say before we got up out of here shay yee I'm going to say, once we get, once we trade our second round pick for a star wide receiver, whether it be Brandon Ayuk or T. Higgins, best believe, even if it's for five minutes, I need to come up here and gloat to y'all that, that we're back to the promised land. We got our number one. It's going to happen. I'm manifesting it. T. Higgins or Brandon Ayuk, I'm manifesting it. <laughs> okay. I ain't mad at it, man. I'm not mad at it. So, yes, sir, man. I will catch y'all tomorrow around like 6 or 6.30 because, again, the draft starts at 7 p.m. We will be breaking down all of the commander's draft picks again. Again, we have five picks tomorrow. Five, not one, not two, five picks tomorrow. So, it should be really fun. I'm going to catch y'all later. I really appreciate y'all. I am out until 